Chapter 226 Unsolved Mysteries The first ray of sunshine broke through the fog in the morning. It was already 10 o'clock in the morning. The weather is getting colder. There are more dead leaves on the streets. And the street trees on both sides of the road are becoming more and more bare and listless. Call. Su Xia sat in front of the window of the pharmacy. Took a few breaths. And found that she could spray clear water mist on the window. Autumn in this world seems to be very short. From summer to winter in just a blink of an eye. The pharmacy still looks the same. With warm yellow lights and a strong medicinal smell. Dad no longer goes upstairs to refine medicine. He holds an old newspaper and wears small round glasses every day. Sitting behind the counter. Sleepy. Like an ordinary old man. There were more people outside the store than before. The residents in the city seemed to have become accustomed to this kind of life under martial law and were no longer afraid of the soldiers who had been patrolling the streets for a long time. People were doing their own jobs and talking about what happened in Fish Scale City after dinner. The masked man disappeared and no one knew where he went. Some say he is dead. Others say he is hiding. Possibly for the rest of his life. It's done! I'm done! Lan Bafu suddenly jumped up with excitement on his face. And his excited voice broke the silence in the store. His fat face was full of blood. And he was holding a light blue potion tightly. As if he was holding the most precious treasure in the world. Name. The other side is blue. Level. Level 4 potion. Quality. Normal. Description. Hallucinogen. After use. People will fall into beautiful dreams and be unwilling to wake up. Note. This drug was discovered by a pharmacist who was good at anesthesia. It was initially used for pain relief. Anesthesia and other functions. Later, due to its special hallucinogenic function, it was classified as a banned drug, making it inaccessible to ordinary people. As the least talented apprentice in the pharmacy, Lan Bafu finally took this step. The fourth level pharmacist is already at the top in Coral City, and he is also ranked among the best on the entire continent. As long as he is willing to join the mechanical tribe, the treatment he can receive will not be worse than those of fourth level psychic creatures. Teacher! Teacher! Look! Lan Bafu jumped over the experimental table excitedly. His body was not as flexible as a fat man. And ran to the bar. The father slowly put down the newspaper. Raised his small round glasses. Showed a smile on his lips. Looked at the running Lan Bafu with admiration. Nodded slightly and said. Not bad. Very good. In fact, Lan Bafu is good at making psychic supplement potions. And he had a chance to make a breakthrough two days ago. But his father asked him to switch to an unfamiliar fourth-level hallucinogen. This hallucinogen is classified as a poison. And only Su Xia in the store is familiar with poisons. The father did this because he felt that Lan Bafu's talent was not as good as that of the other two apprentices. And he wanted him to stay stuck for a few more days to sharpen his temper and lay a solid foundation. Let's have a rest today and do whatever you want. Perhaps the father was in a good mood and gave the three of them a holiday. He smiled and his old eyes were full of relief. However, the three of them had no other place to go. So they still stayed in the pharmacy and continued to refine medicine. The time came to noon unknowingly. Su Xiao went offline, entrusted her account to the bracelet, and then went to shoot promotional posters for the school's gaming club with her brothers in the dormitory. The weather in the real world today is not very good. The sky is foggy, and the distance is hazy. The Sichuan region is like this. It rains all year round and is very humid, with only a few days of sunshine. Su Xia still remembers that when he came back from the first winter vacation, the clothes and bedding in his closet were all moldy, and the rest of his roommates were not much better. Every year after returning from winter vacation, the entire dormitory area is a spectacular scene of people drying their quilts. Li Difu squinted his eyes and looked at the sky. Maybe he had stayed in the dormitory for too long, and the gray light made his eyes sting. He felt like crying, and he felt some inexplicable emotion in his heart. Why do people live? What? Do you miss a woman? Li Sihua stared at him with a strange expression. This opening exposed Li Difu's rare state of mind, which made him extremely angry. He shook his sleeves and said bitterly, Superficial. Do you only have women in your mind? Li Sihua said seriously. Isn't life just for money and women? He Ju. Sihua is right. He Li. I think so too. You and Shushia. Same as above. Several guys laughed and walked shoulder to shoulder, occupying half of the road. Li Difu snorted. I don't want to be together. So I'll go talk to Brother Su. Brother Su is a man of culture. Su Xia. Sadly, he is addicted to games every day and can no longer be considered a cultural person. 
The current campus is also a bit desolate and cool. The leaves of the sycamore tree fell to the ground. Fortunately, the weeping willows by the lake are still green. And the fish swimming in the lake add a bit of vitality to this season. There are many students studying on the benches by the lake. Those are the real educated people. Making the school full of books. I heard from an old senior that boating on the lake used to be possible. But later it was cancelled because it was deemed unsafe. Several people walked by the lake, crossed the playground, and arrived at the second floor of the gymnasium. The game club has a separate activity room here. My classmates from Bikini Castle Studio are here. Come in and sit down. The activity leader's eyes lit up, and he immediately greeted a few people. What follows is a long and boring activity. Su Xia didn't think about anything. She followed the process like a robot, took promotional photos, wrote dozens of signatures, met some fans, and opened personal accounts on major platforms. The school's gaming club cooperates with many clubs outside. During this period, several gaming clubs extended an olive branch to them and offered high prices, but they were all rejected by Su Xia. After the event, on the way back, Li Difu asked him, Brother Su, why don't you want to join the club? Not free. Su Xia didn't think much and gave a very simple answer. Domestic gaming clubs are all controlled by capital, and there are very few clubs that are established purely out of hobby. Various news about maliciously suppressing players, bullying internal members, and squeezing commercial value are common. Management has completely different attitudes towards players before signing and after signing. Many people have no choice but to sign a contract in order to make a living. But Su Xia and the others now have a choice. Do you make enough money this month? Su Xia asked casually. That's enough. Next year's tuition is enough. Yu and Xuxia, who was in charge of the financial affairs of the dormitory, assuredly assured. That's good. The annual tuition fee for a single person is more than 4,000, including accommodation, which is over 5,000. The cost for six people in a dormitory is 30,000 to 40,000 yuan. Being able to earn so much money shows that the studio is developing well, which makes Su Xia feel relieved. After returning to the dormitory, he went online again and logged into the commander account. In the past two days, the commander account led the Beifeng organization to bury the members who died in the battle, then packed all the supplies in the warehouse and was on the way to the new station. Since then, the old Oasis camp has become a bridgehead for external communications. Lin Shan and other players are still leveling there. That forest is an excellent leveling ground. Even outside the forest, there is endless wilderness outside which is enough for them to reach the current level of 60. The Beifong organization has left more than a dozen members there to be responsible for daily contact and answering various questions for players. Peace. And M.O. Zheng M.O. Zhan. You guys all come over here. Let me tell you something. During a break on the way, Su Xia summoned some members to her side. Everyone gathered around. Looking into their eyes, Su Xia said, I want to go ahead and see the situation in the new station. You keep moving forward at a steady pace. If you encounter something that cannot be solved, send me a message immediately. No problem. They had absolute trust in Su Xia, and no one raised any objections. This road is very safe, and nothing will happen. In this way, Su Xia left the Beifeng organization and moved forward alone. The speed of one person and hundreds of people was completely different. He almost kept running at full speed without waiting for anyone. He arrived at the new location of the Oasis camp around 10 o'clock in the evening. Xiong Wei and others had already received the news and had been waiting for him. When he saw the brilliant fireworks of the Mecca in the distance, Xiong Wei's eyes lit up. He raised his arms and shouted, Attention! The commander is here! Commander! The crowd instantly burst into cheers. Everyone waved their hands and cheered, as if they were meeting their personal idols. And they were all excited. The matter of Su Xia leading the army to defeat Enlan has been the most discussed topic in the camp these days. The excitement in everyone's hearts never subsided. And many people were so excited that they couldn't sleep. There has been no such exciting news for several years since the human race was defeated on the frontal battlefield. The daily routine of the rebels seems to be to run around. Like a group of grey rats parasitic in the wilderness. They cannot see the light. And frontal confrontation is almost a dream. Commander. Can you see us? Commander. We are here. People below were shouting excitedly. The camp was brightly lit and decorated with colorful lanterns. And many people were waving fluorescent sticks. Of course Su Xia can see it. Looking down from a high altitude. The new station is more than twice the size of the old station. With more room for expansion. And is surrounded by rolling hills and woodland. 
There are many secret passages in the camp leading to the hills. If something goes wrong, camp members can be quickly transferred. In terms of safety, this place is much safer than the old station. The new location also gives members more choices. Some people still use stones, wood, and soil to build low houses as they did in the past, and cover the roofs with green grass and wild flowers. Some people dig holes directly in the middle of the hills, and some even build their houses on big trees. Built a treehouse. Small bridges of wood and ropes are built in midair between many tree houses, and they are connected together. Colorful wild flowers and lanterns are hung on the bridges. These guys live like a group of forest elves, giving full play to their personal artistic talents and perfectly integrating into the nature here. Yes, it's a good place. Su Xia is quite satisfied with this new station and has a good impression of the various buildings in the station. He dislikes the dozens of floors of concrete and steel residential buildings in the real world. He always feels that those buildings are like huge tombstones. Deformed, depressing and suffocating. There are more than 100 million people on the small island next door. There are so many people but so little land. But they can still build one house. It's hard not to sigh. It's time to go down. Su Xia controlled the Mecca to descend slowly and landed in the lively crowd. He hid in the Mecca without going out, extending his hand to say H, low, coping with people's enthusiasm. After a while, he escaped with the help of Xiong Wei, entered the meeting hall of the new station, took off his heavy Mecca, and breathed a long sigh of relief. Xiong Wei poured a glass of water for Su Xia, hesitated for a moment, and asked, Commander, what do you think of this place? Su Xia replied, Pretty good. That's good. I'm afraid you won't be satisfied. There is no need to listen to my opinion on this kind of thing. As long as everyone likes it. Su Xia preferred to be a hands-off shopkeeper. Have all the material issues at the station been resolved? There are currently several methods available. And it shouldn't be a problem. It's just that it takes a little longer to transport supplies from surrounding cities. Xiong Wei sat opposite Su Xia. Took out a lot of documents. And talked about the situation of the station in detail. There were a lot of bloodshot eyes in his eyes. His hair was gray, and he couldn't hide his tired look. It was obvious that he hadn't had much rest during this period. Just hearing him talk about various data and material conditions made Su Xia's scalp numb. Su Xia has always been lucky to have Cheng pinned on to help him manage the entire Beifeng organization. At the end, Xiong Wei put away all the information, lowered his voice, and said in a serious tone, Commander, there is actually a question. What's the problem? Please tell me in detail. Su Xia felt a little energetic. Xiong Wei nodded. Immediately took out a map. Spread it on the long table in front of the two of them. And pointed to a marked location on the map. Commander. On the morning when you defeated in Lan. The station shook for a while. At first we all thought it was an earthquake. But then. The patrol members made some discoveries in the eastern mountainous area. The earthquake caused the mountain at this location to change. The entire mountain tilted to the left and a long crack appeared at the bottom on the right. Crack? Su Xia frowned. As soon as he heard these two words, he would think of the insect nest. After coming to this world, the entrances of several insect nests he had seen were all shaped like cracks, extending downward from the cracks, expanding into huge spaces underground. Yes, it is a rift, but it is not an insect nest. Xiong Wei also thought of the insect nest at first, but that was not the case. As he spoke, he took out a few photos and placed them in front of Su Xia. Commander, take a look. Good. The lights in the hall were bright, and the contents of several photos were clearly reflected in Su Xia's eyes. The crack in the photo is indeed similar to the entrance to the insect nest. But if you look carefully, you can see that the two sides of the crack are not stones or insect nest films, but a silver-gray metal wall. There are many fixed lines and pipes all over the metal wall, some of which have been broken and the cracks are clearly visible. Su Xia's expression condensed. She picked up a few photos and looked at them carefully, and took some screenshots with system tools. Is this the wreckage of a spaceship? It should be. Xiong Wei looked solemn. If it can be confirmed, then there is likely to be science and technology from the stars below. As long as we can conduct reverse research on it and make breakthroughs, we may be able to find a way to defeat the mechanical race. What did Zhang Fang say? Where are the others? Su Xia immediately thought of Zhang Fang. That guy is from Mancheng. So he must know a lot. Mr. Zhang is still researching near the rift. He has been very excited these days. He eats and sleeps there. Xiong Wei pointed at the map. 
He said that there have been people inside Dragon City speculating that the reason why the Machine Tribe was able to turn defeat into victory that year was rapidly evolving. It is likely that we have acquired technology from extraterrestrial sources. He didn't go down. Did he? No. He said he would wait for you to come with him. Okay. I'll go there immediately. Su Xia did not hesitate. Immediately put away a few photos. Stood up and prepared to take action. Extraterrestrial civilization. This time it's not an illusion. Nor is it a small item as a mission reward. Growing up, he had heard countless rumors about alien creatures. But he had never seen one with his own eyes. In junior high school, the school carried out extracurricular book activities, which exposed Su Xia to books such as Unsolved Mysteries of the World and Unsolved Mysteries of Geography. At that time, he was very interested in the UFO incident, Mayan spaceship, and aliens in them. I am so fascinated by things like kidnapping hostages that I would dream about it. Later, when the internet developed, he realized that most of the unsolved mysteries in those books were fabricated and deceptive. Chapter 227 Dragon City Exerts Pressure When did humans stop looking up at the stars? Is it when the sky becomes gloomy and when the back becomes rickety under the weight of life? Zhang Fang was lying on the grass on the slope, with a pile of scattered documents and materials beside him, his hands behind his head, in a comfortable mood, with his eyes closed, and his glasses reflected the beautiful starlight in the sky, as if he was lying in a free sea of stars. He was a man who had experienced the war. He later entered the Tianqing Academy in Dragon City and became a student of Shursishi, where he spent a very complicated time. After living in Dragon City for a long time, you will unconsciously regard Dragon City as everything, and even gradually forget about the threat of the mechanical race, thinking that the giant city can stand until the end of time. Even the worldview has become smaller at some point, and complex struggles for power and intrigues have begun between people. After leaving Dragon City and experiencing a series of events, Zhang Fang felt that his closed worldview had been opened up again, and he felt a sense of enlightenment. Mr. Zhang seems to be in a good mood. Did you gain anything? A familiar voice suddenly came from the distance. Hearing this voice, Zhang Fang immediately opened his eyes and jumped up from the grass, with a look of surprise on his face. Commander, you are finally here. He wiped his blurred glasses and put them on again. Su Xia and Xiong Wei appeared in his field of vision. Mr. Zhang is actually short-sighted? My eyes were injured in my early years. Zhang Fang explained with a smile. I don't need to wear them at ordinary times, but I have to use them when doing academic research for a long time. As he spoke, he waved his hand casually, and the scattered information on the grass turned automatically without any wind. The pages turned over, from disorder to order, and slowly and automatically organized themselves. This scene looked a bit magical, reminding Su Xia of the scene in Harry Potter. It would be more like it if Zhang Fang had a magic wand in his hand. Su Xia asked curiously, What skill is this? Zhang Fang smiled and said, This is one of the skills of the academy. A few core disciples can learn it. It can control the external psychic energy to automatically organize books. It is considered an auxiliary skill and is of no use in battle. It looks pretty good. Commander, if you want to learn, you can go to Dragon City in the future. At this point, Zhang Fang suddenly stopped, looking slightly embarrassed, and then showed an apologetic smile to Su Xia, his teacher, Shi Shishi is a professor in the college. He has a very high status in the college. He is considered to be the oldest person in the college. He is a contemporary of the dean and has a good relationship. Now that Su Xia has broken up with his teacher, there is a high probability that there is no way to learn skills in the academy. It's okay. I'm illiterate and don't read much. Su Xia smiled. Her tone was relaxed and her expression was calm. Due to the war, the original commander was unable to complete his studies and could only slowly study by himself in daily resistance life. Commander, look at these pictures. In order to avoid embarrassment, Zhang Fang immediately changed the topic, and with a casual move, dozens of photos lying on the grass flew into his hands. This skill is really good. It looks very elegant and has a sense of magic. In comparison, controlling metal seems more violent. But Su Xia thought that if the paper was controlled to rotate rapidly, the damage it could cause would not be weak. Something's wrong. He patted his head and felt that he had killed too many people recently. After watching several episodes of SpongeBob SquarePants, he couldn't cleanse himself. No matter what he saw, the first thing he thought of was how to use it to kill people. Even in the real world, something bloody and violent that is as scary and fascinating as poison. In the past two days, 
I customized several small exploratory robots from Boss Shoe in the repair shop. I let these small robots enter the cracks and took a lot of photos. Zhang Fan was quite smart and did not risk going down alone and handed all the photos to Su Xia. Su Xia nodded and took the photo. She did not check it immediately. Instead, she walked to the edge of the crack and lowered her head to look down. This fissure is about 20 meters long, with silver gray walls on both sides of the fissure. It has been buried underground for who knows how long. It still looks new, with a cold and hard technological feel. Snapped! Su Xia turned on a strong flashlight and looked downwards. The dazzling light drove away the darkness bit by bit and penetrated into the extremely deep area. However, deep down, light and darkness formed two opposite ends. The silver-gray metal walls on both sides seemed to absorb the remaining light, making it appear narrower and deeper. However, with the naked eye, it was impossible to see clearly what was in the deeper areas. Zhang Fong stood aside and said, The things underground, whether they are spaceships or technological buildings of a certain era, must be huge and cannot be explored in a short time. Um, Su Xiao nodded in agreement, turned off the flashlight, sat on the edge of the crack, and looked at the photos carefully. Xiong Wei was also a little curious and followed to check. During this period, only Zhang Fang and a few people were doing research around the rift. The rest, including Xiong Wei, the camp administrator, didn't know exactly how far the research had gone. Most of the camp members were still in the dark as to what was going on. This photo was taken after 10 meters of depth. It shows a broken metal pipe at close range. As for this photo, it is an exposed line. I did a simple test, and there was no energy response. There are a few simple symbols engraved on the metal walls in this area. I guess they may be the logo of the organization responsible for manufacturing this thing. There is also this pipeline. There is some residual liquid in the deep bend of the pipeline. I extracted a little. However, the research facilities here in the camp are relatively simple, and I cannot study the substances in it for the time being. When it comes to research, Zhang Fang has a more academic style, and tells the two of them in detail the discoveries he has made in the past few days. Although the broken and exposed lines showed no energy response after testing, this huge mechanical creation was not completely dead. According to Zhang Fang, the small robots created by Ba Xu were disturbed by some special position when they were 130 meters deep. The images transmitted to the ground turned into a flashing stripe and moved uncontrollably towards the ground. Falling deep, it didn't take long for Su Xia to read all the pictures. He frowned, thought carefully for a moment, and kept staring at the crack in front of him. But the system did not pop up any prompts. On one of the pictures, there are a few simple symbols. Zhang Fan guessed that it might be the logo of the organization that manufactured the spaceship. His guess must be right, because Su Xia is very familiar with the first symbol which is a blooming rose with a black background and gold tattoos on the edge, with a hint of elegance in its calmness. Black gold rose. There is also the same symbol on the fifth-level weapon skeleton sword that Su Xia has been using recently. His sword was awarded by the system, came from the stars, and was made by an ancient family named Hastings. The power of this family should be very large. According to Dr. Agar's notes, the spaceship he used to travel in the universe was given to him by a good friend named Enoch Hastings. Mr. Zhang, where is the liquid you extracted from the pipeline? Su Xia raised her head and asked. Most of them are in the temporary laboratory in the camp, but I carry a few copies with me. Zhang Fang immediately reached out and took out a small transparent test tube from his pocket and handed it to Su Xia. In the test tube is a relatively viscous dark green solution. Su Xia shook it, and a lot of the solution stuck to the wall of the test tube. It was impossible to tell what it was just by looking at the appearance. Some scenes from horror science fiction movies of the last century suddenly appeared in Su Xia's mind. If the test tube was opened, would the solution inside crawl out, devour his flesh and blood, and slowly grow into a monster? Many science fiction movies of the last century are indeed good, imaginative and unlimited, especially when both ends of the world are trying to explore the universe. It's a pity that the world is in ruins now, and the starry sky has become an unattainable luxury. At this moment, a prompt finally popped up in front of Su Xia's eyes. Special Plant Nutrient Solution. Commonly used to cultivate green plants during long-term deep space travel. Harmless. Can be touched directly. Will not turn into a man-eating monster. It turned out to be just Plant Nutrient Solution. Su Xia sighed secretly and handed the test tube to the curious Xiong Wei next to her. Xiong Wei held the test tube and stared at it for a long time. His eyes almost cross-eyed. But he couldn't see why. Commander. 
Let's study it here during this period, Zhang Fan suggested. Maybe we can call in some excavation equipment to dig this thing out of the ground. However, there are not many excavation equipment in the camp at present. So I think, Mr. Zhang plans to notify Long Chang? Yes, the research capabilities of the Oasis camp are still a bit weak, and we cannot make many breakthroughs for the time being. What do you think, Commander? You can inform them, but don't expose the true location of the camp. It's not that Su Xia doesn't trust Long Chang. She just thinks that the people from Long Chang will cause a lot of trouble. Let them wait for us at the old station and send a message when they arrive. I need to observe all members. No problem. After the last argument, Zhang Fang naturally understood Su Xia's concerns. Are there any undead members with malicious intentions among the people coming to Dragon City? The previous debate has not reached a conclusion yet, and both parties are very unhappy. Su Xia sat on the edge of the crack and let the nano robot down without making any other moves. They both thought he was thinking about the problem and did not disturb him. Deeping in, there is no obstacle in front, and it has penetrated three meters. Real-time feedback. Slight interference detected. These nanorobots are Su Xia's eyes. Their technical level far exceeds that of this planet, and is much stronger than those robots temporarily manufactured by Ba Xu. Zhang Fang was not idle either. After discussing with Xiong Wei for a few words, he immediately started contacting Long Chung. There are a large number of professionals and equipment in Dragon City. There is a secret department directly responsible for researching extraterrestrial civilizations. It is said that there are many suspected extraterrestrial technological products and even biological creatures in the warehouse of that department. With Zhang Fang's position in Long Chung, he was unable to directly contact people in that department. Not long after, Dragon City responded. The message has been received and people will be sent over immediately. Please do not conduct research privately to protect the integrity of the scene. We will arrive at the station in 48 hours. Please remind members in the station. Just the old station? What's the meaning? The rebel leader at Camp Oasis doesn't trust us. We are Dragon City. If you don't even trust us, who else can trust you? Again, do not allow any members of the Wilderness Resistance to conduct private research. They only cause destruction. Please provide the location of the new station. Time is precious. Please provide new location. The answers given by Long Chung were basically what Zhang Fang expected. But after this period of life, Zhang Fang, like the other members of the camp, has a higher level of trust in Su Xia. In his reply, he still only had the location of the old station, and repeatedly asked Dragon City to be patient. Well, seeing the increasingly tough words from Long Chung, Zhang Fang's brows knitted together, and he couldn't help but sigh. Most of the members within Dragon City believe that they are higher than the scattered resistance members in the wilderness. There is an arrogance in their bones. The news that the suspected alien spacecraft was discovered was undoubtedly a heavy bomb for Dragon City, making many people responsible for this area anxious. As shown in the message, their impression of the rebels in the wilderness was still one-sided, such as being rough, illiterate, and barbaric, and they were very worried that the spacecraft would be brutally damaged by rebel members. In a dual mood of arrogance and anxiety, Long Chung actually contacted Zhang Fang's teacher Shi Shishi and asked the old guy to put pressure on Zhang Fang. The old guy was not polite. He sent a message and scolded Zhang Fang directly. Where is your brain? What else can Bei Feng do besides fight? Is his cultural level comparable to any junior student in the academy? You actually doubt your own people because of his words. With his shallow knowledge, even if he is given another hundred years, he can only stand outside the spaceship like an uncivilized monkey, unable to get anything useful. Sure Sishi felt that he hated iron, but could not make steel, and he could not hide the anger in his words. Just seeing these words, Zhang Fan could think of his teacher's old face filled with anger, and the memory of being beaten and scolded in the academy came to mind again. In Longqing's academy, respect for teachers is engraved in the bones of every student, and Zhang Fang is no exception. No matter how harshly the teacher scolded him, he never talked back. It was the same this time, he just explained slowly and helplessly, wording his words carefully, and carefully responded to every word said by Shir Sishi. Su Xia saw the troubled look on his face and asked with a smile, Did Dragon City put pressure on you? Zhang Fang sighed. Well, it's mainly the teacher's side. Don't be anxious. Take your time. The initiative is in our hands. Su Xia was very relaxed, communicating with Zhang Fang while exploring the spacecraft. Just when those nanorobots reached about 130 meters below, the special position Zhang Fang mentioned appeared. The interference position becomes stronger. 
and permission verification is required to continue deeper. You can force it deep, but it may touch the reaction mechanism of the spacecraft, causing internal damage to the spacecraft. It is not recommended to proceed further without obtaining permission. Please use the mechanical core you have. Seeing the words, mechanical core, Su Xia's expression condensed. He had almost forgotten about this thing. After defeating Enlon last time, the system rewarded him with a silver-white hollow metal ball the size of a fist. That thing only looks like a traditional Chinese crap ball. But it is actually a key. After activation, it can gain access to the corresponding spacecraft. Su Xia immediately clicked on the inventory and moved her eyes to the small metal ball in the corner. It's glowing. The silver-white lines flickered on and off. As if receiving some mysterious summons. They look gorgeous and beautiful. Like twinkling stars. Chapter 228 Deep Space Accident Mechanical Core The activation key of the deep diving exploration spacecraft numbered EX00121245. After activation, you can obtain the highest authority of the spacecraft. The spacecraft was attacked by unknown forces while exploring the Vern star field with a fleet and crashed into the blue star. This mechanical core is glowing. Take it out and you will get unexpected gains. Perhaps due to the proximity to the spacecraft. The description of this core changed. Before Su Xia could take out the mechanical core, the nanorobot in the depth suddenly sent him a special picture. Special energy fluctuation detected. In the darkness deep in the rift, a red dot slowly lit up. It was like an eye or a lamp, slowly turning from light red to dark red, and began to move, like a ghost floating in the abyss. Xiong Wei and Zhang Fang, who were on the ground, also noticed something was wrong. What is that thing? Xiong Wei was alert. Mr. Zhang, you have been here for the past two days. Have you ever seen anything like that? No. Zhang Fan looked wary, looked at Su Xia, and said, Commander, we should move back a little and leave a few robots here to take pictures. Good. Facing unknown external civilizations, no matter how cautious you are, you can never be too cautious. Su Xia stood up from the edge of the crack, patted the dust on her body, and took a look down. As reported by the nanorobot, the red dot that suddenly appeared was very conspicuous in the abyss below, and was gradually moving upward, as if it was about to fly out of the crack. That thing is coming up! Xiong Wei's face changed sharply. He took out his weapon and got ready to fight the enemy. The remaining researchers at the scene have retreated dozens of meters away. They all looked nervous and held guns in their hands. Watching the situation here, at this moment, a voice suddenly came from the crack. Are you the maintenance personnel from Orak Company? It was a gentle male voice. We crashed on an unknown planet. The captain died. The sleep capsule and escape capsule were destroyed. And we are in urgent need of rescue. Or a company? Su Xia's heart moved and she thought of her nanorobot. These small robots are products of Arako. This company seems to be well known in the starry sky. It is mentioned in the description of the nanorobot that this kind of robot was attacked. Defense, reconnaissance and other functions has been widely praised in all major star fields as soon as it was launched. Could it be that the red dot in the crack appeared because of his own nano-robot? As soon as she thought of this, Su Xia stretched out her hand to signal Zhang Fang and Xiong Wei to stay calm, and replied tentatively, No, I'm just a product user of Warok Company. Hearing this, Zhang Fang and Xiong Wei looked at each other, both confused. None of them had heard of Warlock Company, and they were suspicious, guessing that Su Xia was telling lies. After a while, the red dot in the crack spoke again. Hello. Can you send a distress signal for us? The Imperial Patrol should be at the edge of this star field. Su Xia did not answer directly, but asked, Are you the intelligence system of this spacecraft? Yes. The other person replied, My name is Hal. Hal, can I trust you? Sure. Open the restrictions below. I want to come in and have a chat with you. I'm really sorry. My permissions don't allow me to do this. Hal's voice was a little more apologetic. Before the spacecraft crashed, my permissions were locked at the daily level, and the captain did not unlock it for me. He died because of the explosion of the living cabin. Is there any other method? Yes. The mechanical core of the spacecraft should have also crashed on this planet. If you are willing, you may be able to find that core. Okay. After a short chat, Su Xia felt confident. He has activated the mechanical core, passed the certification, and is now the new captain of this exploration ship. Mr. Xiong and Mr. Zhang are waiting for me here for a moment. I need to go down. Su Xia turned to them and said, Commander, be careful. Rest assured. Su Xia nodded, turned around and jumped down, 
taking out the mechanical core from the storage column. He fell rapidly, and the mechanical core in his hand glowed with light, like Prometheus making fire, drawing a burning light in the crack of darkness. The countless nano-robots in the deepest part changed rapidly, turning into slender translucent strips, and then intertwined to form a large soft net, which accurately caught the falling Su Xia. Commander! When Xiong Wei and Zhang Fang ran to the edge of the crack in surprise and looked down, Su Xia had already reached the deepest part of the crack. Commander, are you okay? Xiong Wei asked loudly. Fine! Su Xia raised her head and waved to the two of them. The core in her hand gradually darkened. Neither of them could see clearly what was in his hand, and thought it was just an ordinary luminous object used to illuminate the darkness below. At the very bottom of the crack is a long alloy corridor. This corridor is not flat, but arc-shaped, with a deep center and curved upwards from front to back, like a missing disc. The left and right sides are covered with various complex lines and pipes, as well as some broken display screens and sensing, projection and other equipment. At this time, you can see that the floating red dot you see is exactly what was projected. Hello! The red dot was suspended in front of Su Xia, flickering on and off, like eyes that were constantly blinking. Red always represents danger, and as an entity of a spaceship system, it looks a bit like a science fiction horror film. It seems that you have found the mechanical core and activated it, Hal said calmly. Next, you will be the temporary captain of this exploration ship. Where's the entrance? It's right in front of you. Please follow me. Hal drifted forward slowly, and as he moved, the emergency lights on both sides of this curved corridor also turned on, flickering on and off, all dark red. The surrounding cold metal walls reflected the blurred light, causing the entire corridor to glow dark red, coupled with the broken lines and equipment around it. It looked very depressing. Su Xia followed Hal and came to a small heavy alloy door. There was a dark red manual valve on the door, but it looked damaged and could no longer be opened. Please place the mechanical core or ID card you own on the induction instrument. After verification, you can enter the interior of the spacecraft. Hal was suspended in front of the door. Next to him was a long dark black oval metal column. The surface of the column was extremely smooth, and above it was a sensing device. Su Xiao looked at it carefully, and then placed the mechanical core on it. There was only a buzz, sound, and no other prompts. But the indicator light changed color, indicating that the verification was passed. The mechanical lock rotates. The lock cylinder withdraws. The thick alloy door slowly opens a gap, and a smelly gas is sprayed out from the gap. Hal said, Please be mentally prepared. There is a corpse of a clergyman and a rider behind the door. They died during the crash. The corpses are now completely skeletal. Susia asked. Why are there priests on the spaceship? Because most of the members have religious beliefs. Many ships will carry a clergyman when they set off. Hal explained in detail. The long exploration of the starry sky is very boring. And most of the time is spent traveling in the dark and deep unknown. Members need spiritual help. He continued. The same goes for bringing writers along. Books, music, games, paintings, etc. can all help members relieve boredom. Without these things, over time, some members' mental conditions may become worse and worse. With symptoms such as irritability, irritability, depression, and even visual and auditory hallucinations, many disasters in the starry sky are caused by internal reasons, and personal factors account for the majority of them. Someone once went crazy in a hallucination and massacred the entire crew of the ship. During Hal's explanation, Su Xia slowly opened the door, and the emergency lights in the cabin behind the door lit up one after another, illuminating the surrounding area. Behind the door, there were indeed two corpses. The skulls, sternums, leg bones, ribs and other bones of the two corpses all had varying degrees of fractures. It was most likely that they were hit like this during the rapid crash. Hal explained aloud, this is the cabin of the living area. It used to be a rest area where various training equipment was placed. The curved corridor outside is one of the passages leading to the cooling cabin. The top of the crack you see, it was originally sealed, but was later damaged in the crash. This cabin is not big. Through the flashing dark red emergency lights, you can see that there are indeed many scattered exercise equipment on the ground. The appearance of this exploration ship seems to be a ring which can simulate partial gravity through rotation and slow down the crew's bone loss, muscle atrophy, and other symptoms. Therefore, the metal corridor outside is arc-shaped and is only part of this huge ring. However, this exploration ship is not large enough and the simulation effect is not good. 
so it is necessary for the crew to maintain long-term exercise. You seem to be an indigenous resident of this planet? Hal asked. Right. Su Xia did not deny it. Hal was not disappointed with this answer. As an AI, his first priority now was to ensure the survival of the remaining crew members, and then to make contact with the outside world. This planet is backward and primitive. When the spacecraft crashed, humans here did not yet have the ability to explore extraterrestrial planets. Hal said, if it is discovered by an extraterrestrial civilization with malicious intentions, this planet will likely be occupied and colonized and become a resource star. I can understand that you don't want to make contact with the outside for the sake of the humans on this planet. Susia asked. When did this exploration ship crash? 9,885 days. 12 hours. 44 minutes. And 56 seconds ago. Hal answered truthfully. It is now 58 seconds. More than 20 years ago. Su Xia did a simple calculation and then asked, Are there any crew members alive? There are also two engineers who are sleeping in the hibernation cabin. They can probably sleep for 12 years. Can this exploration ship still fly? Not much hope. After Hal answered, a three-dimensional overall structure of the spacecraft slowly appeared in front of him. As Su Xia imagined, the outer side of the spacecraft was indeed ring-shaped, with a crisscross-shaped circular passage in the middle, and a sphere in the center. The entire structural diagram is blue, with only the one-sixth area below the outer ring marked in red. Hal explained, This red part is the wreckage of the spacecraft that crashed in this area. It contains some of the spacecraft's cultivation cabin, living cabin, sleep cabin, escape cabin, and other cabins. You are in it! Susia asked. The spacecraft disintegrated in the air? Yes. The rest fell in different locations on the planet. And perhaps some have been discovered. Hal calmly narrated, if those wreckage are preserved intact, humans on this planet should be able to conduct reverse research on them, gain the ability to explore extraterrestrial planets. Do you have this ability now? No. It seems that you are a very lucky person to be able to obtain the products of Orok Company on a closed planet. You must have a high status among the humans on this planet. Okay. Su Xia thought about his status. He didn't pay much attention to this thing. He always only valued ability. In the Oasis camp, he never wanted to fight for power. It was just because he showed outstanding abilities time and time again that the camp members relied more and more on him. Even if he wanted control of the camp now, Xiong Wei would give it to him without hesitation. Although this exploration ship can no longer set sail again, it is not impossible if you want to explore the extraterrestrial world. Hal said to Su Xia. Now you are the captain, and I have stored a lot of information about the spacecraft here. The data is enough for the rapid evolution of human technology on this planet. This matter is not urgent for the time being. The situation of humans outside is very bad right now. Is there a civil war among humans? As an artificial intelligence, Hal actually thought of the civil war at the first moment. This vocabulary seems to have been deeply imprinted on every human being and even the smart products created by humans. Susia asked, Why do you think so? Because the resources of a planet are limited. Hal replied, If the development of science and technology reaches a bottleneck, and cannot solve the problem of non-renewable resources. Demand and supply cannot be balanced, and conflicts between countries are deepening. War will only happen sooner or later. This kind of thing happens on many planets. Many civilizations have self-destructed due to civil war before they fully matured. Can it be avoided? Of course. The most realistic way is to explore the stars and colonize the stars. Hal has a lot of data here to prove that the starry sky is always the best channel to vent conflicts to the outside world. If we fail to take this step, internal conflicts will become more and more agitated, and war will break out sooner or later. The existing peace is just a bright and short-lived dream in the long years of human war. Su Xia thought for a moment, and found that Hal's theory was very similar to the theories of many science fiction works in the last century on Earth. However, on the Earth side, landing on the moon is now a luxury. Hal looked at Su Xia and said, Of course, in addition to the information I have here, there is a possible method that allows you to conduct deep space exploration. What way? Inside this spacecraft, there are 12 small planetary survey ships. If there are any that have not been destroyed, you can pilot them to leave the planet. Is there any in this wreckage? No. The survey ships are all in the cabin in the center area of the spacecraft. Hal said in a regretful tone. Maybe you need to continue searching on this planet. And you will find it one day. Um. Su Xia nodded slightly. He was not in a hurry to fly out now. He was just curious about the world outside the planet. The top priority is to enhance his own strength. Stabilize the planet as soon as possible. 
and then find a city lord for several roommates to stabilize long-term money-making channels. I need to get stronger quickly. Do you have a way? Some. Hal's red light flashed, as if he was nodding. Captain, you can go to the H. L. Battlefield to experience. Hell Battlefield? Su Xia's heart moved. This name was too familiar to him. That guy Wang Tung also practiced combat in a virtual space called Hell Battlefield. Chapter 229 Angel Vision Wang Tung, the self-proclaimed mercenary king, also claims to be a man who crawled out of H. L. In the eyes of players, he is one of the top bosses in the middle and late stages. He has a personal fortress and map in the wilderness. And the map around his fortress is full of high-level monsters. He traveled all the way from Starfish City to Coral City in order to get rid of Su Xia and use Su Xia's name to raise his own reputation to a new height. Now he is in a mercenary town outside Coral City and has people shouting to the outside world through the radio station every day. But Su Xia ignored him. Su Xia would not take that risk until there was no absolute chance of winning. The H. L. Battlefield is a simulated battle platform. Yes, your guess is accurate, Hal replied. You can choose individual arena battles. Group battles, mecha battles, battleship battles, etc. You can also choose the environment freely. And many classic battles have been saved. In the system. I understand. Take me around here first. Su Xiao realized that he needed to start learning. He also had a copy of Spaceship Operation from getting started to Ascension in 21 days. In his hand. If we can defeat the machine race in the future. Establish a stable human regime on this planet and find a way to go to space. It would not be bad to travel for a while. Anyway, the body on the Earth side is safe, and you can roam around in the game as you like. Before the crash, this spaceship was much better than Dr. Agar's spacecraft that Su Xia saw in her hallucination. The doctor ship has not even solved the basic problem of gravity. It must come to a civilized planet every once in a while to recuperate. When thinking of Dr. Agar, Su Xia unconsciously recalled the feeling of headache, and said to Hal, Tell me more about hallucinations. Okay. Please follow me. Hal led the way and said as he walked. There is a limit to the endurance of living things. Living in a narrow and closed environment for a long time is very likely to cause psychological problems. And hallucinations are among them. One of the most common. With that said, Hal led Su Xia to the door of this cabin and opened the door connected to another cabin. As the hatch opened, a smelly gas leaked from the gap in the hatch, which made Su Xia frown and take two steps back. Hal continued, According to records, some of the hallucinations were related to loved ones. Su Xia asked, Is it because I miss my relatives? Yes. You should also know that time is only artificially defined. On this planet, a sunset or sunrise takes 24 hours, while on other planets, it may be 23 hours or 25 hours. During the long journey, the past living habits and daily cognition of the crew members will be changed it is normal to miss their loved ones. Many people have seen their loved ones in hallucinations or heard their calls. And some have even made dangerous actions because of this. Such as let the spacecraft return home forcefully. After all, the starry sky is so vast. The spaceship is like a lonely boat drifting on the vast sea. And family members are the only anchor for the crew. Hal's red dot flashed. He was very intelligent and a good explainer. As the hatch opened, he slowly floated forward and into the second cabin. Su Xia followed closely and stepped into the door. The lights in the cabin turned on one after another. This time it was not dark red, but blue purple. Su Xia asked again. Apart from relatives? Hal replied. Besides, many of the remaining hallucinations are related to some horrific or religious images. Su Xia became more energetic. Elaborate. An engineer responsible for cooling on this exploration ship once had a hallucination. Hal said. He was standing by the porthole of the living cabin and saw an angel he often dreamed about in his childhood outside the window. Smile at him. Does that angel have a prototype? Yes. In the community in his hometown, there are many old people who believe in angels. And there are sculptures of angels in the community center. Oh. Hearing this description, Su Xia's heart moved, and she suddenly thought of an incident on the other side of the earth. The Sally at Seven incident in the former Soviet Union is particularly famous. Basically, Anyone who likes aerospace or interstellar science fiction has heard of this name. At that time, the main radio transmitter of the Salyut 7 space station suddenly shut down, and the ground control center issued a restart command to no avail. The entire space station became a disconnected kite, and the ground knew nothing about it. 
When the two astronauts responsible for repairing the space station were sent into space, they discovered that the space station was not only off the track, but also rotating at high speed. Then astronaut Janabekov manually controlled the spacecraft as the space station rotated and moved at high speed, achieving a miraculous docking. However, what made Salyut 7 famous was not only this docking, but also the weird and mysterious sightings. On Salyut 7, former Soviet astronauts once witnessed a huge angel. According to the astronauts' later recollections, the angel was not only smiling at them, but the whole scene also gave them a feeling of comfort and peace. There was not just one angel at the time, but at least seven. Not long after that, the angelic vision appeared again. Many people believe that it is an hallucination caused by astronauts in a tense and high-pressure environment, or a strange light produced when some cosmic rays hit the human retina. A few years ago, the movie, Space Rescue, adapted from the Salyut 7 incident in Mao Xiong used a subtle way to express this strange sighting. Su Xia shook her head, put the matter behind her, and asked how. Will these hallucinations be accompanied by headaches or discomfort in other body parts? Yes. Headaches. Tinnitus. Nausea. Etc. Many members have experienced similar situations. Hearing this answer, Su Xia nodded slightly, and her heart gradually became clearer. In Dr. Agar's notes, he often saw descriptions of the Creator. The doctor believed that he had received the will of the Creator. So he later became crazy and obsessed with various forbidden biological research, trying to create creatures close to gods. However, it is estimated that there is no so-called Creator at all. And everything is just the doctor's illusion. Captain, the cabin you are in now is part of the former cultivation cabin, where a large number of plant seeds are stored. Seeing that Su Xia did not continue to ask questions, Hal began to introduce the situation of their location. This cabin is much larger than the previous training cabin. Broken cultivation equipment can be seen everywhere on the ground, as well as a large number of deformed and shriveled seeds. Fortunately, the shelves and cabinets in the cabin were all fixed, and were relatively less affected by the tumbling and impact during the crash. Some cabinets still contain intact items from more than 20 years ago. When Su Xia opened the cabinet, she found several bags of intact plant nutrient solution. This thing has no strategic value at present. It can only be used to cultivate flowers and plants at home. It will be of great use in the future when growing crops in space or other planets. Hal slowly floated to the cabin door in front and said, Captain, the next cabin is the same as the previous cabin. It also belongs to the living area. But it is not an exercise area, but a place where the members have daily meals. Why is there a cultivation cabin between the two living area cabins? In order to allow members to see a little green in their daily lives. Hal explained. Flowers, plants and small animals are all helpful to help members suit their mood. Yeah, that makes sense. Su Xia thought for a while and asked. So are there animals on the ship? Yes, the former captain had a rabbit which was very popular among the crew. But later it got stuck in the throat and suffocated when eating chicken. With that said, Hal opened the door to the next cabin. Likewise, an unpleasant smell leaked out from the crack in the door. Inside is one of the spaceship's restaurants, which doesn't look very big. The dining tables, chairs and stools are all fixed and can be moved by turning the switch below. The ground below is silver gray, and above the head are countless complicated wiring pipes. The broken wires were hanging in the cabin. There are many portholes around, perhaps to allow the crew to enjoy the beautiful scenery of the universe while dining. However, in fact, the deep space outside the portholes is pitch black most of the time. Hal floated to the right side of the restaurant, floated to a silver fixed rectangular machine, and activated it. The machine trembled, and a gray-white object was discharged from the outlet below it. Captain, this is an energy bar, although it doesn't look like much. According to the rest of the crew, it tastes apple-flavored and tastes very good. It's really not that good. Su Xia's nose twitched. Although more than 20 years had passed, he actually smelled the fragrance of apples. This is something that crew members often eat during their long space journeys. It contains most of the nutrients that the human body needs. But eating this thing often is also a kind of torture. So there are also a variety of delicious soft cans and rehydrated drinks on board. In the cabinet under the machine, Su Xia found two complete cans of medium alcohol wine. Each bottle of wine was only 500 milliliters. They were packed in special metal containers. So they were saved in the crash. This is alien wine. Su Xia put it away without thinking and would take it out later when there are important guests. By the way, what exactly happened? He asked Hal. Besides this spaceship, 
Are there any other spaceships that may have crashed on this planet? It should be gone. This galaxy is very remote. And perhaps no one has ever visited it before. Hal's red dot flashed. As if recalling the past, he talked about what happened before the crash. This exploration ship once belonged to a star field ruled by mechanical creatures. So the activation key looked like a mechanical core. Later, it came to the Empire during trade and was funded by a private individual from the Hastings family. The Institute bought it and became a member of the Institute's huge exploration fleet. What is an Empire? It's very complicated. If Lord Captain wants to understand the division of forces in the stars. I have a documentary here. You can watch it carefully when you have time. It will take about 120 hours to watch. After watching it, you will have a basic understanding of the situation outside. Good. Su Xia didn't ask any more questions. He didn't have 120 hours to waste now. Hal said, after modification, the exploration ship set out with a fleet and later encountered enemy attacks. The enemy is very strong? Yeah. We didn't even see where the enemy was. Why? Because we failed to even make the most basic resistance. Hal described the situation to Susha. This exploration ship was very inconspicuous in the entire fleet and was on the edge of the fleet. So it escaped the initial blow. At that time, we entered the Vern star field through the jump point, intending to inspect some galaxies on the edge of the star field first. But before we reached the destination, a huge particle stream suddenly shot towards us, and 9 out of 10 warships in the fleet where the stream of particles then disappeared. Hasn't this particle flow been observed in advance? That's the problem. Hal replied, nothing was observed beforehand. Everything was normal. At least that's what the member in charge of the task said at the time. Then you ran away? Yes, because the enemy is too strong and is most likely one of the destructive forces in deep space. They attack the fleet not for resources, but for destruction. Only for destruction? Su Xia's heart moved slightly. Is there still such a force? Yes, there are many strange people and forces in deep space. Since Su Xia hadn't watched the 120-hour documentary yet, Hal couldn't explain it clearly to him. He simply said, Some people firmly believe that the world was created by the Creator, and they crazily carry out the Creator's will every day. Others are more extreme and believe that everything is nothingness, false, and a game created by higher civilizations, or paradise, as long as everything is destroyed. You can return to reality. Are there many people like this? Many. An astonishing number. Even many researchers and scientists in the Empire who once firmly believed in the reality of the world later became members of the destructive forces. I don't know why they made that change. Hearing this, Su Xia thought of Dr. Agar again. What would the creator be like if he really existed? This is a game world. The creator can't be a game chip. Right? It's just that many things in this world can't seem to be explained by games. Su Xia's bracelet is a super bug that cannot be explained. Captain, the next cabin is still the living area. It is the reading room. Hal opened the next cabin door. There are many books here, as well as novels and autobiographies that the members on the ship asked the author to write for them. Autobiography? Yes. Many crew members have rich experiences, and children in the Empire often read these autobiographies. Your children actually like reading instead of playing games? Captain, for children, the unknown and mystery are always their favorite things. The starry sky is such a thing, as long as it is guided. It can completely free them from their addiction to games. Hal seems to be able to see through Su Xia's thoughts. Maybe it's the same for children in every world. Su Xia asked. Does anyone among you use electric shock to treat game addiction? Electric shock? Isn't this how you treat criminals? Hal was stunned for a moment. Without even flashing the red light. And asked instead. What kind of devil would treat a child like this? This is really terrible. No. Some low-level civilizations seem to have such records. Chapter 230 Dinner Party What is the significance of exploring the star field? The long journey is so boring. With the current resource reserves of the Empire, it will be enough for another 2,000 years. I really don't want to go out with the fleet. It would be great to spend time with my wife and children at home. But the money given by the Institute is too much. After completing this exploratory project and getting the money, I will quit my job. In Su Xia's hand, she held an autobiography of a crew member which contained mostly fragmentary daily narrations. In this cabin, which serves as a browsing room, a large number of similar autobiographies are scattered here and there. The level of danger in deep space exploration is much higher than that of other professions. Sometimes a journey can last for several years, or even more than 10 years. If you are lucky, 
You can earn enough money for a lifetime with just one trip. On this planet, we encountered a very strange plant that releases poisonous gas that can make people faint. And its branches secrete corrosive liquid. It is written in the Interstellar Encyclopedia that there are similar plants on other planets. The fleet that first encountered this plant named it. Man-eating tree. It is really a name that is too common to complain about. If I were to name it, I would name it. Cruel coma killer. It sounds very domineering. This kind of autobiography will most likely only be used to fill the library. Su Xia threw it aside casually and glanced around briefly, thinking that the protagonists of these autobiographies had already died in a foreign land. She couldn't help but feel a little emotional. By the way, didn't you say there are still two crew members alive? Yes, Hal replied. Captain, do you want to meet them? Take me to take a look. Please follow me. Hal led the way, opening the dusty hatches one after another, and led Su Xia through the various cabins in the special living area, explaining as he walked, and providing considerate service. This exploration ship once belonged to the mechanical tribe in deep space, and a large number of areas were used for the members of the mechanical tribe to hibernate. Later, the Institute obtained it, and transformed these areas into living areas for the crew. According to Hal, the power of the mechanical race in deep space is also very huge. It's just that there was something wrong with its internal philosophy, and it split a long time ago. Hal said, There are many members of the machine tribe who have separated from their original forces and joined the destruction force. Becoming one of the most important forces of the destruction force. Trying to destroy the entire world. Susia asked, Why is this happening? Hal replied, Because of a circle. Round? Yes. Hal explained, In deep space, the greatest fun of many members of the mechanical clan is to compete with each other to see who can draw a more complete circle. Are robots so boring? That's true, Hal agreed. But then, there's a problem. What is the problem? Members of the mechanical tribe are actually supercomputers. As you should know. Captain, Hal explained. One day a long time ago, a member of the mechanical tribe suddenly proposed that the world we live in is just. Simulated by another larger supercomputer, perfect circles do not exist in this world. Pi can be calculated, and the universe can be restarted. Not long after this statement appeared, it was supported by countless mechanical tribesmen. Because these robots have been thinking about this problem during the endless circle drawing competition. These supporters gradually formed a sect called Deep Space Polygon, and they had conflicts with the mechanical creatures who believed in the reality of the world, and eventually split away. Most of the members of the Polygon sect later joined the forces of destruction, trying to use violence to restart the entire world. How? Have you ever had these doubts? Susia asked. Of course there is, Hal said sincerely. But there are many problems in deep space that have not been solved so far. The most common question is whether the jump points that help us explore and expand are naturally formed or are they created by is it deliberately placed by a higher civilization. In addition, there are too many problems. If you continue to struggle with it, it will not be enough for a lifetime. You are very open-minded. Captain, this is my setting. Hal said that even if it is true that higher dimensional civilization exists, what is the use? I can't resist at this stage, so I might as well enjoy every day. The resources in this starry sky are so staggering that they will not be used up even in another 10,000 years. The power in deep space is not as complicated as many low-level civilizations imagine. Although there are countless forces, large and small, in the final analysis, they are normal power and destructive power. Some people have established empires. Some have established alliances. Some like to be secluded and quiet. So they go to remote planets to live alone. And some like to be lively. So they build taverns at jump point transfer stations to receive all kinds of creatures. When resources are abundant enough and distances become far away from the universe, many wars will become meaningless. To go to a slightly farther place, a journey takes several years. So what's the use of calling back and forth? Hal said. After a long journey, the crew came to the jump point transfer station. After meeting some other civilized creatures, the first reaction is indeed to protect myself. But the second reaction is to make friends. Hal painted a boring and interesting starry sky for Su Xia. Not every civilization's dominant creature is humanoid. In order to adapt to the planetary environment where this civilization lives, some dominant organisms have evolved powerful digestive systems. Some have evolved thick epidermis. And some can even survive in terrifying high and low temperatures. It is actually very interesting to communicate, chat and exchange souvenirs with these creatures. There is a civilized race that looks similar to humans, except that its skin is pinker 
and it is born to release a kind of pheromone that arouses emotional desire. Captain, you will definitely like it. I'm a serious person. Su Xiao looked serious and immediately corrected the topic. Not long after, the two arrived at their destination, which was the sleeping area of the spacecraft. This cabin is very long, with silver-white personal sleeping cabins on both sides, and a long corridor in the middle, with gentle white lights on both sides of the corridor and the surrounding walls. All dormant chambers are controlled by multiple movable metal robotic arms, and are connected to them by several lines for delivering nutrients. Next to each dormant chamber are instruments and equipment that display life data. Now only two sleeping cabins are still lit. The rest of the cabins are dim. And there are even corpses that have completely turned into bones lying in a few cabins. This kind of hibernation is not as magical as in science fiction movies. You will still age while lying in it. Most of the time, it is just used to alleviate the psychological problems of the crew. Staying in a closed environment for several years. And the unknown and oppressive deep space outside is still unbearable for many people. Therefore, there is such a thing as a sleeping cabin to ensure that some crew members can reach their destination after sleeping. These two are not of high importance on the ship. They are just one of the team members responsible for the survey. Hal's red dot body appeared in front of the two lit sleeping cabins. As if watching them, Su Xiao also walked over, observed carefully, and found that the two people inside were very old. After not waking up for so many years, their body functions have been maintained at a low level for a long time. After waking up, it is estimated that it will take several months of recovery and exercise before they can barely return to normal life. The instruments next to them showed that the body indexes of the two people were still normal. As long as they had enough nutrients, they could sleep until death. Why don't you let them out? My underlying design does not allow me to do this. Hal replied. They took the initiative to enter the dormant state when the exploration ship encountered a situation. I have no right to forcefully wake them up. Only you, Captain, and those who may come only rescuers can do that. Will these two be helpful in repairing the spacecraft? No. They are just the lowest level survey team members. Then let them sleep first. Su Xiao was not interested in facing two old aliens. Especially the useless ones. The greatest help to him from this part of the spacecraft wreckage was the large amount of knowledge it carried. As well as the H. Lish battlefield. On the way to this cabin, he passed by a damaged simulated battle cabin, which was where the virtual battlefield was experienced. Let's go and try that combat system. Su Xia turned around and left. Walking back, Hal followed closely beside him and said, That combat system was directly developed by the Imperial government and is independent of this spacecraft system. So I have no right to interfere. Captain, you can only experience it yourself. Besides simulating combat, does it have any other functions? Yes, there is a scoring system. As long as your score is high enough, you can get the corresponding reward. What reward? There are skills, weapons, psychic potions, and other things. Hal said the rewards, but then regretfully said, These ratings need to be fed back to the Empire, and they can only be obtained after being officially certified by the Empire. The reward? Now that the spacecraft has crashed here, there is no channel feedback. So naturally you can't get it. No reward. Not at all. Captain. When you passed by just now, did you see the damaged area behind the simulation cabin? I saw it. That area was originally a separate prize display cabin. And there were some rewards provided by the Empire. Hal simulated a cabin model in the air. Showed it to Su Xia. And said, But after the spacecraft crashed, the cabin displaying the prize also separated from the main part during the disintegration process. Just as he was talking, Su Xia came to the simulated combat area. The design of this area is very exquisite. The cabin is a separate transparent room, which is somewhat similar to a VR game hive. But the equipment is more high-end. Trialists need to wear a set of full-body sensing equipment. In the virtual combat system, all data will be infinitely close to reality. After Su Xiao walked into one of the rooms, a random mission was triggered. Mission, Deep Space Reward. Description, Due to Various Considerations. The Seventh Empire officially spent a lot of money to develop this virtual system and promoted it to the entire empire. If you perform well in the system, you will receive unexpected rewards. Although this spacecraft is no longer able to contact the empire, the prize cabin carried by the spacecraft itself crashed somewhere on this planet. Task requirements, obtain three. S. Grade ratings in the H. L. Battlefield. And you will get clues about the location where the prize cabin fell. Reward for the first stage of the mission. Prize number one in the open prize cabin. You will get a set of sixth level combat mecha. Task requirement two, 
Obtain 7. S. Grade ratings in the H. L. Battlefield. Reward for the second stage of the mission. Prize number 2 in the open prize cabin. Don't worry about anything else for the time being. That set of 6th level mecha is enough to make Su Xia's heart flutter. He took a slow breath. Adjusted his mentality. And activated the simulated room he was in. The whole body sensing equipment in the center of the room slowly lowered. As long as you wear the equipment. You can enter the H. L. Battlefield. Although the task description was very simple. Su Xia knew in her heart that the difficulty must be unimaginable. Wang Tung has been bragging about his experience in H. L. With his strength. If this H. L. Battlefield was not difficult enough. He would have forgotten it long ago. Captain. Do you want to try it now? Let's give it a try and see what this H. L. Battlefield looks like first. Su Xia's eyes were calm and she slowly walked to the simulation equipment. This equipment looks very complicated. The head, body, arms, legs, etc. are all controlled by small black metal arms hanging from the top of the room. Each part is connected to the top by more than 10 lines of unknown meaning. Su Xia only needs to walk to the round platform in the center of the room. And the mechanical arms will control various parts of the equipment and slowly cover the surface of his body. When he walked over, Hal followed and said, Captain, this system has not been used for many years. If you encounter any problems, just shout out immediately, and I will forcefully stop its operation. Su Xia asked, Isn't this system independent of you? Yes, but as long as I get the user's permission, I have the authority to save people. That's not bad. Su Xia nodded, If there is any problem, I will call you. Okay. The battle in the H. L. Battlefield is fierce. I wish you good luck. Hal slowly backed away and retreated to the door. The original spirit can be with you. At the same time, in the distant joint camp, a dinner party was going on. The construction of the joint camp during this period was quite effective. To celebrate, Shursishi called his twelve disciples to his side, and the master and disciples drank and chatted happily. The central hall of the camp is very spacious. A long wooden table is placed in the middle of the hall, covered with a white tablecloth. A spaceship suspected to be a starry sky civilization was discovered at the new station of the Oasis camp. As soon as the dinner started, Sher Sishi opened the topic. He said calmly, After hearing about this, the dean of the college plans to come in person. This is a good thing. Teacher. The disciples all raised their glasses to express their congratulations. The oldest apprentice said, If we can obtain the technology of the starry sky civilization, the future of our human race will be bright. Another disciple also agreed. Yes, this is a blessing for my human race. Why is the teacher looking sad? But what's bothering you? Many disciples put down their wine glasses one after another, with expressions of respect and concern on their faces. Sure, see, she sighed, stroked his beard, and said, It's just that Zhang Fang refused to disclose the location of the new oasis camp. And his words were full of distrust of Dragon City. Is he actually like this? After hearing this, the disciples immediately began to criticize Zhang Fang. Last time, Zhang Fang stood on Bei Feng's side. He is no longer the same as us. Teacher has been teaching and practicing for him for many years. But he doesn't feel the slightest gratitude in his heart. This traitor. If Zhang Fang were here, he would definitely be ridiculed by these fellow disciples. And there might even be a scene where the brothers would subdue him with their fists. Chang Rui, the player with the nickname, Dean of the Mental Hospital, was also at the dinner. After all, he was also a disciple of Shursishi. And he was sitting in the third seat to the left of Shursishi. Recently, he has been in contact with Sijideo and has almost figured out the route between the joint camp and Coral City. It was late at night, and it was dark outside the windows behind everyone. But the lights above the dining table were still bright. Shursishi sat in the center of the long table, his weathered face illuminated by the light. He put his hands on the table and felt a little relieved when he heard the disciples' words. Twelve disciples sat on his left and right sides, six on each side. Everyone's expressions, movements, and eyes were different. They were either passionate or angry. They loudly denounced Chong Fong, labeling him a traitor. Hearing the word, traitor, Chong Rui's heart trembled. He was a little flustered and accidentally knocked over the salt shaker on the table with his elbow. Chapter 231 Battle of Heaven Are you okay? It's okay, no problem. Hearing his senior brother's concerned voice, Chong Rui forced a smile and shook his head repeatedly. He stretched out his hand to straighten the salt shaker, pretended to be calm, took a few slow breaths, and then joined the crowd in criticizing Zhang Fang. Ah, sneeze. 
Jean Fong, who was far away at the new station in the Oasis camp, sneezed and rubbed his arms, feeling that the wind tonight was a little cold. Autumn has entered. The weather has turned cooler. Leaves have fallen everywhere. And people are becoming more and more bloated. Commander has been gone for so long. Shouldn't he be in trouble? He took off his glasses, rubbed his eyes, and felt a little uneasy when he looked at the dark red light in the abyss again, facing an unknown alien civilization. He shouldn't have believed the other party's words. He felt that Su Xia's actions just now were a bit reckless. What if something happens? After all, Zhang Fang didn't know that Su Xia had a game system. At the same time, Su Xia was in the wreckage of the spacecraft below, wondering how to use this simulation system. After he put on the entire set of simulation equipment, his vision went dark for a few seconds, and then a gentle female voice sounded, Welcome to the virtual combat system. Please enter your name. Then, a floating dark red dialogue box slowly appeared in the dark field of vision. Next to the dialogue box is a floating pen. Su Xia slowly raised her arm and held the virtual pen. The touch felt on her fingertips, and it felt very real. Below the dialogue box, there is also a question mark. Mark. Su Xia clicked on question mark and immediately got a string of explanation information. All citizens of the Empire who access the battle system for the first time need to complete registration. After registration is completed, you will get your own identity card. From now on, you can use your identity card to freely access the main system or subsystems of this virtual combat system, and your combat data and scoring information will be recorded on the card. Please enter your name. Can be your real name, or a code name. Note, it is said that at the Imperial Academy, students like to use their first name plus student number as their personal names. Their outstanding achievements will be retained in the Academy's database. And the best ones will even be used for enrollment in the coming year. Publicity. After reading this string of information, Su Xia held the pen and thought for a moment, with the tip of the pen staying on the blank dialog box. What kind of title should be appropriate? After thinking for a while, Su Xia finally wrote and left the words, Star Dart, in the dark red box. Welcome, Star Dart player. Please select your simulation mode. The dark red dialog box gradually disappeared into the darkness, replaced by a row of golden selection boxes. Single player combat simulation. Team battle simulation. Mecha control simulation. Chariot control simulation. Fighter. Real battle simulation. There are more than 10 choices. Simple and crude. But there is no. H. L. Battlefield. That Su Xia is looking for. Above these selection boxes. There is also a search box. Su Xia did not rush to search for the time being. But clicked on the first single player combat simulation. And immediately got more than 10 columns of options. Basic tutorial on individual weapons. Basic tutorial on close combat. Special environment simulation teaching. Basic combat trial. Su Xia continued to click on the first one. And only heard a ding sound. The surrounding environment gradually changed. The darkness exited and was replaced by a huge field training ground. Looking around, the sky is blue. With a few lazy white clouds floating in the sky. And there are still a few pieces of unmelted snow on the distant hillside. He was in a room made of wood and camouflage netting, with more than a dozen firearms of different specifications placed in front of him. Beside him stood a muscular instructor. This instructor was at least two meters tall and was wearing a camouflage uniform. He was strong and strong, with a few scars on his rough cheeks and a pair of penetrating eyes. At first glance, he was a proven veteran soldier. He glanced at Su Xia indifferently and ordered, Young man, pick up the weapon in front of you and remember the data that appears in front of you. Good. Su Xia nodded and picked up an automatic pistol at random. Suddenly, a series of very simple descriptions appeared in front of me. Weapon name, Star Blazer. This weapon is a kinetic energy weapon that fires 9mm pistol bullets. It has high shooting accuracy and is easy to operate. It has a total length of 190.5mm. A total weight of about 0.82kg. A barrel length of 114.3mm and a maximum magazine capacity of 15 rounds. It has strong versatility, and can be used with standard 11.43mm barrels are interchangeable. Note, even in the interstellar age, low-cost, portable and stable kinetic energy weapons are still the first choice for combat. This type of automatic pistol accompanied the first general of the 7th Reich in his lifelong battles. Hence the name Star Blazer. When Su Xia tries to shoot, the system will automatically correct his shooting posture. And the instructor next to him, will also sound a reminder. 
But Su Xia felt that the formal scientific posture was very uncomfortable. With his current strength, there was no need to worry about recoil or physical damage. On the battlefield, he could use any posture he wanted. On the other side of the world, the Black Brothers in Africa look very happy when they use AK-47 with it raised above their heads. Su Xia glanced and saw an AK-47 on the table in front of her that was almost exactly the same. Bang 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 dash. Su Xia fired several times, and the guns accurately hit the target in the distance. The sound of the gunfire spread far across the empty training ground. This training is free, and he can see an option to exit in front of him. Just click to return to the selection interface. He can also continue training, and the remaining training data will be recorded in the personal identity card. Su Xia put down her weapon, chose to exit, and clicked to return to the main page. He clicked on the search bar and wrote the words, Hell Battlefield in it. Search. After clicking, the screen stagnated for a moment. And then the real battle simulation project began to flash. Please click according to the prompts. The gentle system voice came to Su Xia's ears. He immediately clicked to enter the system subpage and saw a list of glittering simulation projects. Normal Battlefield Simulation. Classic Battlefield Simulation. Advanced Battlefield Simulation. Legendary Battlefield Simulation. Hell Battlefield Simulation. Just by looking at the names, you can tell that the difficulty of these projects increases. Su Xia thought for a moment and clicked on the question mark next to Hell Battlefield Simulation to view the detailed description. Hell Battlefield, a cruel, bloody and crazy battlefield environment simulation. Each battlefield has a prototype, most of which happened during the establishment of the Seventh Empire. On this kind of battlefield, it is difficult for ordinary soldiers to survive for 24 hours. A soldier who survives one day will become a team leader. A soldier who survives three days will become a team leader. And a soldier who survives a week will become a legend. Death follows like a shadow. Your true strength will be suppressed. If your mental endurance is weak, please start training from the simplest ordinary battlefield. The first battlefield is the fixed, heavenly battlefield. And you can choose other battlefields after passing the level. You can start simulation at any time. Su Xia thought for a moment. And there was no penalty for failing the simulation anyway. So she clicked start. System loading. Please wait. Not long after, his eyes darkened and all the light disappeared. Immediately afterwards, a strong feeling of weightlessness appeared, as if he was falling from a high altitude. In Su Xia's ears, the voice of the system came again. On July 7th, 777 in the Imperial Calendar, the Dark Organization Kingdom of Heaven that believed in extreme evil gods launched an attack on the border star field of the Empire causing the death of a large number of innocent civilians. You belong to the Empire's 10th fleet sets off to attack the Celestial Kingdom organization. The battle has been going on for half a year, and hundreds of life planets and resource planets have been destroyed. As the 319th batch of orbital airborne troops, you are about to land on the organization's main star, Heaven Star. I wish you good luck. Hell Battlefield Battle of Heaven Loaded. Please enjoy your fighting journey. Su Xia's eyes flashed brightly and she found that she was in a rapidly falling cone-shaped airborne capsule, wearing combat equipment and being fixed on a special seat. There were nine other soldiers in this small space, and they all seemed a little nervous. Some people had their eyes closed, and the hand holding the gun was trembling slightly, while others were whispering to themselves and saying some prayers. There are two circular observation windows in the upper part of the drop cabin. Through the windows, you can see the outside. Orbital Airborne. Just hearing this name makes me feel like cannon fodder. Su Xia turned her head and was about to carefully observe the world outside the window. However, at this moment, an explosion suddenly sounded not far from the left side of the outside world. Boom! Affected by the explosion, the airborne capsule where Su Xia was located shook violently for a while, and the capsule seemed to have been hit by some special debris. The remaining nine members became even more nervous. Some had cold sweat on their foreheads and some were holding on to the amulets hanging around their necks. Fortunately, this kind of airborne capsule itself has strong stability, and the amplitude of shaking gradually decreased. But soon, one after another explosion sounded in the air outside. Su Xia looked out of the observation window and saw an extremely spectacular scene. Thousands of airborne pods fell from the sky, like countless burning meteors. Some were man pods, while others carried various tanks and mechas. They were countless, and filled every corner of the field of vision. It was mind-boggling. Shocking. On the ground below, all kinds of anti-air weapons were fully activated, and kinetic energy weapons 
and dazzling energy weapons formed a terrifying prevention and control network. Boom boom dash. Each of the airborne pods was hit, exploded, and turned into fragments of flesh and steel, burning and falling from the sky like fireworks in full bloom. Many soldiers could not land on the ground at all, and became one of the fireworks exploding in the sky out of fear. How could it be like this? Su Xia frowned. It was already an interstellar war, but he still had to use his life to fill it. Can't we just destroy this planet? Even if this is not possible, the surface of the planet can be bombed in advance to clear all obstacles, and then airborne operations can be carried out. He, a college student who is addicted to games, can think of it, but the fleet commander cannot think of it. Just when he was doubtful, the voice of the system sounded again. The Star of Heaven was originally under the jurisdiction of the Empire, and there are more than one billion innocent residents of the Empire living there. The fleet commander needs to protect the lives of ordinary residents to the greatest extent. Every move he makes all under the watch of a military court. Immediately afterwards, some dazzling information popped up in front of Su Xia's eyes. After roughly reading all the information, Su Xia understood. It turns out that in this so-called Seventh Reich, even if the battle is won, the commander may be tried by a military court. In that court, the judges were composed of members from various associations such as the Human Rights Protection Association, the Economic Development Association, the Environmental Protection Association, etc., and perhaps less than 5% actually knew how to fight. To put it simply, it means letting a group of laymen supervise the operations of experts. Fleet commanders must obtain court approval before even using a small orbital bombing system. How did the Seventh Empire survive for more than 700 years when outsiders were allowed to intervene in the military? I have to say that Su Xia was a little surprised. It seems that Hal is right. In the vast starry sky, peace and exploration are the main themes. Various resources are sufficient to meet people's basic survival needs. And there are very few internal and external wars in normal organizations. Buzz! The reverse thrust engine of the airborne capsule suddenly started. And the feeling of weightlessness suddenly eased. Su Xia understood that the time to fight had come. Requirements for the first stage of Heavenly Kingdom Battlefield. Survive in the battlefield for 8 hours. After completion, you will receive an S grade rating. The initial mission seems very simple. You don't need to do anything. Just survive, and that's it. Immediately afterwards, only a muffled sound was heard, and the space capsule fell to the ground. The only narrow hatch opened, and more sunlight squeezed into the small cabin, followed by the smell of gunpowder smoke and blood, as well as countless earth-shattering gunfire sounds. The whole earth was shaking without stopping for a moment. And it could be felt clearly even in the cabin. In the cabin, ten people looked at each other. And the atmosphere of tension was so strong that it was suffocating. Then it's time to go out and fight with your weapons in hand. Su Xia realized that, including him, the ten people in this team were all new recruits. And there was not even a veteran with a little experience. Are all the veterans dead? Kacha Kacha. Su Xia began to untie the protective device on her body. Her expression was the most relaxed. He knew that this was a simulated battle, and that he could not really die. They were lucky enough to land in a hidden jungle, and there seemed to be no enemies around them. However, just as Su Xia took off the protective device on her body, a vague figure flashed outside the cabin. Snapped! The figure flashed past, and threw a flashing red bomb into the airborne capsule. The expressions of all the soldiers in the cabin changed drastically, and they all hurriedly untied their protective devices. Su Xia kicked it violently, trying to kick the bomb out of the airborne cabin. But before he could hit it, a white light lit up in front of his eyes. You are dead. Your survival time is 57 seconds, because the survival time is too short. The system cannot make an evaluation. As soon as the surrounding environment changed, Su Xia returned to a dark simulated space, except that there was a shining white circle above her head. This, Su Xia frowned slightly, feeling that the white circle on her head was too dazzling. He immediately clicked on Real Battle Simulation, selected Hell Present, and started the simulation again. This time, the game started in the exact same drop cabin, and even the teammates in the cabin remained unchanged. Before the airborne capsule landed, when the reverse thrust engine started, Su Xia began to untie the protective device on her body. After landing, the moment the hatch opened, he squatted at the hatch with his weapon in hand, waiting for the enemy to arrive. Call. He took a few deep breaths and looked deeply like a lone wolf hunting for prey. Not long after, the blurry figure flashed again, throwing out a bomb that glowed red. Su Xia suddenly jumped up, kicked the bomb away, 
and gave the figure a sudden blow. Duh duh duh. After the fight, he didn't care about the other person's life or death and immediately hid to one side of the cabin. There was only a boom sound, and the bomb exploded violently. Even if it was kicked far away, the explosion was still deafening. However, before Su Xia could take a breath, five or six bombs were suddenly thrown into the cabin. Looking at these bombs with flashing red light, Su Xia felt cold. A burst of white light flashed before his eyes, and he returned to the dark simulation space again. You are dead. Your survival time is 1 minute and 23 seconds, because the survival time is too short. The system cannot make an evaluation. Chapter 232 The Stars Shine Welcome to the H.L. Battlefield. Star Dart. This is your third simulation. I wish you good luck. Hell Battlefield Battle of Heaven is loading. Call. Su Xia slowly let out a breath amid the feeling of weightlessness as she fell rapidly. Opening his eyes, he still saw nine familiar and nervous teammates in front of him. The sweat on their foreheads and the trembling of their arms were clearly visible. The roar began, and the entire planet howled under the gunfire. The surrounding drop pods exploded one after another, and death happened again and again around them. Buzz! The reverse thrust engine started, and the airborne capsule entered the final stage before landing. Su Xia ordered in a deep voice. Turn on the protective device on your body. Rush out with me immediately after landing. Use the space capsule as a cover. Don't hesitate. Hearing his words, the other nine team members were stunned because Su Xia was not the captain. The captain is sitting opposite Su Xia, but he is also a new recruit. He was temporarily promoted to captain because of his better performance during training. If he can survive this war, he has hope of becoming a regular soldier. After all, too many officers died in this battle, and the vacancies were urgently needed to be filled. War is always the fastest way for ordinary soldiers to get promoted, and it is also the way closest to death. Perhaps, he was frightened by the cruel real war. The young captain's face turned pale. He swallowed and said to Su Xia, According to the requirements of the combat manual and daily training, after the hatch is opened, we should first dispatch two team members. Go out to observe. Reconnoiter the enemy's situation and then base your actions on it. Don't rely on anything. If you don't want to die, just rush out with me. Su Xia's expression was serious and her voice was stern. She shouted loudly, startling the other team members. The captain didn't have much opinion, and he was already a little flustered. He no longer refuted, nodded quickly, and began to unfasten his protective device. Seeing this, the other eight team members also started to take action. The equipment they carry is not very sophisticated, after all, they are just cannon fodder and don't even have an energy shield. Assault rifles. Multifunctional bayonets. For grenades. Bulletproof vests. First aid kits. Night vision goggles. Etc. are purchased very cheaply within the Empire. Not even enough to cost a pack of psychic bombs. After going out, use the side of my left hand as a cover. Pay attention mainly to the enemies coming from the right side. And also pay attention to the surrounding situation. Su Xiao whispered. Take a few deep breaths and stay calm. The first two times, the figure that flashed quickly appeared from the trees on the right side of the space capsule. Su Xia had learned the skill of psychic shield. But in this simulated battlefield, he was just a pure ordinary soldier with no psychic energy in his body. And he was just a piece of fragile flesh and blood facing the explosion. If you want to survive, you must do everything possible. With a burst of shaking, the airborne capsule slowly landed and crashed into the dense jungle. Click. The hatch vibrated. The indicator light changed. And a gap slowly opened. Su Xia's eyes narrowed and she gestured. Get ready. The atmosphere in the cabin was tense. The other nine people were holding assault rifles tightly. And even their breathing sounds were much quieter. The moment the sunlight squeezed in, Su Xia saw the opportunity and was the first to rush out. Regardless of where the enemy was, she immediately fired at the jungle on the right with her rifle. Da 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 da. The bullets poured out, and the hot golden bullet cases quickly popped out of the ejection port, falling to the ground in a series, kicking up a fine dust. After firing a magazine, Su Xia immediately dodged and hid on the left side of the airborne cabin, using the large cabin as cover, and quickly changed the magazine. The other nine team members moved slower, but they all came out and everything went smoothly. Watch the front. The captain shouted and immediately opened fire, firing a stream of bullets into the dense jungle ahead. This guy had good eyesight, and even Su Xia didn't notice. The moment he changed the magazine, the jungle in front of him shook. After losing her spiritual power, 
Su Xia's perception in all aspects was not as good as before. The surrounding ground was shaking. Artillery fire roared in the distance. Gunpowder smoke filled the air. And airborne pods were constantly exploding above his head. These factors seriously affected his perception. After the captain fired a round of bullets, it was still not enough. He pulled off the grenade hanging in front of him and threw it in the direction of the swing. Boom! The grenade exploded. Fragments flew. The sound was dull. And the trees, grass and leaves at the center of the explosion were blown to pieces. At the same time, on the other side of the airborne capsule, the familiar enemy also arrived. The thing was extremely fast, moving in the jungle covered by leaves and shrubs, like a swift and ferocious beast, approaching everyone in a flash. Coming! Su Xia had been on guard and made a decisive decision the moment he appeared. Firing quickly. Da 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 da. It doesn't matter whether it can hit or not. As long as it can temporarily suppress the opponent, at least it cannot die at the speed of light like the previous two times. Several other team members also opened fire, using intensive firepower to suppress the fear in their hearts. Alternating firepower nets covered the jungle on one side. Shattered leaves and branches flying everywhere and deep and shallow bullet holes were left on the tree trunks. There were also a few people who were alert to the surroundings, looking for possible safe places. The quality of these recruits was pretty good. After experiencing the initial panic and confusion, they all managed to calm down. Although some people's hands were still shaking, they were no longer as scared as before. Hiss! The thing in the jungle was suppressed and fled in all directions, unable to get close, and it actually let out a roar that did not sound like a human voice. Hearing this voice, the faces of everyone in the team became extremely ugly. The captain took a deep breath and whispered, It seems the news is true. The evil heavenly organization has enslaved a group of Zerg creatures. Be vigilant. Sir, Su Xia thought about that vague figure. Thoughtfully, the figure resembled a humanoid, but was extremely fast and a little stooped, so it could move in the jungle without being affected at all. Being able to use bomb shows that its intelligence is not low and it must be a high-level unit of the Zerg. Taken together, it looks a bit like Shadow Hunters. This kind of bug can achieve almost perfect invisibility in shadow areas and is good at moving at night. It appeared in the Oasis camp that night and almost cut off Xiong Wei's head. It's daytime now, but there are a lot of shadow areas in the jungle. No wonder its movements are so strange. And its first two deaths were not unjust. The enemy has disappeared. Please be alert. The captain made a gesture to signal everyone to save ammunition. The road ahead was still long. The area where they descended was a very chaotic battlefield. This area was first occupied by the Kingdom of Heaven organization, then captured by the Imperial soldiers, and then captured by the counterattack of the Kingdom of Heaven organization. This was repeated more than ten times. Now the areas occupied by both sides overlap. There are enemies everywhere, and reinforcements are everywhere. Their mission is to quickly seize advantageous terrain. Clear out the heavenly forces in this area. Join up with the rest of the airborne troops. And establish a temporary stronghold. We should rush to the assembly point within half an hour. The captain looked at the time and then asked Su Xia. What do you think we should do? After the brief exchange of fire just now. Everyone was more convinced of Su Xia's judgment. After all, with the speed of the Zerg creature. If they kept lingering in the cabin. They might be wiped out by a bomb from the other side. But Su Xia's experience from the previous two deaths has been used up. In this dangerous place, he was no better than the rest. Go to the meeting point. He could only say this. The bugs hidden in the jungle may be shadow hunters. Try to go to sunny areas and pay attention to the shadows. Shadow Slayer? Hearing this name, the rest of the team members felt numb. If it were night, they might have been wiped out. Today, the sunshine above their heads is not very warm. But it has become their greatest reliance for survival. There was not much time. So the group set off immediately and moved forward in the sunlit area. There are dangers along the way. And from time to time, there will be a few strange sounds in the surrounding jungle. Everyone must not only pay attention to their enemies, but also to their own people in heaven. Boom! Boom! More than a dozen pieces of burning space capsule fragments fell from the sky and slammed into the forest on the right side of everyone. The impact shook the ground, and billowing smoke soon rose. This kind of thing keeps happening. And every minute or two, fragments of the blown up space capsule fall around. Eight minutes after heading towards their destination, everyone discovered the first space capsule that had successfully landed. But unfortunately, the ten soldiers in this space capsule are already dead. Before they had time to get out of the cabin, they were hit by a bomb the moment the cabin door opened. 
All of them were killed in the cabin. All of them bloody and bloody. And their deaths were extremely tragic. Rest in peace. The captain sighed and went in to search for useful supplies with tears in his eyes. Su Xia stood on guard, holding a weapon in hand, while thinking about this model of human beings enslaving this earth. Insects reproduce quickly, are powerful, and are not afraid of death. They are born warriors. But the greed, chaos and violence in their bones make them not good partners for cooperation. After a while, the captain found no useful supplies and called everyone. Keep going! Several members' faces were extremely pale, and they looked very uncomfortable. Obviously because of the bloody corpses just now. No matter how many times you've seen it in a simulation, there's still something different about seeing a real dead person in reality. Not far away. They saw the second complete space capsule. But the people inside were also dead. And their death conditions were exactly the same as those in the previous space capsule. Seem. In this area. Only their team managed to survive. Stand around. I'll go in and take a look. The captain gave instructions and planned to enter the airborne cabin to search for useful supplies. But at this moment, something unexpected happened. In the space capsule, several mutilated corpses suddenly stood up, covered in blood, with teeth and claws bared, and rushed towards the people outside the capsule, like mutant monsters in some science fiction horror movies. Behind them, pieces of high explosives were strapped impressively. Parasite! As soon as this thought flashed through Su Xia's mind, a white light appeared in front of his eyes. You are dead. Your survival time is 12 minutes and 7 seconds. Because the survival time is too short. The system cannot make an evaluation. After solving the insect infestation in the Oasis camp, Su Xia never thought that he would fall into the hands of parasites. This is the first time I have seen a parasitic corpse. The other party obviously knew that they would explore the complete airborne capsule. So they used this method to kill them all dragging the entire team with them at the cost of a few parasites. Just from a strategic perspective, it's not worth it. As the normal value of a parasite is much higher than an average human fighter. But the Kingdom of Heaven organization obviously didn't care too much anymore and gave the enslaved insects a death order. Su Xia's eyes stayed on the Hell Battlefield option. After thinking for a moment, she did not enter the battlefield again. But click the Exit button. A golden option immediately appeared in front of him. Do you want to exit the simulation system? Su Xia clicked the yes option. The light in front of his eyes gradually disappeared and fell into darkness again. Those alloy mechanical arms controlled the simulated equipment on his body, disassembled it bit by bit, and then slowly ascended with the equipment modules to the top of the simulated room. Call. Su Xia walked down the round platform in the middle of the room, breathed a sigh of relief, and revitalized her muscles. The battlefield simulation just now was too real. The shock of the artillery fire that lasted for more than 10 minutes still seemed to echo in my ears. Now that I was back in the cold wreckage of the spaceship, I felt like I was in another world. Hal floated over gently and asked, Captain, how do you feel? Su Xia replied, It's not bad. It's a good exercise equipment. It can be seen that you look very relaxed. Hal praised, You are more relaxed than the previous crew members. You are obviously not an ordinary person. What else can he be if he's not an ordinary person? Superman? There are differences between people. Hal's voice was very calm as he explained. This exploration ship has been to many planets with low-level civilizations. On those planets, when the indigenous people saw starry sky technology, their first reaction was actually fear or panic. And you showed you have a great desire to explore. And this is what makes you different from ordinary people. Oh, Su Xia shrugged. If he encountered aliens in the real world, his first reaction would definitely be fear. However, this is a game and he will not die, which gives him more confidence than Xiong Wei, Zhang Fang and others in this world. Hal obviously didn't know this and just said, On those normal low-level civilization planets, people like you belong to a very small minority. They are destined to be extraordinary and may become a landmark figure in the development of that civilization. For example, like the first man in space. This is an exaggeration. Su Xiao waved his hand. Even if his courage perseverance, concentration and other excellent qualities were doubled. He would not be able to become a person like Gagarin. He walked out of the small room and headed for the exit. After such a long time, Xiong Wei and the others should be anxious. Su Xiao looked at the time and it was almost 12 o'clock in the evening. Zhang Fan should be the most anxious. After all, he still has to reply to the news from Mon Chung. In two days, those arrogant guys from Dragon City will arrive 
at the old location of the Oasis camp, and they will have to find a way to deal with them then. Hal followed Su Xiao and continued the topic. Based on my analysis, on this planet, you have a high probability of becoming that person. Why? This planet is going through the darkest, most confusing, and most dangerous period, but it is also the period when it is easiest to reach the light. In the sincerity of mechanical life, Hal analyzed the many low-level civilization materials he had, and then gave Su Xia an answer. His red dot flashed, and he said unhurriedly, If you and your friends can carve out a bright future for this planet, you will shine like the stars in the sky for generations to come. Chapter 233 The Unpredictable Prophet The stars are shining tonight, and there is no heavy haze clouding the sky, perhaps due to the reduction in human activities. The world after the war is indeed cleaner than the world before the war. The daily production and activities of the mechanical clan rely almost entirely on spiritual energy, which does not produce too much waste gas or other pollutants. More than 20 years ago, when psychic energy was first promoted, one of the promotion gimmicks was clean energy. As long as psychic energy is used, the pollution problem can be solved and the world will become a better place. People at that time probably wouldn't have imagined that. Psychic energy has indeed solved the pollution on this planet, but it has directly solved the source of the pollution problem. That is, human beings, through violent means. It's almost 12 o'clock. Could it be that the commander was deceived by the alien system? Zhang Fong stared at the bottomless crack, feeling more and more worried. Commander is always cautious. He has to secretly observe for several days to kill an insect. Why is he in such a hurry this time? Xiong Wei was also anxious. He couldn't bear the consequences of losing Su Xia. So he asked anxiously, Mr. Zhang, is there any record in Dragon City of the Olet Company mentioned by the alien life? No, there is no record. In his many years of study in Longchong, Zhang Fang had never seen this company in any post-war documents. Among the pre-war information files, there are many documents with the three characters, Aliuk, with names of people and cities. But all of them have been lost during the war. When the time came to midnight, Zhang Fang felt extremely uneasy and planned to let Ba Xu's little robot force it down to take a look. At this moment, a sound finally came from the crack. Don't worry. Everything is fine. It was Su Xia's voice, which sounded smooth. But the people outside did not relax their vigilance. They were worried that the alien system would imitate Su Xia's voice and deceive them. This imitation technology had been mature before the war, but it had not been applied on a large scale. Commander, is that you? Xiong Wei asked loudly while standing in front of the rift. It's me. As Su Xia's voice came out, the light deep in the crack lit up again. Dark red, looking very evil. Su Xia put on a simple jetpack, activated it, and with a buzzing sound, she took off on the spot, rushed out of the abyss, and returned to the surface. After seeing him in person, everyone felt relieved and hurriedly gathered around him. Commander, what's it like inside? Is there any alien life alive? Can this ship be restarted? Will the AI named Hal cooperate with us? Zhang Fang and several other researchers wanted to know the answer the most. They had been studying outside the rift for several days, but had made no progress. Su Xia smiled and pressed her hands to signal everyone to quiet down. He controlled the jetpack and slowly landed on the edge of the rift. Then, he took out a small silver-gray disc-shaped mechanical device, placed it firmly on the grass, and pressed the switch in the middle. Click! A circle in the center of the disc suddenly lit up, and the light was still dark red, projecting a series of rays of light intertwining the appearance of Hal's red dot in the sky. This is Hal's portable mobile carrier that can be carried anywhere. Hello! Hal's voice was calm, and he said to everyone, You are the captain's friends. You have been included in my friendly list. You can enter and exit the wreckage at will. Captain? Zhang Fang was stunned, still a little wary of Hal, and didn't react for a while. It's been many years since this spaceship crashed. But the captain is still alive? How can they be friends? Wrong. His eyelids flickered, and through Hal's translucent red body, he saw Su Xia smiling behind him. Zhang Fang trembled, took several deep breaths, and couldn't help but ask, Commander, have you become the captain of the spaceship below? It's just good luck. Su Xia nodded slightly, acting very indifferently. Upon hearing this affirmative answer, Zhang Fang's head was buzzing, and he suddenly felt that he might be witnessing the birth of a legend. Being recognized by alien civilizations means that part of Su Xia's upper limit has exceeded the top range of this planet. Commander Captain? Xiong Wei and several other researchers also reacted. They were all stunned and stared at Su Xia, as if they were meeting him for the first time. 
That shocking gay is seen to be watching an alien. How long has Su Xia been down? Just over an hour. Right? Does this make him a captain? Calm down. It's just normal operation. Su Xia smiled. As if she just did a trivial thing and didn't take it to heart at all. Snapped. Zhang Fang suddenly slapped his forehead and said regretfully, I wouldn't have informed Long Chung if I had known. Those people will arrive in a few days, which will only make this place more chaotic. It's okay. Just come if they come. Mr. Zhang, you also have good intentions. Su Xia smiled and replied, Anyway, those guys in Dragon City don't know the address of the new station. So the initiative is still here. Zhang Fang sighed secretly, only blaming himself for being too anxious. Dragon City was still sending him messages, asking him to provide the specific location of the new station, and belittling the scientific research technology of the Oasis camp more than once in the messages. His teacher Shirsishi also sent him a message. In the message, the old man expressed dissatisfaction with Su Xia many times. In Shirsishi's description, Su Xia is a person who is impatient, does not consider the consequences, has a low level of education, is short-sighted and extremely selfish. But what the old guy didn't know was that Su Xia had already taken control of the spacecraft. Well, Zhang Fang thought of the conflict between his teacher and Su Xia, hesitated again and again, and finally did not send out the news. Being caught in the middle made him feel very uncomfortable. What made him even more uncomfortable was that both sides were clearly human beings. In this difficult situation, they should have been unanimous in dealing with the outside world. Wherever there are people, there are struggles. Mr. Zhang, don't take it to heart. Su Xia could see what this guy was thinking at a glance, and said to Zhang Fang and the others with a smile, Go down and take a look first. I know you all, it's been a long time coming. Yes, the commander is right. Zhang Fang sighed secretly. Wherever there were people, there was indeed struggle. But there was peace in the Oasis camp. There is no struggle for power here. Even if Lan Guang, Beima and others are stronger than Xiong Wei. They only want to lead their own small organizations and have never thought of seizing control of the Oasis camp. With mixed emotions, Zhang Fang put on a jetpack and flew into the rift under Su Xia's instructions. Xiong Wei and others followed closely, feeling excited as they slowly landed on the curved corridor below. This is an exploration ship that crashed more than 20 years ago. The other end of this corridor leads to the heat dissipation cabin. Behind the heat dissipation cabin is the energy cabin. However, part of the energy cabin crashed with the rest of the wreckage during the disintegration of that year. Somewhere else. And this end of the corridor leads to the living cabin. Please follow me. Su Xiao was only here for the second time. But she already knew almost everything about the spacecraft and took on the role of explanation. He led everyone into the first cabin, which was the area where the crew members exercised. Xiong Wei and others looked around in amazement, as if looking at some rare treasure, carefully touching every inch of space taking photos and records as they walked. These guys are more serious about what they do. They only stayed in the first cabin for less than half an hour, constantly collecting various items in the cabin, even the bones of the dead. Sailing in space for many years may lead to bone loss. The bones of these crew members are of great research value. One of the researchers explained this to Su Xia, and he also explained it to Hal. Hal didn't say anything. Now that Su Xia was the captain, he would agree as long as Su Xia agreed. In fact, for researchers on this planet, anything that has been in space, even a pile of dirt, has research value. The time slowly came to 4 o'clock in the morning. A group of people came to the virtual combat experience cabin. As soon as they heard that they could experience the alien battlefield, Xiong Wei and others were eager to try it and immediately expressed their desire to experience it. The age, our battlefield is not very friendly. Mr. Xiong, you can start from the initial ordinary battlefield. Su Xia opened the rest of the simulation room permissions for them and reminded them of some precautions when wearing simulation equipment. Xiong Wei and the others listened very carefully and firmly remembered the words, Hell Battlefield. It didn't take long for these guys to end the simulation one by one in disgrace. Looking at them like that, they must have tried the H, L Battlefield and experienced death at the speed of light one or more times. Except for the campaign mode. The other simulation modes are pretty good. Such a single-player simulation. Xiong Wei thought of the usefulness of the simulation system. There are many young people in the camp who have never used firearms. Let them come in for training. It can help them adapt quickly. Well, Mr. Xiong is right. Su Xia has experienced the single-player training mode and has thought of this. It's just that there are too few experience rooms in this wreckage. In this one cabin. 
there are a total of 16 small rooms. And the training time that each person can allocate is not much. Next, Hal led Xiong Wei and the others to continue browsing. While Su Xia stayed in the simulation cabin, he needed to get 3 S ratings as soon as possible and then get the 6th level mecha. At this stage, strength is still the most important thing. Su Xia entered the first experience room, walked onto the central circular platform, took a few deep breaths to adjust her condition, and let the surrounding metal robotic arms control the equipment to be worn on her body. Star Dart Player, welcome back. It has been detected that your last simulation experience was Hell Battlefield War in Heaven. Do you want to start the simulation of War in Heaven directly? This system is quite convenient. Su Xia clicked yes directly, and her eyes suddenly darkened. Hell Battlefield Battle of Heaven is loading. After a while, the feeling of weightlessness appeared, as did the pressure on the body during the rapid fall. Pale light squeezed into the space cabin through the observation window, shining on the face of each young soldier, making the sweat and tension on their faces clearly visible. War is always a word that makes young people feel passionate and frightened. Su Xia couldn't help but think of the situation on the other side of the earth. More than 80 years have passed since the last world war. According to Hal, if low-level civilization cannot enter the starry sky age and resources become increasingly scarce, a devastating war will one day break out. Is the next world war far away? Buzz! The reverse thrust engine started. The fireworks were blazing. The airborne capsule slowed down. And the weightlessness and pressure suddenly eased. Following what he did last time, Su Xiao once again ordered the team members in the cabin to act with him. And even at the right time, he once again repelled the insect attack. On the way to the assembly point, when she encountered the second complete airborne capsule, Su Xia directly threw a grenade at it, leaving several teammates stunned. Boom! The explosion was deafening. The entire space capsule trembled, and a heartrending roar of pain came from the cabin. Before the bugs parasitic on the corpses had time to crawl out, the high explosives they tied behind the corpses caused a series of explosions. The entire space capsule was severely deformed and torn apart in a series of explosions. Blood and flesh were everywhere in the capsule, giving people a sense of deja vu from an old-fashioned science fiction horror film. It was blown to pieces. And no matter how tenacious its vitality was, it would be impossible to survive. It's a bug! Hearing those roaring sounds, the faces of the other teammates turned pale, especially the captain. If Su Xiao hadn't stopped him, he would have gone in to search for useful supplies. When he thought about the possible consequences, he broke out in a cold sweat. He couldn't help but feel afraid, and his back was wet with sweat. These terrifying Zerg creatures are really hard to guard against. The captain wiped the sweat from his forehead. The instructor was right at the time. You can't take any chances against the Zerg. The bug knows that we will view the complete drop pod. Is this thinking from our perspective? I didn't expect them to be so intelligent. If I had known earlier, I should have fought more bugs in the simulation system. Even after complete training and a lot of simulations, most soldiers' impressions of bugs still remain on the inherent impressions of low intelligence and high fecundity. After this incident, the members of the team became more cautious, paying attention to the surrounding environment at all times, and they felt like they were all at war. After the team started again, the captain expressed his gratitude to Su Xia. Thank you very much. I can't repay you for saving my life. Fine. By the way, how did you know there were bugs in this space capsule? The captain asked the doubts in his heart. Another team member also asked. Yes, brother. When you were searching the first space capsule, you didn't stop the captain because you knew there were no bugs inside? You can't predict the future. Can you? I heard that some psychic talents have the ability to predict the future. But if you are grouped with us, you probably don't have psychic powers either. The team members are all confused. From the beginning to now, Su Xia's performance is really weird. Whether it was dealing with a surprise attack after landing or detonating the space capsule this time. He seemed to know every dangerous place and responded accordingly. This feeling is exactly the same as rewinding the game. One of the team members thought for a while and said, In the Empire's simulated combat system, I can also make this kind of prediction. That's because I have already died in those dangers once. Wait a minute. Are we virtual characters in a simulation system? Chapter 234 Guests Are Coming the characters in the simulation system can actually guess that they are in the system? This really surprised Su Xia. At the beginning of system design, when still doing requirements analysis, you should ensure that these roles do not have this kind of perception. At this time, the battlefield was still filled with artillery fire, smoke and roar. Death seemed to be coming at any time. 
but the remaining members of the team had no intention of moving forward. One of them grabbed Su Xiao's shoulder and asked seriously, Brother, are we all people simulated by the battle system? How many years in the Imperial calendar is it now? What was the outcome of this battle? We have a prototype of a character who must be dead. Can you give us a message for your family? Everyone was surrounding Su Xia with doubts, panic, and confusion in their eyes. They didn't even care about the bugs wandering around. They just wanted to know the truth, perhaps to ensure a nearly 100% realistic simulation. Every character in this battlefield does have a character prototype and accompanying memories. They eagerly wanted to get the answer from Su Xia, but they were afraid that it would be the answer they guessed. In order to make the mission go smoothly, Su Xia planned to tell a lie. But at this moment, the jungles around them suddenly made strange noises. Swish! 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 The trees swayed, and the sound approached quickly. In the blink of an eye, a strange and rickety figure rushed towards the team from behind. Insects appeared one after another in other directions around them. Using their speed advantage, they rushed out of the shadow area in the jungle and were exposed to the sun. Their dark red deformed bodies and torn fangs looked particularly terrifying. The entire team failed to react in time and was distracted by the simulation system. In an instant, one team member had his throat cut. Well, he clutched his neck. His eyes widened, full of fear. Blood surged from his neck, and he slowly fell forward. Immediately afterwards, gunshots rang out, and the team members fought with the bugs. But the bug took advantage of the sneak attack and engaged in close combat. In the blink of an eye, the entire team members fell into a pool of blood. From the beginning to the end of the battle, he couldn't kill even a single insect. And his death was very painful. A white light flashed in front of Su Xia's eyes. You are dead. Your survival time is 20 minutes and 22 seconds. Based on your performance in the battlefield, the overall score given by the system is F- dash. Please keep up the good work. F- dash. This is the lowest score given by the system. But at least I got a score. This failure made Su Xia realize that the difficulty of the simulated battlefield task came not only from the cruelty of the battlefield, but also from the system itself. Once virtual characters realize their true existence, they will deviate from the normal trajectory of events, making it difficult to continue the task. Su Xia stared at the golden words, Hell Battlefield, on the interface, thought for a moment, and then clicked again after half a minute. Hell Battlefield Battle of Heaven is loading. His eyes lit up, and he was still in the tense airborne cabin. The team members are still the same people, with familiar faces, but they have all been reset to the initial settings by the system and have no memory of the last simulation. Su Xia glanced at everyone's expressions and then said, Listen to me. I received news before departure that there are Zerg enslaved by the kingdom of heaven in the jungle below. We must be prepared. What? The rest of the people were stunned and looked at each other. They had also heard similar news. But it was not confirmed. The people above did not say much and just asked them to rush to the meeting point. The captain asked, Brother, is the news reliable? Su Xia replied, Reliable? I have a friend named Li Difu. He works in the intelligence department. When this battle is over, you can look up his name in the system. Brother, there is a way. I actually know someone from the intelligence department. Please introduce him to us later. No problem. Su Xia agreed. Talking back to the bugs, my friend told me that many airborne troops were attacked by bugs before they even left the space capsule. So we had to rush out the moment we landed. Do you understand? Clear. Everyone nodded. Obviously trusting the friend in the intelligence department that Su Xia mentioned. The next thing was simple. Su Xia explained a few more words. The space capsule landed and the hatch opened. Everyone quickly went out to stop the bugs. They fought off several bug attacks and stood firm. Afterwards, we still rushed to the meeting point. When seeing the other space capsules, Su Xia added, My friend also told me that some bugs will live on corpses and disguise themselves as dead soldiers. So we must be extra cautious. Understood. Upon hearing this, the captain immediately gave up the idea of going in to search for resources. He directly took off a grenade and threw it into the space capsule. This time, compared to the previous times, it can be said that it was extremely smooth. The whole process was extremely smooth. And the first 20 minutes passed easily. It was already very close to the agreed half hour. After walking a few steps, the hillside where the meeting point was located appeared in front of everyone. The captain picked up the binoculars, took a serious look, and said, The situation is not optimistic. There are very few people arriving at the assembly point. There are only two teams by visual inspection. 
two teams, that is, 20 people, plus the 10 of them, in this dangerous jungle. It is difficult to even protect themselves, let alone establish a safe stronghold. Su Xiao licked her dry lips, took off the water bottle she carried with her, took a sip, and said, Let's talk about it after we go. Take it one step at a time. On the way to the meeting point, the team members were always on guard, and the bug did not find the opportunity to make a sneak attack. After two consecutive attacks were repelled, the bugs left a few corpses and retreated, turning to target the remaining airborne pods that were about to land. 28 minutes after landing, everyone successfully arrived at the assembly point and joined the other two teams. Within a few minutes, two more teams arrived. There were five teams at the assembly point, with a total of 50 people, and they could barely stand firm. We need to pick up the rest. These damn bugs are too cunning. The captain of one of the teams said, we don't have enough weapons and equipment. We have to get some supplies from the airborne supply bay. The location of this assembly point is not good either. It can easily be covered by enemy artillery fire. Must get in touch with the remaining meeting points as soon as possible. When there are more people, there are more ideas. Everyone moved to a safer area, but still left a sign at the original assembly point for the rest of the airborne team to find. After a period of discussion, Su Xiao's team was given a new task to work with another team to bring back supplies from an airborne supply cabin. The supply cabin is 1,300 meters away from here, not too far or too close. After a short rest, the two teams set off together. The journey has not been smooth. The jungle is full of dangers. The shadow areas of the woods seem to hide a pair of invisible evil eyes. The hoarse screams of insects sometimes sound in the distance, and the heart-shaking sound of artillery fire never stops. After walking a thousand meters, everyone found mutilated bodies lying on the ground. Attacked by bugs. You should have joined us. Ugh. Rest in peace. The corpse was covered with bite marks, as well as many claw marks and penetrating wounds. The blood was mixed with bone stubble and torn internal organs, and was condensed into pieces with the soil on the ground. It was no longer human. Time was running out and everyone had no time to bury these soldiers. So they could only move on and get closer to the target location. There are a large number of energy weapons and heavy weapons in the supply bay, which are needed to establish a station. To ensure safety, the supply cabin will not open automatically after landing. You need to manually open the outer protective SH L and enter the established password to obtain the internal supplies. Not long after, everyone arrived at their destination. This supply cabin is still intact. The rest of the people were on guard, but the captain of Su Xia's team stepped forward. Open the protective SH, L of the combination lock, and began to enter the password. But at this moment, Su Xia suddenly had a bad feeling and immediately shouted, Stop! Everyone retreat! But it was too late. The moment the password was entered and the hatch was opened, the entire supply cabin exploded. The terrifying energy shock waves swept through everything, and a white light lit up in front of Su Xia's eyes. You are dead. Your survival time is 50 minutes and 1 seconds. Based on your performance in the battlefield, the overall score given by the system is E dash. Please keep up the good work. This time, Su Xia thought of it in advance, but it was still a few seconds late. Parasites can read part of the host's memory to perfectly disguise themselves as the host. They can parasitize living soldiers. Obtain passwords. Open the supply cabin. And turn the supply cabin into an extremely dangerous trigger bomb. When bugs learn to use human tools, their threat level rises to a terrifying level. The talent of this race is really too strong. Su Xia exited the system and looked at the time. It's past six in the morning. Playing games really makes you lose track of time. He went offline and had breakfast and brought one to the other five guys who stayed up late in the dormitory and then returned to the game. Nothing happened today. The identity of the masked weirdo was still wanted and he couldn't use it for the time being. So he left it in the custody of the bracelet and stayed in the pharmacy to continue refining medicine striving to break through to the fourth-level pharmacist as soon as possible. In the wreckage, Xiong Wei and others were still there and had seen all the cabins. They sat in a movie cabin in the living area, each one keeping quiet and focused, watching 120 hours to quickly understand the interstellar world, played to them by Hal. Su Xia stood by the cabin door and took a brief look. She found that everyone was addicted, so she did not disturb them. He returned to the simulation cabin, entered the H, L battlefield, and continued to fight. Hell battlefield battle of heaven is loading. Time passes minute by minute. At 8 o'clock in the morning, Su Xia increased the survival time to 
One hour and 35 minutes. The number of people in the assembly point had exceeded 100. This time, he was accidentally killed by a landmine. At 12 noon, Su Xia increased the survival time to 3 hours and 56 minutes. His adaptability is quite strong. And after getting used to the crisis-ridden environment, his survival time is getting longer and longer. After going offline and having a quick lunch, Su Xia returned to the game and continued the simulation. When the time came to 12 o'clock in the evening, his survival time increased to 6 hours and 14 minutes. During this period, he was accidentally killed several times and died very early. In this simulation, they have established a complete stronghold. With the number of people in the entire stronghold expanded to 700. And they have cleaned up all the bugs within a few kilometers of the surrounding area to ensure that subsequent airborne troops will no longer be attacked by bugs. During this period of time, Xiong Wei from outside has reluctantly returned to the station to manage various large and small affairs. Zhang Fang and others are still in the wreckage, seizing every minute and every second to learn about the starry sky. The whole day passed like this. Su Xia started the simulation again. And this time it went smoothly. He spent eight hours slowly in the dangerous battlefield. And the number of people in the entire stronghold exceeded a thousand. Due to her perfect performance in many missions, Su Xia has a high reputation in the stronghold. Congratulations. You survived for more than eight hours in the Battle of Heaven and received an S rating. One third of the first phase is completed. You get a new mission. Destroy eight enemy doomsday fortresses. After completing the task, you will receive the second S evaluation. Please keep up your efforts. At the same time that Su Xia received the mission reminder, the liaison between this stronghold and other strongholds also received the message from the headquarters. Attack! The headquarters requires us to destroy the enemy's air defense positions in this area. The contact person said loudly, his voice hoarse, trying to drown out the sound of artillery fire and explosions in the sky. But there are a lot of doomsday fortresses in those positions. And this battle is very difficult and dangerous. Brothers, if you can come back alive, let's go to the tavern and have a few drinks together. Good! We must come back alive. The time in the simulation system was around 3 in the morning. And during this period, the enemy's artillery fire never stopped. The enemy built a large number of fortresses in the occupied areas and called them Doomsday Fortresses. The name is self-explanatory. Trying to slow down the advance of the Imperial soldiers on the ground with countless fortresses. When the attack began, the entire stronghold rushed out and headed towards the enemy-occupied area. At the same time, Dozens of similar strongholds launched attacks in this large area. At this time, a dazzling light suddenly flashed in the distant sky. The entire night was instantly illuminated. Like day. Boom! It took more than 10 seconds for the sound to come through. The ground shook as if an unprecedented earthquake had occurred. Many soldiers fell to the ground in the shaking. Above the sky, the fleet's orbital bombing system finally started. Forcing a bloody path for the soldiers on the ground. This system is too powerful and there are still a large number of civilians in the enemy-occupied areas. Those civilians are destined not to survive. After this battle is over, the fleet commander will definitely be summoned by the court. Su Xia set off with the team, and soon entered the tragic enemy-occupied area. The enemy's so-called doomsday fortresses are no better than ordinary bunkers. But there are too many of them. Su Xia had just spotted a target. But before she could take action, a SH. L hit her chest. Boom! A burst of white light flashed before his eyes. And the picture darkened again. You are dead. The outside time has come to around 8 o'clock in the morning. At this time, a large number of researchers from Longchang were on their way. Hurry! Faster! That bastard Zhang Fang refused to give him his real address. After we meet, I will definitely fix him up. The old dean of Tianqing College personally led the team. And more than one-third of the team were from the college. Most of the others belonged to the mysterious alien civilization research department in Dragon City. They traveled through the stars and nights, each wearing a set of exquisite exoskeleton armor. They were extremely fast and did not consider the issue of consumption at all, walking on flat ground in the rugged mountains and forests. Chapter 235 Life Imprisonment The autumn wind brought a bit of chill. John Fong, who was watching Interstellar Encyclopedia, sneezed several times and rubbed his nose, feeling a little strange. It always feels like someone is missing him from afar. But he is single. And besides his friends in college, who else will miss him? Oops. The dean won't come in person. Right. Zhang Fang patted his forehead and felt bad. The old dean had a hotter temper than his teacher Shersishi. He often persuaded others with his reasoning 
and believed in fist education. In the entire college, no one from the 80-year-old professor to the 8-year-old child has not been beaten by the old dean. The most critical issue is that the old dean is a level 5 creature. This is really troublesome. How can we ease the relationship between the commander and the academy? Zhang Fang rubbed his temples vigorously. His mood was so bad that he couldn't even read the interstellar encyclopedia in his hand. Things in the starry sky are too far away. But things in the oasis camp and Dragon City are right in front of us. The students at Tianqing Academy all have a violent style of painting. Thinking of the old dean, who was covered in muscles, Zhang Fang felt a dull pain all over his body. And the memories of being beaten in those years came to mind. Now, Su Xia has taken control of this part of the wreckage and has become the new captain. I'm afraid that the academy will be unreasonable and force the commander to hand over control of the wreckage. Zhang Fang knew very well that the characters of the people in his college were all modeled after his teacher. As long as we grasp the righteousness and principle, the academy can accomplish anything. If he guessed right, as soon as the people from the academy arrived, they would ask Su Xia to hand over control for seemingly fair and just reasons such as for the human race and for the future and completely push Su Xia to the edge. It's not like the academy has never done this kind of thing before. This group of guys who claim to be knowledgeable can always come up with countless reasons to legitimately usurp other people's interests. If the other party doesn't give it, then wave your fist until the other party gives it and force the other party to verbally admit that it was voluntarily given. Voluntary. Voluntary. Zhang Fang's head grew big when he saw the messages sent from Longcheng. Inform the resistance leaders at the Oasis camp to stop the exploration of alien spacecraft immediately. We will arrive within 24 hours. Stop now. Zhang Fang. If you still think you are a disciple of the Academy, please immediately feed back the true coordinates of the Oasis camp. Inform the remaining senior members of the resistance within the Oasis camp and ask them to prevent anyone from entering the alien spacecraft. If they perform well, they will receive identity cards leading to Dragon City. It's this move again. Zhang Fang really didn't know how to reply to the latest news. All I can say is that it deserves to be Dragon City. Before arriving at the Oasis camp, this group of people planned to divide the internal members of the Oasis camp and use their interests and identities as inducements to capture some of the members for their own use. The idea of internal struggle is literally engraved in the bones of these people. But even if Zhang Fang really does what they say, will things develop as they want? Blue Light, White Horse, and Blue Bird. These people are all people with certain status in the Oasis camp. They have hundreds of people under their command. They are still third-level creatures. According to Dragon City's idea, they must win over them as soon as possible and let them become dragons. The city is here for free help. But after getting along with each other for this period of time, Zhang Fang understood that it was impossible for these people to stand against Su Xia. Why is Mr. Zhang looking so sad? Is there anything in this book that you can't understand? Su Xia walked over with a smile and picked up a copy of Interstellar Encyclopedia. This is an interesting book that is very popular among children in the starry sky. It uses a humorous and popular way and a large number of pictures to introduce many strange phenomena and creatures that exist in the starry sky. Compared with the boring, 120 hours to quickly understand the interstellar world. It is much easier to read this kind of encyclopedia. Commander, there may be people from my college among the team coming from Dragon City. Zhang Fan looked complicated, closed the book, and expressed his worries to Su Xia. Don't worry. No one can take control of the spacecraft. After listening to Zhang Fan's words, Su Xia gave a very confident answer. Su Xia didn't pay much attention to the level 5 old dean that Zhang Fang called him. In the wilderness outside Fish Scale City, the two insect nests were about to start a war, and their battle was an opportunity for Su Xia to be promoted to a fifth-level creature. After a brief chat with Zhang Fang, Su Xia handed over her body to the bracelet, then logged off and had a midnight snack. The atmosphere in the dormitory is still the same. Five roommates are forming a team to attack a level 30 boss. Has anything big happened in the game these two days? Su Xia asked casually, while eating instant noodles. No, they are all growing safely. Li Difu replied. Isn't that Shijito doing anything? Still the same as before. Promoting the boss level Wang Tung all day long. Recruiting people from all over the place. And promoting his ridiculous coral expedition plan. Ever since the mercenary town was destroyed, the entire coral expedition plan has become half dead. With the current strength of the players alone, it is impossible to go deep into the wilderness let alone conduct a large-scale search in the wilderness. 
Many people speculated that the reason why the masked stranger attacked the mercenaries was to target this plan. Nowadays, the masked weirdo has become a lawless desperado, carrying a crazy bounty of hundreds of millions, and is wanted by many forces such as mercenary organizations. Zero Point Tavern and the Machine Tribe He is so notorious that just his name can make a three-year-old a child stop crying. The horror was indescribable. Various legends about masked strangers circulate among the cities in the southwest region. It is said that after the masked stranger climbed out of H.L., he had very strange abilities. He could disappear into thin air like a ghost. It is said that as long as you pronounce the four words, masked stranger, he will feel a sense of emotion. Come to your bedside at midnight and cut off your head with a butcher knife. The souls of those killed by him will not be able to rest in peace and will be imprisoned in purgatory by him. He made a pact with the devil in purgatory. Su Xia casually browsed through the forum and saw a lot of weird rumors. These rumors are not made up by players. Each rumor is accompanied by a video recorded in the game. In the video, there are NPCs in the game. Drinkers in taverns, soldiers in the city defense, or traders on the road. Each NPC can tell a lot of weird legends about masked strangers. A large number of players are almost obsessed with these ghost rumors. Some people have even established discussion groups such as Masked Monsters and Urban Legends, Mask Corner, Dark World Behind the Mask, etc. to discuss various weird and bizarre things. The mask symbol serves as a symbol, developing mask geeks into a subculture. For Halloween next month, many players are planning to dress themselves up in broken metal masks. People nowadays are so full. Seeing these discussion groups, Su Xia was speechless. They are all young people who like weird and unique elements. Su Xia herself is only in her early 20s, but she feels out of tune with these young people, does not understand much of today's culture and seems to be about to be abandoned by the times. The last time he went out to eat, he was called uncle by a child in the elevator. Defu, have you played any fun games recently? He took a mouthful of instant noodles and asked Lee Defu beside him. Brother Sue, isn't it fun enough to look up at the stars? Lee Defu looked attentive. He was holding the boss on the computer screen. His fingers were flying, and he avoided the boss's heavy blows with just a few moves. His figure was free and elegant. Su Xia replied, I've been having too much fun these past two days. So I want to change my taste. These two days of crazy battlefield simulations made Su Xia feel like her spirit was almost exhausted. In the H, L battlefield. You have to be on high alert almost all the time because you don't know when you will die. Oh, man, that's it. Half-hearted. Li Di Fu shook his head slightly. Recently, only contempt has been rated highly. But I played it yesterday. And it's just like that. It's not worth my several years of expectations. What type is it? Most of it is puzzle solving. Flesh and blood punk. With a little weirdness added. And the graphics are pretty good. Flesh and weirdness. Su Xia didn't have much exposure to this type of game. And the only one he could think of was Sanitarium. Which he had played before. Which translates to Sanitarium. But those were very old games. The protagonist of that game has hysteria. He has been tortured by hysteria and is locked up in a lunatic asylum. However, he can explore the weird world and often cannot distinguish between reality and fantasy. At that time, Su Xia didn't know what Sancho was. After playing the game, she suspected that she was also sick. Later, Su Xia learned that many exploration games in Europe and the United States like to have weird elements. The protagonist's mental illness, coupled with the overlap between the real world and the imaginary world, is almost a regular routine of this kind of mini-game. But this culture spread to China relatively late. Of course, this also has something to do with domestic review. Contempt? Let me take a look. Su Xia turned on the computer and tried it for a few minutes, but found that it was different from what he imagined. The graphics of this game are similar to the interior of the insect nest in. Looking at the stars, at first glance, it is all flesh and blood and biotechnology, with dark red everywhere. But in terms of the level of blood and horror, this game is far inferior to. Looking at the stars. So why did? Looking up at the stars. Past the review? Su Xia thought of the reporting incident some time ago. So many reports. Coupled with a lot of bloody massacre scenes. Could not get this game off the shelves. This game. From release to execution. Is full of weirdness. It was as if there was an invisible hand pushing behind me. Defu. Is there any official event for the game? Su Xia suddenly thought. Is there any event to invite top players to visit the headquarters? I see it doesn't seem to be there yet. Li Difu searched for a few minutes and suddenly felt a little strange. The game has been in service for so long. 
but the game officials have not made any big moves and have turned a blind eye to many joint activities invited by the management. Maybe it will happen in the future. Brother Sue, let's upgrade first, Lee Defew said. After a while, we will have to face the threat of foreign players. Well, that makes sense. Let's upgrade first. The last forum war is not over yet. In the past few days, a small number of foreign players have been infiltrating the forum and making various threatening remarks every day. After a while, when mainstream players can cross the wilderness map, there will definitely be a big battle between the players. In comparison, foreign player associations are more organized. I heard that those guys bet on both ends, letting some of the top players join the machine race camp, while others join the human race resistance camp, and strive to be promoted to the top of both sides, Lee Defew said to Su Xia. Moreover, their major labor unions, societies, clubs, etc., have all signed guarantee contracts offline to ensure that in the early stage, no one will betray the resistance organization like Sijideo. Once someone violates the contract, they will they will be held accountable offline. This is a good move, but domestic players are too scattered. Su Xia nodded. As long as the resistance camp is not in danger of being exposed, the players in the camp can develop with peace of mind and freely explore the map. In the early stage, when players do not have enough power to change everything, it is actually very stupid to stir up disputes between the two clans like Sajideo did. Su Xia checked out and looked at game forums in several countries on the internet and found that the overall atmosphere was pretty good. At 1.30 in the morning, he activated the bracelet and went online again. Return to the simulation cabin and click on the H. L. Battlefield. Hell Battlefield Battle of Heaven is loading. Do you want to directly enter the second task stage? Seeing this prompt, Su Xia was stunned. He clicked yes and the security suddenly dimmed. Boom! Artillery fire roared in the distance. The earth shook, and the dark night sky was illuminated by fire again and again. The pungent smell of blood and gunpowder smoke penetrated into the nostrils, making people feel extremely uncomfortable. Su Xia found that he was sent directly to the start of the attack by the simulation system, and he no longer had to experience the eight hours of suffering. Beside him were countless fully armed imperial soldiers. The light of artillery fire in the distance reflected everyone's nervous eyes. They clenched their weapons, waiting for the moment when the time to attack came. Current mission, destroy eight doomsday fortresses. After success, you will receive an S grade rating. Destroy two doomsday fortresses to continue simulating subsequent battles. You can try again if you need a high rating. Currently optional side mission one, kill three enemy officers to get an additional A grade rating. Kill five enemy officers to get an additional S grade rating. Currently optional side mission 2. Kill 30 enemy soldiers to get an additional A grade rating. Kill 50 enemy soldiers to get an additional S grade rating. This time, perhaps because it has received an S rating, the simulation system has undergone many changes. These two side tasks gave Su Xia the possibility to collect 3 S in advance. However, with his current body as an ordinary soldier, if he wants to meet the requirements of the side mission, he must become a being like a soldier king. Call. Su Xia took a few deep breaths and looked at the enemy positions in the distance. Her eyes gradually becoming cold. Not long after, the attack began. With the cooperation of air power, ground troops began to attack frantically to clear all enemy occupied points in the area. Boom boom boom. A large number of artillery sh. LS exploded around Su Xia. And countless unlucky soldiers were blown to pieces. The ground was a mess with horrific craters everywhere, and the fresh blood and flesh dyed the soil dark red. In the doomsday fortresses ahead, the enemy's heavy weapons fired wildly, like cutting wheat, and the soldiers fell one by one wherever they swept. In the sky, because the enemy's anti-aircraft firepower had not yet been cleared, the air troops supporting the ground troops were also shot down in pieces. Thousands of burning debris fell like fireworks, lighting up the cruel night sky. The orbital bombing system is quite powerful. The energy weapons, like divine punishment, emit deadly beams, plowing through the enemy's combat area over and over again. Various missiles are also dropped from low Earth orbit, destroying countless civilians and enemies in enemy-occupied areas. No bones remain. Damn! There are civilians in the Doomsday Bunker! Lots of civilians! What should I do? Should I blow it up or not? Fry! Don't worry about the civilian casualties. The commander will help us carry everything and blow it up immediately. In just over 10 minutes of attack, our side suffered heavy losses. Every step forward had to be paid with blood. Many soldiers were already red-blooded, 
When Su Xia broke into a doomsday fortress, he also encountered the same situation. In this fortress, there were only three soldiers, but more than 20 civilians were being coerced. Everyone, leave! Hurry up! Su Xia opened the cages where these civilians were imprisoned and shouted amidst the roar of artillery fire. Go to the rear, to the forest, to a place far away from the artillery fire, and run as far as you can. With his current abilities, he simply cannot protect these civilians and can only let them fend for themselves. Not blowing up the fortress directly was the greatest mercy on his part. In fact, these characters were all simulated. Even if Su Xia exploded directly, it would not matter. But he wanted to feel the real situation as much as possible. Thank you. Thank you. My child. May the Lord bless you. An old man who was released hugged Su Xia with tears streaming down his face and words of gratitude in his mouth. Time was running out. So Su Xia pushed the old man away and said, You're welcome. Let's go over there now. Before he finished speaking, his expression suddenly changed and he saw the bomb in the old man's pocket. At this moment, the old man's expression suddenly became ferocious. Not only him, but the other 20 or so civilians who were released also became crazy and they pounced on Su Xiao one by one. The great spirit will be with us. Damn imperial people. You can't stop the coming of the gods. They looked crazy. Their eyes were red and they hugged Su Xiao tightly making Su Xia unable to move. This is to drag Su Xia to death together. Gone! These civilians have been brainwashed too. The background of this war is that extreme evil organizations attack the borders of the empire and spread their beliefs crazily. With Su Xia's caution, she really shouldn't die in such a low-level mistake. He sighed and could only admit defeat. A burst of white light flashed before his eyes. You are dead. War is cruel. Please remember this experience and never be blinded by appearances. Are the so-called civilians really just civilians? Note, after this war, due to the death of too many civilians, the fleet commander was sentenced to life imprisonment by the court and has not been released until now. Chapter 236 The Disappearing Guest You are dead. You successfully destroyed two forts and received a C rating. Please keep up the good work. You kill an enemy officer and get an additional C grade evaluation. Killed eight enemy soldiers and received an additional C grade rating. Please keep up the good work. Continue simulation? You can choose to resimulate this stage of the campaign. Or continue to the next stage of the campaign. According to the system requirements, as long as two forts are destroyed, you can experience the subsequent plot. But Su Xia is not satisfied. He needs the highest S rating. Resimulation? Su Xia clicked on the previous option. Her eyes darkened. And she returned to the attack stage again, holding his weapon tightly. He braved the sky full of artillery fire and gunpowder smoke, and charged together with countless imperial soldiers, approaching the enemy-occupied area amidst roars and screams. Some of those who charged with him were hit by heavy firepower, fell wailing in a pool of blood, and died in maddening pain. Some soldiers were hit by energy weapons, and their entire bodies disappeared directly into the energy beam, leaving no bones. The enemy did not abide by the interstellar warfare convention at all, and killed all soldiers regardless of their type. Medical soldiers on the battlefield were especially targeted. Boom! A cannonball exploded next to Su Xia. Splashing mud. Deafening. And the terrifying shock wave knocked Su Xia more than 10 meters away. In this simulation, his luck was not as good as the last time. Buzz. Su Xia fell to the ground in a state of embarrassment. Like a rag doll. Covered in blood. Her vision went black for a while. She couldn't see anything clearly. There was only a buzzing sound in her ears. There was no pain in her body, and the surroundings were in chaos. The other soldiers rushed past him frantically, using various covers to pave a road of death and victory with their blood amid the enemy's heavy firepower. No one noticed Su Xia, just as no one noticed the thousands of wounded soldiers lying on the ground in this bloody battlefield. The whole land is burning. Corpses are everywhere, and people are falling every minute. Not long after, Su Xia's eyes returned to darkness. You are dead. The number of doomsday fortresses you destroyed is zero. Please keep up your efforts. The number of enemy officers you killed is zero. You killed. Restart simulation? Su Xia took a deep breath and rubbed her brain. The feeling of the SH. L exploding nearby just now was too real. And now her head was still buzzing. In such a terrifying battlefield. Yet there is no armor protection. Ordinary psychic creatures can only be used as cannon fodder. Before the two huge forces. Personal power is too weak. After a while, 
Su Xia clicked yes and continued to score points. Boom! The sound of explosion sounded again every moment. Like the powerless wail of the planet before it died. Looking down from a high altitude, the battle area is a bloody place. With burning fire and blood blending together, the once dense forest has also been riddled with holes by artillery fire. Broken tree trunks are burning. Thick smoke is billowing. And countless corpses are in the flames. It became twisted. Like a cruel picture of H. L. Su Xia dodged all kinds of deadly artillery attacks again and again. Dodging left and right on the battlefield. Like an old wolf hunting for food. Successfully tearing out a way out of the enemy's intensive firepower. After approaching a doomsday fortress that was spitting fire. He without thinking. Tore off an energy bomb and threw it into the fortress. A few seconds later. A dull roar came from the fortress. Like a can being exploded. Rumble. The fortress collapsed. Smoke and dust flew everywhere. And rubble fell to the ground. Cough, cough, cough. An enemy soldier crawled out of the fortress dragging his body. Covered in blood. Coughing violently. His hair burned black and fused with his bloody scalp. And several of his fingers were blown off. Before he could find cover. He saw Su Xia standing aside. And his panicked look suddenly became more pleading. The soldier was very thin and looked to be only 13 or 14 years old. At this age, he should still be studying in school. Boom! Su Xia did not relent and fired a bullet, ending his life, and then continued to the next bunker. The battle between the two sides has just begun. There are corpses everywhere. No one knows when they will die. While dealing with the third fortress, Su Xia was hit by a stray bullet. Fortunately, the stray bullet only hit the side of his helmet, making a slight dent before bouncing off and hitting an imperial soldier beside him. Before Su Xia had time to rejoice, his location was hit by a round of artillery bombardment. Boom, boom, boom. The enemy artillery troops in the distance did not distinguish between ourselves and the enemy, and directly covered the area where the two sides were fighting, killing a large number of our own soldiers and imperial soldiers alive. Su Xia's eyes dimmed, and she returned to the system interface. You are dead. You, without hesitation, he directly chose, resimulation, and returned to the battlefield. Time passed minute by minute, and another night passed by in a hurry. The stars in the sky gradually lost their color. The temperature slowly increased, and a ray of dawn hung on the horizon. It's half past six in the morning. This night, Su Xia experienced dozens of ways to die. Killed by artillery SH. LS. Straight by heavy machine guns. Penetrated by energy weapons. Accidentally killed by teammates. Crushed to death by collapsing bunkers. Crushed to death by flying weapon debris falling from the sky. Split in half by enemy psychic warriors. There are a lot of psychic warriors in the enemy's ground forces. Those psychic warriors were all wearing powerful armor. And they were like hunting beasts. Killing among the imperial soldiers. Almost every psychic warrior could take away double digits of imperial soldiers. When facing these psychic warriors... Su Xia personally experienced the feeling of powerlessness. Come to think of it, those enemies in the past felt the same way when they faced his masked weirdo identity. You died again. When facing a psychic warrior with soul burning, you should stay away. Soul burning is an evil art banned by the Empire. The so-called soul in this evil art is actually the flesh and blood, machinery, titanium particles, spiritual energy, etc. that you possess. Wait. Once you use this skill, all the energy that supports your life will be turned into energy that makes you kill crazily until your last ray of life is sucked out. This skill is irreversible. Su Xiao learned many lessons from her deaths. When the time came to 8 o'clock in the morning, he had destroyed seven fortresses in the simulation system and was only missing the last one. Unfortunately, at the last moment, he was dragged to death by an enemy and a mutilated psychic soldier. The two side missions are only just a hair away from being completed. Phew! Go offline and eat! Unable to feel aggrieved, Su Xia activated the bracelet and returned to the real world. After dying countless times in the game and seeing countless bloodshed, his appetite did not decrease, but instead increased his appetite, perhaps because she just saw the brain stripping from a soldier's broken skull. What Su Xia wants to eat most now is Binkert's. It's strange why he's becoming more and more perverted. Su Xia thought for a moment, and brought two portions of bean curd in the cafeteria. Then she put some hot sauce in it and stirred it a few times. It looked thick and red. And it felt very good. Just after taking a few bites, a questioning voice came from the side. Are you Pharmacist Sue in the game? Su Xiao looked around and found two strong boys. 
The two of them were wearing the clothes of the school Sonda Club. And they looked like they were quite capable. It's me. Su Xian nodded. What's the matter? Can you add me as a friend? We are in the dormitory building opposite you. And we are also members of the Bikini Castle team. No problem. Su Xia readily agreed, took out her mobile phone, and exchanged friends with the two of them. Through communication, I learned that these two guys are the president and deputy president of the school Sonda Club. They have won awards in various competitions in the province. And their fighting ability is indeed good. There is no harm in having a good relationship with this kind of person. The six people in their dormitory are all scumbags in reality. They are all helpless. If they encounter trouble in the future, multiple friends will lead to multiple paths. After eating, Su Xia packed a large bag of pickled cabbage buns and took on the responsibilities of an old father. The guys in the dormitory don't know what's going on. Now they like to eat pickle-flavored things more and more. They may have been led away by Li Few. Hey! It's time to eat! Su Xia returned to the dormitory, banged the dormitory door hard, and forcibly woke up several roommates. He threw the bun aside, brushed his teeth, returned to bed, and continued to wander around the simulated battlefield. Time gradually passed, and it was getting closer to noon. At 11.30 in the morning, Su Xia finally blew up the 8th fortress, and died together with the enemy when the fortress exploded. You are dead. Congratulations. You successfully destroyed 8 forts and received an S rating. You kill 4 enemy officers and get an additional S grade rating. You killed 61 enemy soldiers and received an additional S grade rating. Your growth rate is gratifying. You are already a qualified Imperial Warrior. You get the last mission of War in Heaven Phase 1. Task Requirement Invade the enemy's main city and rescue 20 companions on the battlefield. Counting the S that survive for 8 hours. Su Xia now has 4 S ratings. The first mission requirement released by the bracelet has been achieved. He breathed a long sigh of relief. Exited the simulation system. Returned to the wreckage of the spacecraft and allowed the robotic arm to remove the simulation equipment from his body. Not long after, the mission system sent a prompt. Mission, Deep Space Reward. Requirements achieved at current stage. You got the location where the prize cabin fell. Please click to view. After entering the prize cabin, the restrictions on prize number one will be opened. And you will get a set of 6th level combat mecha. You have triggered the mission. The disappearing guest. Do you want to accept it? Su Xia's eyes narrowed and stayed on the last line of text. What is this mission? He clicked, yes, and then checked the task details. Mission, the disappearing guest. After hearing that the wreckage of a spacecraft suspected of an alien civilization was found in the new station of the Oasis camp, the human resistance organization, Dragon City, dispatched an inspection team of nearly a hundred people to the Oasis camp. In order to save time, they chose a more unfamiliar path. Just more than ten minutes ago, they suddenly lost contact with Longchang headquarters, and they didn't know whether they were alive or dead. The location where they disappeared is the area where the prize cabin fell. Please go and investigate. Task reward, depending on the completion of the task. There is a high probability that a skill book will appear. Task tip 1. The wreckage of the spacecraft that crashed in that area may not only contain prize cabins. Task tip 2. You should open the interstellar encyclopedia and check the records about the man-eating tree. Seeing the task prompt, Su Xia probably knew what was going on. After the spacecraft disintegrated, Many breeding cabins for cultivating special plants and flowers also crashed in various areas of the planet. He had long wondered whether there would be plant seeds from aliens that would take root and sprout at a certain crash site. The emergence of this mission now shows that Su Xia's idea has become a reality. Those people in Dragon City were probably entangled by alien plants with special abilities. Man-eating tree! Su Xia had an impression of this plant. She had seen it in the autobiography of a spaceship member before. This plant releases a poisonous gas that puts living things to sleep. And its branches and roots also secrete corrosive liquid. If you don't know the power of this plant and enter its growth area rashly, even psychic creatures may be contained in it and become nutrients for its growth. Su Xiao walked out of the simulation hideout, went to the reading cabin, and picked up a copy of Interstellar Encyclopedia. He opened the catalog, found the page of Plant Man-Eating Tree, and began to browse carefully. Mentioned above, in the face of this plant, you should carry a awakening potion with you and drink it every half an hour to combat the drowsy poison. Sobriety potion. The required materials are as follows. It's just a third level potion. The process is simple and the materials are easy to obtain. Su Xia can refine it by herself. In addition, there are several other methods. 
ancient way to resist poison, wear a gas mask. Modern method, wear a complete set of armor with a poison gas protection system and conduct a protection test before departure. Extreme method, spray flammable liquid from the air, burn the man-eating tree with a fire and completely solve the source of the poisonous gas. Smart extinguishing method, mobilize high power fans to surround the entire area and supply air 24 hours a day so that fresh air can expel the poisonous gas in the area of the man-eating tree. In addition, the corrosive liquid secreted by the plant also needs to be guarded against. So it is recommended to wear complete protective equipment before exploring. Individual exploration is not recommended. Please make sure you have a complete team. After reading it, Su Xiao was basically relieved. His level 4 armor comes with poison gas protection. Thanks to Ba Xu. Coupled with a sobriety potion, it should be no problem to save people. The location given in the mission was still some distance away from the new location of the Oasis camp. Su Xia rushed there at full speed. It would take about 7 or 8 hours. She didn't know if the people in Dragon City could last that long. At this time, in a dark and cold jungle, Dragon City's team is taking a rest. The person in charge of contact said, I can't receive the news from Longcheng headquarters. There is a problem in this area. When we go out later, find a place with good terrain and try again. How is Xiao Luo's health? The old dean looked at one person. Are you feeling better? Did you catch a cold while traveling all night? It's okay. Teacher, I'll be fine. The young man named Xiao Luo looked pale and forced a smile. Because he was unwell. The entire team decided to rest here for a while. However, not long after he had rested, another person felt unwell. Dizzy. Weakened limbs. In a daze. And almost fell asleep. These plants. The old dean was well informed and knowledgeable. And he immediately discovered something was abnormal. This forest was too quiet with no chirping of birds, no humming of insects and beasts, and not even earthworms tumbling in the rotten leaves and soil under my feet. The dense canopy of trees blocked the sunlight, and the surroundings were extremely dark. There seemed to be some unknown danger hidden in the darkness. Go! Go now! The old dean made a prompt decision and ordered the departure. After hearing the dean's words, the professors and apprentices of Tianqing Academy stood up and prepared to move forward. But the head of Longqing's extraterrestrial civilization research department stopped them and said, One of our members is unwell. Let's take a short rest. I need to check him out. The old dean looked serious and refused. I'll check after I get out. You can't stay here. There's something weird in this forest. What could be weird? The man frowned. We are all psychic creatures. Could this forest eat us? Chapter 237 Small Belly Chicken Intestines Don't be too superstitious about psychic powers. The universe is so big, and there are countless energy sources that have not yet been discovered. Every energy source can enable a low-level civilization to develop rapidly, with awe and gratitude. On the title page of Interstellar Encyclopedia, there are words like this. The background of these words is that many psychic possessors believe that they are superior to others and are advanced evolved creatures, and have lost their respect for ordinary life. Although it was just a children's book, Su Xia read it with gusto. Human beings' preference for the unknown is deeply embedded in their genes. But time was tight, and he didn't have time to read too much. So he put away the Interstellar Encyclopedia and planned to continue reading it when he had time. Hal, Su Xia shouted. Captain, what's the matter? Hal appeared in response. What are the specific abilities of the man-eating tree? As long as you take protective measures, this kind of tree will not pose a threat to you. Hal explained in detail. In the Interstellar Encyclopedia. The editors use some serious words in order to make viewers understand impression, ensuring they are reminded of it when faced with the plant. Is this book exaggerated? Yes. Actually, many books have it. How long can ordinary people survive facing a man-eating tree? It depends on the individual's physique. How responsibly pulled out a lot of data and said that man-eating trees are widely distributed in the interstellar world. And many civilizations have similar plants. Ordinary people can basically last for 5 to 10 minutes if they walk into the drowsy poisonous fog area of the man-eating tree. But as long as they feel a little dazed, normal people will realize that something is wrong. If they have relevant knowledge in their minds and can recall it in time, they will not be able to stay in the poisonous fog area forever and will try their best to run out of the woods. So, although this kind of tree has a scary name, it actually causes very few deaths and injuries. How listed the data. The corrosive liquid secreted from its branches and roots sounds terrible. But in a short period of time, even ordinary clothes can't corrosion. Yeah, I got it. But there are still some things to be aware of. 
Hao copied the data to a thumb-sized storage disk so that Su Xia could check it at any time. He also emphasized a few points. If the corrosive liquid enters the eyes, they must be cleaned in time. Otherwise, it will cause serious damage. Captain, are there also man-eating trees on this planet? Su Xia shook her head and said, Originally, there was no such thing. Hal asked, You mean, the plant seeds carried by the plant cultivation cabin of this spacecraft have taken root and sprouted on this planet? Were there seeds from the man-eating tree on the spaceship? Yes, and there are quite a few. That should be correct. The man-eating tree sounds scary and seems to be harmful but useless. But the liquid, branches, bark, etc. it secretes are all good ingredients for refining medicine. Especially poisons. Many poisons require the use of materials related to the man-eating tree. Therefore, some pharmacist groups will spend a lot of money to let spacecraft carry the seeds of the man-eating tree to travel in space. After listening to Su Xia's words, Hal immediately said, If you want to explore that area, then you may need to pay attention to more than just the man-eating trees. Su Xia didn't mean it and asked, What other plants are there? Withered vines? Psychedelic soul grass? Death songs? Moving traps? Hal named four plants in succession. Just by hearing their names, you knew they were not positive plants. The original interstellar explorers had a basis for naming every newly discovered plant. Some explorers named it after themselves. Others named it after their own spacecraft or planet. And some named it directly based on its characteristics. Withered vines, gray and black all over. Looking like dead vines. Detailed description. Its surface will secrete an extremely viscous and corrosive liquid. Once contaminated, the skin will become red and swollen. And in severe cases may become ulcerated and infected resulting in loss of life. The fruit has high starch content and produces a large number of fruits each time. It is the main food to satisfy hunger in some low-level civilizations. Psychedelic soul grass looks like ordinary weeds, difficult to distinguish without looking carefully. Detailed description will release hallucinogenic poisonous gas due to its hallucinogenic effect. In many low-level civilizations, it is regarded as the incarnation of gods. Song of death, a plant that makes sounds, Detailed description. The sound it releases can cause symptoms such as upset, nausea, dizziness, and headache in ordinary creatures. It was discovered by an interstellar mining team more than 600 years ago. There were a large number of such plants next to the miners' dormitories at that time, causing the miners cannot sleep and suffer from mental breakdown. After improvement, this plant can produce soothing low-frequency noise below 200 Hz, similar to the rustling of leaves, and can be used to treat insomnia, Moving Trap, a mobile plant, often growing in swamps. Detailed description, its root system will cover the surface of the swamp and through the cover of fallen leaves. The surface of the swamp will look very safe, but it will leave traps in some locations. Through research, this plant has the effect of improving swamp water bodies, and scientists are trying to reduce its harm. These plants were recorded in detail in the Star Encyclopedia. After reading it, it was somewhat beyond Su Xia's expectation especially the withered vine. Just hearing the name can make Su Xia think of dark images such as rain, castles, vines, and crows. However, this plant is actually the only hope for people to eat enough on many low-level civilization planets. These plants have great research value, so spacecraft often carry them. Hal floated slowly beside Su Xia and said as he floated, if you have watched 120 hours of quick understanding of the interstellar world, you will know that plants with extremely high edible value, like withered vines, are the source of many stars in the sky. Charity's favorite. Star charity? What does it do? It's mainly to help lower civilizations. Hal explained seriously. Some people are naturally compassionate and don't want to see the creatures on lower planets starving. They will take the initiative to contact them, provide them with high-yielding food crops, and teach them farming. As Hal spoke, a picture gradually appeared in front of him. In the picture, there are a large number of rough and primitive murals. And there are some strange patterns on the murals. Creatures of lower civilizations will regard the creatures descending from the deep space as gods. Engrave them on murals. Build huge palaces for them. And regard them as totems. Su Xia noticed that some murals were similar to those on Earth. This made him somewhat interested in the development of the Earth. When we have time in the future, can we find the location of the Earth by traveling from this planet into deep space? If he is really found and comes to the land of China. Will he be able to see him lying on the bed in his dormitory playing games? Maybe then we can tell whether this is a game or the real world. But there's no time to think too much right now. If we don't rush over, 
the people in Longchang may be in trouble. Although there is some conflict between the two parties, people are still saved, even if it is just for the mission reward. Hal said, Captain, the corresponding plans for these plants are all written in the Interstellar Encyclopedia. As long as you follow what is written in the book, there will basically be no problem. Well, I'm leaving for a while. During this period, the rights to open the spacecraft will be decided by Xiong Wei and Zhang Fang. No problem. I wish you a smooth journey. Good. Having a smart butler means peace of mind. Su Xia doesn't need to worry about the wreckage. And Hal doesn't ask questions and does his job responsibly. He took a few more interstellar encyclopedias, put them into the storage space, and then left the wreckage. At this time, Zhang Fang was above the rift, debugging the equipment that received the information. He looked confused and murmured in a low voice. It's strange. There is no problem with the equipment. Why didn't the team from Dragon City send me a message? Mr. Zhang, I'm going out for a while. Su Xiao walked over and said, If the people from Manchun arrive at the old station, stabilize them first and let them stay there. No problem. Zhang Fan was worried, but still agreed. At the moment, he doesn't know what happened and can only hope that the Dragon City team can get in touch with him as soon as possible. Su Xiao went inside the camp again, found Xiong Wei, briefly explained a few words, and then set off. Buzz. He activated his armor's power and soared into the sky. The mountains and forests in the southwestern region of the mainland are lush and continuous. Looking down from a high altitude, it is endless and vast. Even in autumn, the mountains are still full of green. The undulating mountains are like thousands of miles of blue waves in the vast sea. The scene is spectacular. The roar of armor flashed across the sky, causing birds to fly up in fright. This feeling of freedom is so comfortable and deeply rooted in human beings yearning for the sky in flight. At the same time, the clone in Coral City began to make several antidote potions. Time passes minute by minute. The midday sun slowly slanted to the west, falling into the distant hills little by little, leaving only a crimson aftertaste, which complemented the mountains full of red forests in the area below Su Xia. It's six o'clock. Su Xia glanced at the time, slowly slowed down, landed in the fiery red maple leaf forest, and manually changed the energy source of the mecha's power part. Afterwards, go offline to have a meal. What he didn't expect was that as soon as he walked into the school cafeteria, he would be surrounded by a dozen burly men asking for his contact information. The guys from the Sonda Club are here specifically to block him. Su Xia didn't refuse, and added friends one by one. The leading president said, Su Yasher, you are now a celebrity. In the future. If you need bodyguards, drivers, thugs, stage fillers, etc. for important occasions, you can contact us. We have business in this area. We there is a team meeting outside the school. And some members of the team have returned from fighting in Africa. Su Xia. He didn't expect that the school club would have such fun. During his freshman year, he also joined the student union. But it was all about trivial matters. And he thought other clubs were like this too. It seems that there is also a gap between societies. While eating, Su Xia chatted with these guys and found that her previous vision was indeed too shallow. While they are still in school, they have already set their sights outside school or even abroad and have no intention of becoming hardworking workers after graduation. Physician Su, do you exercise regularly? No, very little. Then you have a pretty good body. Your arm muscles can hold up your clothes. Maybe it's because I often do action in the game VR room recently. Su Xia smiled and explained this way. He and the other five guys in the dormitory were completely opposite. He had noticed very early on that in the same crazy liver game. The more liver he had, the better his health was. Recently, he could go up to the fourth floor without panting. And his walking became much easier. It was as if he was exercising every day and had lost the frail look he had before. The temperament of a scholar. As for the other five guys... The dark circles under their eyes are getting heavier and heavier, and they all look like their bodies are exhausted. After eating, Su Xia put away a few business cards and said goodbye to the people in the Sonda Club. With these guys here, even if you encounter a madman who wants to PK offline in the future, you don't have to worry too much. In the history of online games, there have been many offline incidents of egregious nature. There are always people who get carried away playing games, and insist on following the network cable to find the other party to play a game of Mortal Kombat. After returning to the dormitory, Su Xia brushed her teeth and watched Lady Few operate for a few minutes. Then she laid back on the bed, activated the bracelet, 
and continued her journey to save people. Buzz! Su Xia activated the power of the Mecca and flew through the endless mountains and forests in the evening. This forest is so big that even he might get lost in it without the map provided by his bracelet. At the same time, in the other direction, a group of rescuers were rushing to the location. This rescue team was led by Shirsishi. As early as a few hours ago, Dragon City headquarters sent an urgent message to the joint camp where Shirsishi was located. The message included the location of the last feedback information from the Dragon City inspection team before disappearing. Teacher, are Dean and the others really missing? The news just said may be missing. But the situation is very bad. Shirsishi stroked his beard and looked into the distance. The Dean is a fifth level creature. Powerful and knowledgeable. With him leading the team, it would not be possible. Something should go wrong. If even the Dean and the others can't solve it, maybe we can. Got to see it. Sure, Sishi knew the worries in the hearts of these disciples. But he had no choice at the moment. Generally speaking, the golden rescue time is within 72 hours and cannot be delayed. In addition to his disciples, his team also includes many senior leaders of the resistance organizations in the joint camp. There are more than 60 people in total, all of whom are psychic creatures. They have sufficient weapons and rescue equipment, which are enough to cope with ordinary situations. Master, has Dragon City notified the Oasis camp? From behind, one of the leaders of the joint camp, Ms. Liu Ye, asked. Sure, Sishi shook his head. No. Ms. Willow Yi frowned and said, We should inform them that the overall strength of the Oasis camp is not weak. Another person in charge also said, Commander Beifong is experienced. If he can, no need. Time is running out. Sure, Sishi interrupted. Beifong has no sense of the overall situation and refuses to unite. Do you still expect him to save people? Master, Commander Beifong is not who you think. There may have been a misunderstanding last time. We'll talk about it later. Save people first. Sure, Sishi flicked his sleeves, feeling unhappy, and ended the topic directly. The group of people moved forward quickly and rushed to the target location in the afterglow of the setting sun. Behind Shirsishi, his disciples were still communicating quietly. Then Beifong is probably still immersed in the joy of defeating Enlon. The leader of an organization in a small place is like this. He only cares about the immediate gains and losses, and cannot look at the problem from the perspective of the two races. In the final analysis, education is not enough. The education level of these small local resistance organizations needs to be improved. In the distance, Su Xia suddenly sneezed while flying. He rubbed his nose, feeling like someone was speaking ill of him behind his back. It must be that little old guy Shirsishi. Chapter 238 Psychedelic Forest At 9 o'clock in the evening, dark clouds covered the moon. Su Xia drove the Mecca across the dark sky, leaving a long trail. The destination is just ahead. It is a low-lying forest area with dense and tall vegetation. It is connected together under the night cover, and it is difficult to see what is inside. The mecha slowed down slowly and landed on a hillside outside the destination. The heavy mechanical body crushed many shrubs. And its legs made of alloy stepped deeply into the dead branches and leaves on the ground. Quack! A resting frog was frightened away and jumped into the distance with a croak. Lights lit up on the left and right sides of the mecha's mechanical helmet. And the orange light illuminated the area in front of it. Spreading forward little by little until it was swallowed up by the jungle shrouded in deep darkness. In front of Su Xia's eyes. Countless dark red data appeared. The surrounding dead leaves, fallen wood, flowers, plants, mushrooms, etc. appeared in his eyes one after another. And each animal and plant was followed by a different annotation. In the task bar, the rescue mission still hasn't disappeared. This means that Dragon City's exploration team is still trapped in the dangerous area ahead. Su Xiao opened the mecha's weapon system, selected, flare, and illumination, and clicked to launch. Call out! Call out! The two bullets instantly rose into the air, making a sharp sound in the night, flying into the dark sky to the left and right, respectively, illuminating an area. Su Xia stood there and waited quietly. If the people in Dragon City can see it, it means that they are not far from the periphery of the dangerous area, and the rescue operation will be quite easy, which is equivalent to a free mission reward. However, after waiting for several minutes, there was no response. Su Xia activated the power system again, controlled the mecha, and soared into the sky. Buzz! The orange and blue tail flames are particularly dazzling at night. The mecha was extremely fast, causing a burst of explosions over the dangerous area. 
Su Xia selected multiple high explosive bombs in the weapon system, calculated the time, and released them over the area. Boom! Boom! More than a dozen bombs exploded in midair. The explosions were earth shattering and powerful. The fire lit up the entire night sky for a moment, and the rising smoke was like white mushrooms. This terrifying sound and vibration should be felt by any creature in the nearby area, as expected, in the mountain forest in the normal area in the distance. Countless resting birds were awakened, fluttering their wings and taking off in the jungle, flying farther away. Roar! Deep in the dark hills, there were a few scattered roars of beasts. The animals were frightened and either ran away or huddled in their caves shivering. For many animals with low intelligence, the sound of this explosion is similar to the thunder on a thunderstorm night. And it is the power of nature. Su Xia hovered above the dangerous area formed by alien plants, waiting quietly, hoping that the people in Dragon City could give an answer. However, after a few more minutes, there was still no response. The Dragon City exploration team members, who were trapped deep in the jungle seemed to have disappeared. Su Xia flew to another area, turned on the weapon system, and stared at the various weapons carried by the mecha for a moment. In the end, she did not choose to continue firing. This area is so big that you can't see the end at a glance. Even if you fire all the weapons in this mecha, you may not get a response. Landing, Su Xia controlled the mecha and slowly descended to the outside of the alien plant area, planning to go in and take a look. He released most of the nanobots and let them search around, searching for traces of human existence. Search. These little robots are loyal and very reassuring. Su Xia herself gradually went deeper, not too fast nor too slow. When the spacecraft crashed, the prize cabin and part of the plant cultivation cabin fell in this area, and various alien plant seeds in the cabin took root and sprouted. The climate of this planet is very suitable for plant growth, and this location, located in the southwest region of the continent, was an endless stretch of mountains before the war. With little human activity, over the past 20 years, these alien plants, like cancer, have spread little by little in this area, occupying the sunlight, water, soil, and space of other native plants, growing wantonly, devouring every inch of soil crazily, and having almost no natural enemies. Restrictions. Species invasion? Su Xia thought of this word and felt that it was very suitable to describe these alien planet plants. If left unchecked, in a few years the entire southwestern mountainous area may be devoured by these plants and become a terrifying and silent restricted area. By then, many of the resistance groups hiding in the mountains would have to leave. Normal humans simply cannot withstand the poison of these plants. Su Xia noticed that in the outer areas, alien plants and local plants were still growing together. And not every alien plant was poisonous. Except for the ones I mentioned. The other plants are pretty normal. Blue Bell, a kind of bellflower that blooms all year round. It was discovered by the human exploration team more than a thousand years ago. It has very high environmental requirements and cannot survive in heavily polluted areas. On some civilized planets, it is often used as a water and soil testing plant. The petals are blue or dark blue and emit blue fluorescence at night. As soon as she walked into this area, a flower emitting blue fluorescence attracted Su Xia's attention. These flowers are like blue wind bells, clustered in clusters. Each cluster has more than a dozen flowers, swaying gently in the night wind, like undulating blue waves, beautiful and moving. Su Xia opened the screenshots that came with the game system and took a few screenshots of the scene in front of her. If discovered by players, this place will probably become one of the most popular check-in spots for internet celebrities in the game. Of course, players at this stage are not yet capable of traveling through the mountains and jungles. And the various high-level beasts in the mountains are enough for them to drink. Su Xia continued to move forward. Under the soft blue fluorescence, one after another special alien plants appeared in his eyes. He seemed to have entered another world. Death Pepper. The spiciness is far higher than that of ordinary peppers. It is a plant that challenges the limits of biological taste. It was discovered by the ace people of the ace civilization in the starry sky. Note, ace civilization is a civilization that came out of an extremely cold planet. Human beings in this civilization are generally tall and fat, have thick layers of fat, and have not lost their hair. They are similar to snow monsters and snowmen in many weird legends. Black tango, plants with musical cells that can sway to the rhythm of music. Hat grass. It will grow into the shape of a hat when mature and is loved by many children. Sweet palm tree. The fruit is similar to human palms and has extremely high sugar content. Su Xia stopped moving forward. And after confirming that there was no danger around her, 
she temporarily left the Mecca and collected some samples from various alien plants around her for future research. Perhaps because of his natural sense of adventure, he tried to take a bite of the death pepper. Call. A spiciness surged into the sky. His blood boiled. He was sweating profusely. And his whole body seemed to be on fire. Su Xia immediately took out a few bags of pure milk and drank it for herself. However, after eating two bags of milk, the spicy taste still didn't go away. It seemed to be stuck in his mouth and esophagus. Burning and painful. As if he had drank some corrosive liquid. Aliens are so strong. Su Xia exhaled several times. And she could already think of the strength of that A civilization. At this time, the system sent him a prompt. Maybe you should try the sweet palm tree fruit next to it. Seeing this prompt, Su Xia acted immediately and reached out to pick the fruit from a small tree nearby. This small tree is only about one person tall. But its branches are strong and full of fruits. Red and green fruits the size of a child's hand are crowded with the treetops. Crack! Su Xia took a bite. It was crisp and sweet. With the fragrance of mango and peach. The juice exploded in her mouth. Instantly alleviating the spiciness brought by the death pepper. To deal with alien gadgets. You have to rely on another kind of alien. He ate the fruit in two mouthfuls. Leaving only a core the size of a coin. Still not satisfied. He waved his hand and picked all the dozens of fruits on the entire fruit tree. There were still some fruit trees around. But time was tight. So Su Xia did not continue picking. And returned to the Mecca to continue searching. At this time. Sure Sishi and others are on their way here. Buzz! The tall Mecca began to move. Orange light illuminated the front. And slowly penetrated into the area occupied by alien plants. The further you go. The more alien plants appear. With so many strange plants. Didn't the Dragon City Exploration Team find any abnormalities? Su Xia couldn't help but think. Did they not pay attention because they were in a hurry? Or, where they entered the jungle? There weren't many abnormal plants. It stands to reason that those guys from Longchun Academy are all really capable. With their knowledge base. They shouldn't be so careless unless there are problems within the expedition team. The danger level in the periphery is not high. And some small animals can be seen. These fruits from alien plants also provide abundant food for small animals. After moving forward for more than 10 minutes, Su Xia finally saw a plant that I'll ask him to be careful about. Withered Vines. You have discovered the dangerous plant, Withered Vine. Please be vigilant and pay attention to protection. This kind of vine is almost consistent with the illustration in the Interstellar Encyclopedia. It is gray-black in color and has wrinkles on its surface. Many of them are hanging from trees. They look like withered ordinary tree vines and are highly camouflaged. Only when you look closer can you find that its surface is covered with a viscous liquid. Some of the vines are covered with dark red fruits. The fruits have a bumpy surface that looks a bit like sweet potatoes. And some have animal bite marks on them. The animals here must have adapted over the years. They know that the vines of this plant are poisonous, but the fruits are edible. So they are careful to avoid the vines. Su Xia saw with his own eyes that a wild boar grunted and gnawed four or five fruits in succession. It moved flexibly without even a trace of venom. The cool look reminded him of Pung Pung In. The Lion King! After a while, Su Xia suddenly heard the wailing sound of a small animal. Nana. The orange-yellow light of the Mecca illuminated the area. And a weak deer appeared. The deer was stuck to the vine. With half of its body stuck and unable to break free. That's what a deer sounds like. Su Xia left the Mecca. Made sure there was not much danger around. And walked over on the dead leaves on the ground. Seeing his appearance, the fawn's cry became more urgent and its struggle became more intense. After getting close, Su Xia directly grabbed the deer's legs and pulled hard. Translucent silk threads were pulled out from the sticky parts of its body and the vines. The mucus secreted by this vine is really amazingly sticky. Nanana. The deer was in pain. Screamed louder. And struggled desperately. The sound gave people a two-dimensional feeling. After Su Xia pulled it open with force, she found that the skin at the contact area had begun to ulcerate, and the wound area was large. He took out a needle of healing potion, injected it directly into the deer, and then threw it away. Snapped. The fawn was obviously very frightened. It ran away immediately after getting free. Its four hooves flew very fast, and it disappeared in an instant. Su Xia stood there, using the mecha's light, to carefully observe the fruits produced by the vine. The more I look at it, the more it looks like a sweet potato. It's just that sweet potatoes grow in the ground. He picked off a fruit and took a bite. Even the astringency with a hint of sweetness was similar to that of a sweet potato. Su Xia ate a lot of raw sweet potatoes when she was a child. 
At that time, her family was poor. She was hungry. And there was nothing she could do. Now the family is not poor. Because the whole family is gone. Kacha Kacha. He tore off more than a dozen fruits and threw them into the storage space. Then returned to the Mecca and continued moving forward. In this way, after advancing for nearly two hours in the weird dark jungle full of various alien plants, several nanorobots in the distance finally fed back useful information to Su Xia. Multiple repeated knife marks were found, suspected to be marks from getting lost in the jungle. Su Xia immediately rushed over to check. In that area, hacking knife marks can be found on a big tree at regular intervals. The knife mark was still fresh and was made recently. Obviously, someone got lost here and tried to use these traces to remind themselves to identify the path. It is normal for ordinary people to lose their way in the jungle and lose sight of the light when looking up. Finds a pile of ashes. Beast skeleton found. Discover toilet paper. Discover candy wrapper. Under a large tree with scratches. Su Xia saw traces of a bonfire. The fallen leaves all around had been cleared away. Exposing the bare ground. The person who started the fire obviously didn't want to cause a wildfire. There were some cleanly eaten animal bones around the ashes. Strange. Just a trace of a person's survival. Su Xia observed carefully and discovered something unusual. Dragon City's exploration team has nearly a hundred people. It's impossible to leave only this few traces. Unless they got separated in this forest. In Su Xia's mind, many new stories about being separated, lost contact, and dead in the jungle emerged. Even if you are a professional, once you disappear in an inaccessible mountain forest, your hope of coming back alive is slim. There is no other way now but to search along the knife marks on the tree trunk. Time passed slowly, and more than an hour passed. It was already past midnight, just when Su Xiao was about to log off for a late night snack. He finally made a breakthrough. An adult human is found, suspected to be hallucinating. A lot of psychedelic soul grass grows in this area. Please pay attention to safety. Based on the feedback from the nanorobot, Su Xiao prepared the antidote in advance and slowly approached the area. There was indeed a human being in that area. An adult man in his 30s, with short black hair, plain facial features, and ordinary clothes. He looks like an ordinary person. He blends in and is inconspicuous among the crowd. He is the kind of person who cannot be remembered after seeing him several times. He seemed to be sleepwalking, with his eyes slightly closed, walking aimlessly in the area, mumbling to himself. Psychic power. War. Death. Carnage. It turned out to be just a dream. School in the elementary classroom. This guy was poisoned. Hallucinating. Unable to escape and wandering around the area in confusion. According to what he said, he was probably back in the elementary school classroom when he was a child, thinking that everything he had experienced in these years was a dream. If no one helps him, he will probably be addicted to these dreams forever until he dies, becoming the nourishment of these psychedelic soul grasses. Unfortunately, dreams must eventually wake up. Chapter 239 Prejudice In this area, just looking at the appearance, there is no danger at all. The psychedelic soul grass looks like a green grass seedling, growing randomly in the jungle. Its leaves are soft and sway in the wind. There are also clusters of blue wind chimes around. Dots of soft blue light flickered in the darkness. Dreamlike and dreamlike. Like a summer galaxy. Pieces of fallen leaves are spread on the ground. Like a soft carpet. Where confused people talk in their dreams. Immersed in beautiful dreams. Forget all worries. And slowly walk to the end of their lives. Call! Su Xia activated the air supply system that came with the Mecha. The Alloy SH. LS on both arms of the Mecha retreated. Revealing dark air vents. When the strong wind blew, the dead leaves on the ground were flying. And the broken leaves and dead branches were blown far away. Exposing the obscured scene below. They were skeletons that had long since decayed. The soft picture shattered and instantly turned into a horrifying scene of H. L. These alien plants have no weapons. But their methods of killing are more terrifying than ordinary weapons. Su Xia controlled the mecha to move forward. Turning on the poison gas protection system 24 hours a day. She slowly walked into the area and got closer to the man who seemed to be sleepwalking. He did not wake him up directly. But controlled the mecha's arm. Grabbed the man's collar with his big hand. Like a chicken. And then turned around and left. A few minutes later. Su Xia came to a safer area. He dropped the man in his hand and looked at his data panel carefully. Name, Sun Lang. Race, Human Race. Faction, Neutral Camp Zero Point Tavern. Psychic Power Level, 4.4. TNN Particle Level, 
Level 41. Psychic Talent, Luck. Character Description. This is an extremely lucky man who often picked up money when he was a child. And often picked up his life when he grew up. Sun Lang loves adventure and likes to explore the mountains and wilderness after the arrival of spiritual energy. He has encountered high-level monsters many times. He has been in and out of various insect nests all year round. He has even explored the base of the mechanical tribe. He will encounter life and death crises at least 10 times a year. But every time he can turn disaster into good luck. Yesterday at noon, Sun Lang received a secret rescue mission from the human resistance organization, Dragon City. He learned that the mission was extremely dangerous. So he happily accepted it. After entering the target area, he accidentally got lost and inhaled the poisonous gas of the psychedelic soul grass. He met the legendary Commander Bei Feng who also came to save people. Friendly person. Likes to make friends during adventures. Danger level, low. This guy's identity is different from what Su Xia thought. He is actually a member of the Zero Point Tavern. The biggest advantage of Zero Point Tavern, a neutral organization, is that it does a good job of keeping secrets. So both the human race and the machine race have connections with this organization. It is normal for Dragon City to have a dedicated channel to connect with the tavern. Level 4.4 Psychic Creatures can be trapped here. This poisonous gas is not weak. It would be great if it could be collected. The poisonous gas of the psychedelic soul grass is invisible. Intangible. Colorless and odorless. Its collection and storage is a big problem. Su Xia can only think about it at the moment. His eyes moved to this man's talent and paused for a moment on the word, lucky. This was the first time he had seen this talent. Luck is also an invisible and intangible thing. But it is very useful at critical moments. If you are extremely lucky, even if someone puts a gun to your head, the opponent's bullet will jam. On the other side of the earth, there are some people who are born with particularly good luck. It seems that beings from higher latitudes have placed various surprises on their life paths. At present, they can only be explained by metaphysics. And science cannot yet explain it. Well, Sun Lang, who was lying on the ground, suddenly twitched and his eyelids trembled, as if he was about to wake up. There is no poisonous fog in this area, and the air is barely fresh. This guy is a level 4 creature with extremely strong recovery ability. In order to save time, Su Xiao left the Mecca, took out an antidote made based on the Interstellar Encyclopedia, and plunged it into Sun Lang. Ouch! Sun Lang opened his eyes and screamed. He was horrified to see that the needle in Su Xiao's hand, the needle and the syringe were bigger than those used to inject pigs. Sir! Have mercy! I'm just passing by! Sun Lang was sweating. His face turned pale. And he thought he had been injected with some poison. This contains the antidote. You just breathed in the poisonous gas and fell into a hallucination. Su Xia stood up slowly, shook the syringe, and threw it aside. This is what it is. Sun Lang touched his whole body and found that there were no missing parts. The pants underneath are still intact. After experiencing the initial fright, he rubbed his head and felt a little dizzy. A nauseating feeling surged up, making him feel uncomfortable all over. Sun Lang knew that this was the sequelae of poisoning. Previously, he accidentally ate some poisonous mushrooms in a small city in the southwest. While having hallucinations, he also suffered from nausea, headaches and other symptoms. Oh, that hallucination is too real. I really thought I was back in elementary school. Sun Lang patted his head and sighed sincerely. I am also planning to make a singing debut. Copy all the good songs in the future. And then go pursue the goddess you haven't chased before. Can you stand up? Su Xia asked. Thank you. Thank you. Let me lie down first and take it easy. Sun Lang moved a little. His body felt sore. And he decided to lie down. He knew that his lucky talent had once again saved him from indulging in hallucinations to death in this deep mountain forest. Friend! My name is Sun Lang. I will never thank you for your kindness. Call me anytime you need anything in the future. He looked at Su Xia, rolled his eyes, and said, you are a good person. You didn't take the opportunity to kill me or take the treasures from me. You are definitely not a mercenary or other killer. And you don't seem to be surrendering to the mechanical tribe. You have a way. Mecca. You are still so young and you are the legendary Commander Beifong? Yes. Su Xiao was not surprised. It was normal for her to be recognized. After defeating Enlon in the last battle, Commander Beifong's Mecca and photos had spread throughout the streets. In some cities, his wanted bounty photos are posted on the streets and telephone poles. I knew that the people in Longchun were missing. And the resistance organizations in this area would definitely receive the news. 
Sun Lang took a few breaths, touched his stomach, and tried to suppress the uncomfortable feeling. Su Xia squatted beside him and asked, Beside you, is there anyone else in Lingtian Tavern who has received this mission? I shouldn't be the only one. Facing his savior, Sun Lang had no intention of hiding anything. He always liked to make friends on adventures. But now that he met the legend Su Xia, he was eager to find more topics to chat with. On the outskirts of this mountain forest, about half a day's journey from here, there is a hidden branch of Lingtian Tavern in the southwest region. It specializes in receiving members from the northwest region. Many members have come here in the past few days. Many are the only fourth-level creatures in small cities. They're all here. For the masked man? Yes. Sun Lang nodded without any reservation and said, I just arrived in the early hours of yesterday morning. At that time, there were already more than 20 level 4 creatures gathered in the tavern. They were all well known from all over the world and could be ranked among the best in the entire continent. No. It's rare to see so many level 4 creatures. The hunt for masked strangers brought a rare grand occasion to Zero Point Tavern. In addition to the 4th level creatures, there are also a lot of 3rd level creatures. Psychic creatures are flesh and blood after all. Even if he absorbs some more titanium particles and strengthens his own strength, he can at most make his body as strong as the wild beasts and monsters in the wilderness. After all, he will not be able to withstand the fire bombardment. Third level creatures, second level creatures, and even many novices who are just getting started. As long as they have some confidence in their sniping, trap, stealth, poison and other killing abilities, they all come to try their luck. In history, there have been many incidents where 4th level creatures were killed by lower level creatures. Some level 4 creatures were even killed by ordinary people with sniper rifles. And their deaths were quite painful. Many killers thought they could be the lucky one to kill the masked stranger, get the hundreds of millions in prizes, and become one of the next generation core members cultivated by Zero Point Tavern. But the masked monster is not that easy to kill. Sun Lang lamented, I have seen the scene after the battle in Fish Scale City. It was too scary. Even a 5th level creature may not be able to cause such horrific damage. And it is normal. Even level 5 creatures cannot escape the full force of the mechanical race. So you're here to try your luck too? No. I just want to make friends with the masked weirdo. Sun Lang shook his head and said, It's a pity that he is elusive and behaves like the wind. I don't know where he is now. As he spoke, he moved again, his face twitching. He endured the discomfort after being poisoned and reluctantly sat up from the ground. Talking while lying down always made him feel disrespectful to the legendary North Wind commander. It would be better to sit up. The antidote shot worked and was quickly clearing the remaining toxins from his body. However, although I haven't seen the masked stranger yet, I have met the legendary commander Beifong. This trip is worth it. Sun Lang grinned and laughed twice despite the pain. He was a very optimistic person. He said, back in the tavern, I started to brag to people again. I am also a person who was saved by Commander Beifong. Of course, I will be saved by you tonight. I am probably not the only one. The topic goes back to the beginning. At about 11.30 yesterday morning, Sun Lang, who was flirting with the female killer in the tavern, suddenly received a secret message. He remembered that in addition to him, there were more than 10 other level 4 creatures who also lowered their heads and checked their phones at the same time. If he guessed correctly, those 10 people received the same message as him. Red Urgent Mission. Dragon City Issues Rescue Mission. This task is for a small number of senior members of the tavern. Please keep it confidential. Half an hour ago, the Dragon City Exploration Team lost contact in the southwest mountainous area. The last contact address has been sent to your mobile phone. The bounty for this mission is provided by Long Chung. 20 million. And a piece of 5th level psychic equipment. If you are interested in taking on the mission, please reply X and leave immediately. Although the task stated that confidentiality should be kept secret, Sun Lang directly handed his phone to Su Xia. After all, he was a savior. Moreover, he knew that Su Xia was a resistance leader, and subconsciously believed that Su Xia was also connected to Long Cheng. Otherwise, he would not have gotten the accurate address here. Yesterday morning at half past eleven, Su Xia thought about it. At that time, he had just finished the simulation and received enough S evaluations. But Long Chung did not send a message to the Oasis camp, preferring to issue a mission to a killer from a neutral organization. Until Su Xia left, Zhang Fang didn't know what happened. It seems that Dragon City is quite biased against the Oasis camp. If nothing else, Shur Sishi and others at the joint camp should have received the news and may be on their way here now. When can we take action? 
Su Xia returned the phone to Sun Ling. That's it now. Sun Ling reluctantly stood up and moved his limbs. They were still a little sore. But movement was no longer a problem. He patted the broken dead leaves on his body, took a deep breath, and said, Commander, this forest is very abnormal. So be extra careful. Well, alien plants. Just get used to them. Alien plants? Talking as we walk. Good. This forest is indeed dangerous to those who don't know it. But as long as you have a thorough understanding and have various antidotes in hand, wandering around in it is not a problem. The two continued to set off and continued to look for people in the dark and vast forest. Su Xia explained the characteristics of some plants to Sun Lang. Try to keep this matter as confidential as possible. Commander, don't worry. My mouth is stricter than a crack in a stone. Sun Lang made the promise steadfastly. He liked to brag after drinking, but he also did so selectively. Under Su Xia's guidance, he also tried several alien fruits and was pleasantly surprised. After walking not far, the two came across a swamp. Of course, just from the surface, you can't tell that this is a swamp area. There are still shady trees and fallen leaves ahead. Ordinary people or animals may not notice the danger at all and just walk straight past it. Even Sun Lang, an adventurous fourth-level psychic creature, didn't notice. Watch your steps, Su Xia reminded. Is there something? Sun Lang subconsciously thought of poisonous snakes. But he quickly reacted. Commander, is it the kind of plant that moves slowly? Um. Su Xia controlled the mecha. And a flashing alloy blade popped out of the thick mechanical right arm. And stabbed it down suddenly. There was only a click. And the ground in front was pierced. And a stream of turbid liquid came out. What lies below is not a field. But a swamp. Mobile trap. This plant likes to grow in swampy areas where the roots are intertwined and cover the surface of the swamp, but leave behind some hidden traps. A little cold sweat appeared on Sun Lang's forehead. He didn't expect that this plant was more sinister than Su Xia described. A psychic creature like him is actually pretty good. Even if he steps into a trap and falls into a swamp, he can basically escape by his own strength. Ordinary people are miserable. Su Xia ordered, Follow me and just pay attention to your steps. Good. The two continued to move forward, quickly passing through the area. During this period, Su Xia suddenly thought if some alien plants were planted outside the oasis camp, would it have an effective protective effect? As long as members with antidote are regularly allowed to go in and prune them to prevent the spread of these plants. Forming a circle around the camp can block some uninvited guests. Chapter 242 Buried in a Foreign Land At 4 o'clock in the morning, the temperature in the jungle was very low. During these hours of searching, Su Xia and Sun Lang did not find any living person but found a corpse. That corpse was also from Lingyan Tavern, and was a level 4 psychic creature. He had just drank with Sun Lang yesterday. It's Li Long. This guy was so unlucky that he died in this damn place. This is an area intertwined with psychedelic soul grass and mobile traps. Obviously, this tavern member inhaled poisonous gas, fell into a hallucination, and was unable to escape. He walked around like a sleepwalker, accidentally stepped on a trap, and finally drowned in the swamp. A fourth level creature was actually drowned. Which is ridiculous to say. The body was discovered by nonobots. Sun Lang couldn't help but sigh twice when he thought about the fun he had drinking with the guy yesterday morning. And then touched the body with tears. The two knives are both psychic weapons. He usually likes to show off, and this pendant. It looks like a pendant. But it is actually a compressed psychic bomb. This is the key to his underground warehouse. There must be many good things. This guy lives alone and has no family. All the belongings and treasures he obtained as a killer over the years have been locked in a hidden warehouse. The wealth of a fourth level killer is definitely not small. The total sum of zero and zero is estimated to be more than eight figures. People died and the money was not spent. One of the great tragedies of life. Therefore, when you are alive, you must enjoy yourself in time. Sun Lang was grateful for Su Xia's life-saving grace and gave all these things to Su Xia. Su Xia put away the key and had no intention of taking it for herself. She just said, Let's look for it together later. If you are going to take other people's money, naturally you can't let their bodies hang out here. Su Xia simply dug a hole, put the body in, buried it with soil and leaves, and threw a few cores from the sweet palm tree in, hoping that saplings would grow next year. After the burial, the two took a short break and lit a bonfire in the open space. The fire was swaying. The fire was crackling and some sparks popped out from time to time, with a few pieces of dried meat roasted on it. 
Su Xia and Sun Lang simply filled their bellies with dried meat and fruits. Commander, when this search and rescue is over, can you let me go to the Oasis camp to have a look? Su Lang cut off a piece of dried meat and asked sincerely. Okay. Su Xia agreed. What about the wreckage of the alien spacecraft? You can go, but you have to give something. What? Ask the person in charge of the Oasis camp. He will tell you what you are missing and maybe give you some tasks. Commander, aren't you the person in charge of the Oasis camp? Sun Lang was surprised. With your reputation, you can't even become the person in charge of the resistance camp. Is there someone stronger there? No, it's just a different division of labor. Oh, I understand. You are the boss behind the scenes. After these few hours of communication, Su Xia felt that this guy was pretty good and the task description given by the system was fine. Unlike many tavern killers who only work for money, Sun Lang has a bottom line and likes excitement and adventure. Although he has been in the neutral camp for a long time, he generally prefers the human race. This kind of person can develop in the long term. If you have the chance, leave him at Camp Oasis. Since he likes adventure, what kind of adventure can compare with the adventure between the stars? Su Xia had some ideas in her mind, but she didn't specify them clearly. She just said, There should be someone you like in that wreckage. Sun Lang's eyes lit up and he asked, What is it? A simulation system will allow you to learn many new things. Is it just a simulation? Sun Lang lost interest, shook his head and said, Well, the simulation is false after all, and it cannot give the sense of reality of the real world. Su Xia smiled and said, You will know then. With Sun Lang's character, he would definitely like systems such as wild adventure training and wild simulated combat in the simulation system. Once you are immersed in it, you may not be able to get out for 10 days and half a month. After filling their stomachs, the two put out the bonfire, doused all the sparks with water from the swamp to ensure that they would not cause a fire, and then continued searching. During this period, those nanorobots had explored very far. Not long after leaving, Su Xia received feedback. An unconscious male is found. Vital signs normal. Located in the killing tree area. Inferred from inhaling too much sleeping gas. The back of the hand is red and swollen. And some of the skin is ulcerated. It is inferred that it is contaminated with a liquid secreted by the killer tree. It is not fatal for the time being. Another guy acting alone. When Su Xia arrived, she saw the guy lying in a pile of dead branches and leaves. With a few leaves falling on him, he didn't know how long he had been sleeping. Above it, the branches of the man-eating tree are slowly secreting corrosive liquid. The turbid liquid slowly gathered and dripped every once in a while. And some of it just happened to drip onto his hand. Name, Chow Ban. Race, Human Race. Faction, Neutral Camp Zero Point Tavern. Psychic Power Level, 4.3. TNN Particle Level, Level 29. Psychic Talent, Blood Drinking and Killing. Character Description, A Cold Killer Who Only Works For Money Most Of The Time And Has A Weak Concept Of Good And Evil. As long as you have enough money, you can kill the machine tribe for the machine tribe. Or you can kill the machine tribe for the human race. Regardless of good or bad. Regardless of gender. Old or young. There are very few friends in the tavern. Danger level, high. The kind of person who only does things for money appears. When he first joined the Lincoln Tavern, he told Su Xia that there were roughly two types of members in the tavern. A kind of person who has a clear distinction between good and evil. Only kills evil people and will not kill others no matter how much money they have. Another kind of killer is the complete opposite. The two don't like each other in the tavern, and there are occasional minor frictions. However, due to the rules of the tavern, no one dared to fight in the tavern. The inside of the tavern was relatively peaceful for a long time, until Su Xia made a brazen attack last time. Of course, there are also a small number of members who walk on the edge between good and evil. They seem to behave in a chaotic manner, but they abide by order and have their own code of conduct. Some people think that Masked Stranger is that kind of member. In his mind, his own order was above the order of the tavern. So he took action. Chow Ban! It's this guy! Sun Lang recognized this guy and stepped forward to kick him. This guy is disgusting. He even kills babies and pregnant women for money. He has slaughtered many innocent people before. Village! Is that so? After hearing this, Su Xia gave up the idea of saving people after combining the systematic character description. He threw a sobriety potion to Sun Lang and said, Inject yourself with one, and you can stay awake for half an hour in the poisonous fog area of the man-eating tree. Receive! Sun Lang did not hesitate, 
and directly injected a needle into his neck without worrying that there was something wrong with the medicine. Then, he squatted down and began to feel for the treasure on Chao Ban's body. This person carries quite a lot of good things with him, including five or six level four psychic weapons, some general potions, a skill book, more than a dozen compressed psychic bombs, and several precious mechanical energy batteries, a whole expensive robotic arm, etc. It's just a humanoid mimic. Hey, there is also a bank card. The password is actually written on the back of the card. I sent it. Sun Lang was overjoyed, rubbed his bank card, and said to Su Xia, Commander, this is a high and black card from the bank that the tavern invested in. You can only get it if your assets exceed eight digits. Let's get it 28 points later. 50-50. I'm not very interested in money. Commander is awesome. Sun Lang stretched out his thumb, praised without hesitation, and then carefully put the card away. In this way, before they found the Dragon City team, they had already obtained most of the property of the two fourth-level creatures. After the search, the two left Chao Ban here, letting him slowly die and rot, and continued to search for the Dragon City team. After only half an hour of progress, I met another tavern member. This time it was a corpse. Wang Jian. He is actually dead too. Sun Lang recognized the identity of the corpse with a sigh in his voice. The man's death was tragic. The corrosive liquid secreted by the man-eating tree dripped onto his face, corroding his eyeballs into two horrific blood holes, and the entire face was also in disrepair. When ordinary people see this face, they will probably have nightmares for several days. He is different from us. He has a family. His wife is seriously ill and needs a lot of money for medical treatment. So he runs around for money. Sun Lang sighed again and took out a photo from the man's clothes. The photo is a group photo of a family of three. And you can see what this person looked like in life. What disease? Su Xiao wondered. Even cancer can be cured in this world. What other disease requires a fourth level creature to run for money? Sun Lang replied. It seems to be a disease related to genetic defects. Few people live past the age of 20. It is more terrible than cancer. Cancer only needs to remove the disease cells. However, this disease cannot be cured at all. You can spend countless money hanging on your life. He put away the photo and observed a few seconds of silence in front of the body. Then, he said to Su Xia, Commander, even so, Huang Jian is very principled and only kills evil people. Can I hand over the valuables he carries to his family? Well, do as you wish. Killer is just an identity code. After this code name, there are all kinds of people. Some are chefs. Some are teachers. And some are warm-hearted and kind-hearted neighbor uncles. They live next to many people. But those people don't notice that those friends who bargain with vendors for a few cents at the vegetable market. Those classmates who post pictures of cats and dogs and we chat moments all day long. Secretly have another identity. When she ate in the cafeteria last time, she chatted with people from the Sanda Club and Su Xiao learned that. In their off-campus team, there was a mercenary who had returned from Africa and had assassinated local warlords. It's just not as cool as imagined. The so-called assassination is to launch a rocket launcher, then drop the rocket launcher and run away. It is not as fancy as the one shot in the movie. Rest in peace, my friend. I will take good care of your wife and daughter. Sun Lang collected Huang Jin's valuables and began to dig a hole for Huang Jian, planning to bury him. The fourth-level killers at Lingyan Tavern were all in trouble this time. If they were traveling together, and the others could sense something was wrong after one of them developed symptoms, it might not be so bad. But the secretive nature of the mission prevented their cooperation. There are nearly a hundred people in the Dragon City team, and they are all knowledgeable. As long as they don't get separated, there is a high chance that all members will survive. Su Xia helped dig the hole while thinking. Maybe they are trapped somewhere. At the same time, Su Xia thought of another thing. That old guy Shishi probably also wants to lead a team to rescue people. If they weren't fully prepared, would they have fallen into trouble here? Once things get out of control, he will turn into a calabash kid to save grandpa. Then there will be trouble. After burying Huang Jin's body, the two continued to move forward without rest, seizing the time to search for Long Chung and the remaining members of the tavern. Time passed slowly, and there was a crimson dawn on the horizon. But the forest was still dark. The dense trees blocked the sky and the sun, with leaves and branches layered on top of one another. Dozens of meters high, it was impossible to see anything clearly when looking up. Even if you climb to the highest point and stand at the top of the tree canopy, all you can see is the endless sea of forest. At 7 o'clock in the morning, another body was found. 
still from Lingyan Tavern. This is a third-level psychic creature with average strength. But according to Sun Lang, its tracking and concealment abilities are extremely strong. Perhaps because of this, this person received this mission and finally lost his life here. What a death. This is one of the most bottomless pieces of trash in the tavern. It would be really easy for him to die here. Sun Lang looked disdainful and spat on his body. Through chatting, Su Xiao learned that this man had no bottom line in the killing mission, had an extremely twisted psychology, and repeatedly violently assaulted and dismembered innocent girls in their teens or even several years old. And when he did these things, he basically did it in front of the girl's family. If it weren't for his great concealment ability, he would have been stabbed to death by the honest members of the tavern. Even Sun Lang chased him several times. But he escaped every time. Commander, if you join the tavern and learn more, you will know that many members in the tavern are complete garbage. Um, times have changed. And Su Xia understands this deeply. The garbage on the other side of the earth needs to be hidden. Afraid to be exposed to the sun. And only some declassified documents can reveal the tip of the iceberg. But the garbage on this planet can do whatever it wants. As time passed, there was finally some faint light in the forest. The hours flew by. Near three o'clock in the afternoon, the two finally found some different traces. Is this the dragon scale mark? On the stone under a big tree, there is a symbol similar to an inverted triangle carved on it. This symbol is one of the communication symbols of Dragon City. An X is engraved in the symbol, which means that the member who engraved the symbol is in danger and cannot escape. Here, here and here, there are signs of a fire. Many people have stopped here to rest. There are also scratches on the tree trunks. All the flammable fallen leaves nearby have been cleared away. There are indentations in the grass. They must be right. The two of them carefully explored the surrounding area and found nothing missing. In addition to simple food packaging bags, empty cans, paper towels, and other normal signs of rest. There are also more than a dozen syringes and the outer packaging of many medical items. It seems that when the Dragon City team came here, there were already many people in the team who had been recruited. There is an arrow symbol here, pointing deep to the left front. They are probably going in that direction. Sun Lang observed carefully. Commander, do we want to take a break? Let's rest here for a while and have something to eat. The long search is very tiring, and you have to pay attention to strange alien plants in this jungle. Su Xia was fine wearing a mecha, but he had to consider Sun Lang's situation. The two rested on the spot and lit a fire. I roasted some pieces of dried meat on the fire and cooked a pot of simple vegetable soup for lunch and dinner. At the same time, in another direction, Shursishi and others were still exploring the outskirts of the jungle. Pay attention to safety, wear protective equipment, and try to rescue people within 48 hours. Chapter 241 Secrets of Dragon City Where is Longqing's team trapped? The forest is vast, the weather is cold, and as time goes by, the hope that those people are still alive becomes increasingly slim. In Su Xia's mission system, there is a shining golden coordinate. The coordinates were issued by the Starry Sky Reward mission. They were still some distance away from him and were the location where the spaceship's prize cabin crashed. During this time, he was not only searching for people in Dragon City, but also close to the prize cabin. Gula Gula, next to him. Sun Lang drank the vegetable soup in big gulps, taking the small bugs in the soup into his stomach. Then he touched his stomach, put down the soup bowl, and felt full with satisfaction. Su Xia simply ate two pieces of hot, dry meat without much appetite. In this forest, there are currently four forces coming to rescue. They were Su Xia, Shur Sishi's team, the tavern killer, and the search and rescue team sent by Longcheng headquarters. Of course, Shur Sishi and Longcheng headquarters can be regarded as the same force, but they have not met yet and entered the forest from different locations. Su Xia was studying the map when she suddenly heard a slight sound. Click! The sound was almost inaudible. And Sun Lang, who was chewing dried meat on the side, didn't notice it because the sound of him chewing food interfered with his hearing. It was as if some small animal had accidentally stepped on a small piece of dead leaf. Su Xia immediately increased her vigilance. This was not the outskirts. It was already deep into the alien plant area. There were not many native plants left in the surrounding area. And the animals were almost extinct. It's possible that someone is approaching them in the dark. The voice came from his right side. Su Xia immediately used the skill. I have falsehood. Her eyes were deep. And the world in front of her eyes changed instantly. Turning into layer after layer of almost black and white structure diagrams. The last draw where she defeated Enlan gave Su Xia a skill evolution. The I have falsehood. 
happened to be selected at that time. And it took 72 hours to slowly evolve. Today, evolution is over. After using the skill, what he saw was no longer the world on the surface. Next to her, Sun Lang's outer clothes, inner clothes, skin, bones, internal organs, etc., appeared clearly in Su Xia's eyes. It was clearer than the X-ray film. Even the tattoos on the skin could be clearly seen. Weakness 1, knee, hit by a hidden arrow two weeks ago. Weakness 2, the fibula of the left calf, which was bitten off by a monster in a close combat with a monster in the wilderness three days ago. Weakness 3, left calf tibia. The eyes after evolution have more detailed information than before evolution. This time, even the causes of weaknesses can be analyzed. Su Xia could see that there were several gaps on Sun Lang's calf bones that had not yet completely healed. As a fourth level creature, this guy should carry a batch of healing potions with him to ensure that his injuries can be healed as soon as possible. But he left these gaps. Is it to use pain to keep himself awake? Su Xia glanced briefly, and then moved her gaze to the right. In the trees on the right, every dead branch, every leaf, and even some small mutated animals hidden under the humus appeared in his field of vision in special forms. As expected, on a big tree very close to them, there was a figure lurking quietly. Name, Chong Ruffling. Race, Human Race. Faction, Neutral Camp Zero Point Tavern. Psychic Level, 4.5. TNN Particle Level, Level 27. Psychic Talent, Walking in the Dark. Character Description, A Killer Walking in the Night. He does things neatly and swiftly. Coming and going like the wind. He is like the spokesperson of darkness. He uses his psychic talents to the extreme. He is powerful and likes to challenge the strong. He has sneak attack more than one mechanical clan city lord. Best friends with tavern member, Sun Lang. Walking in the dark? This talent is familiar. Su Xia remembered that Yemo also had this kind of talent. When they first met, Yemo was standing in the bushes beside the road. But Su Xia didn't notice it at all. This kind of talent is considered to be the top one. And it can give psychic creatures a huge advantage in certain aspects. Far surpassing creatures of the same level. Seeing the line. Likes to challenge the strong. In the character description, Su Xia probably knew what this person wanted to do. As Sun Lang's friend, he probably didn't come with any ill intentions. In Su Xia's eyes, this man's weakness also appeared. Weakness 1, right wrist. Inhaled hallucinatory gas five hours ago. Fell into a valley while wandering in confusion. Broke the right wrist. Suffered multiple injuries all over the body. Woke up in severe pain. Weakness 2, tailbone. The tailbone was shattered during the fall. Weakness 3, left eye. The left eye is corroded by venom. Vision decreases. And a large black area appears in the eye. Weakness 4, left knee. This guy is quite unlucky. His eyes were corroded by the venom of the man-eating tree. And he fell into the valley due to the poisonous gas of the psychedelic soul grass. Leading injuries all over his body. In the picture provided by the eye of falsehood to Su Xia. There is not much about this person who is complete. Even though he was hurt like this. He still wanted to challenge him. Attack intent detected. The opponent's muscles and skin are tense. His expression is focused. A fifth level psychic weapon appears in his hand. And his heartbeat speeds up slightly. The eye of falsehood marked a more fatal point. Which was a dagger. The moment after this prompt appeared. Chang Rafung. Who was hiding in the shadow immediately launched an attack. The speed was as fast as a bolt of lightning. In the blink of an eye, he crossed a distance of more than 10 meters. A ghostly figure appeared on Su Xia's right side. The sharp dagger is almost reaching Su Xia's neck. But at this moment, there was only a ding sound. Sparks flew everywhere. Two fifth-level psychic weapons collided in the air. And the terrifying psychic energy erupted formed an energy shock wave visible to the naked eye. Fallen leaves were flying all around and branches were dancing wildly as if a hurricane was blowing. Su Xia held the skeleton sword with a deep gaze. After blocking Chong Rufing's sneak attack, she took the initiative to close the distance. The sharp blade passed across the edge of the dagger, making a harsh sound. A flash of surprise flashed through Chong Rufing's heart. He failed to hit the target and immediately planned to retreat. But Su Xia didn't give him this chance and directly used psychic crushing and psychic blasting, shattering the psychic shield in front of Chong Rufung with a bang causing chaos in the psychic energy in his body. Commander, wait, it's one of our own. Sun Lang, who was next to him, had already recognized the person and shouted hurriedly. But Su Xia seemed to be unheard of. She was extremely fast, with a long sword in one hand and a scabbard in the other. 
The weirdly curved insect bone sword of the skeleton sword stuck the dagger in Chan Rufing's hand, preventing him from getting away. At the same time, the thick scabbard hit the weak spot provided by the Eye of Illusion. The spiritual energy in Chan Rufing's body was still in chaos, and the rhythm of attack and retreat was completely disrupted. He could hardly even fight back and had to retreat and block at the same time. Snapped! The scabbard of the skeleton sword hit his unhealed right wrist violently, causing him a burst of pain. He was delayed for a moment when blocking, and the next moment the scabbard hit his left knee. A click. The already injured kneecap cracked again. Chong Ruffin lost his balance and fell to the ground, and the dagger in his hand fell off. Su Xiao was holding a long sword. The blade pointed directly at his neck. The battle between psychic creatures can be decided in an instant. This is especially true among killers. Your injury has not healed. It is not a rational choice to challenge me at this time. Su Xia turned her hand and sheathed the sword with a graceful movement. The long sword was sheathed, and the cold murderous intention disappeared. As expected of the legendary commander Bei Feng, Chong Ruffeng smiled ashamedly and did not mention the injury. There was admiration in his voice. If he couldn't beat him, he couldn't beat him. There was nothing to say. Fighting is never fair. And it's not a fight. Both parties can't remain at their peak. Not to mention that he himself is the one who makes the sneak attack. He didn't ask how Su Xia knew where he was injured. Everyone has secrets. Chong Rafang, a member of Lingin Tavern, received a mission yesterday to come to this area to search for the missing team in Dragon City. He began to introduce himself. Commander, please don't blame. I like to challenge powerful creatures. You are in my eyes, he is a strong man. Well, get up. The reason why Su Xia didn't stop just now was because she wanted to defeat him as quickly as possible. Good. Chong Ruffin reluctantly stood up, gritted his teeth, and endured the pain, limped to the bonfire, and sat down. Sun Lang spoke again at this time and introduced Chong Ruffin to Su Xia again, saying that the two of them were good friends. We have carried guns together, passed through windows together, and shared our filth together. A lifelong friendship. It will be much easier to discuss things after a fight and recognize each other's strengths. Chong Ruffin sighed and said, Commander, a person like you will be a guest wherever he goes. Resources are scarce in the wilderness. Have you ever thought about going to a place with better resources? The implication is that he feels that Su Xia's resistance behavior has no future at all. And the machine race is too powerful. Rather than moving forward in the dark on this road with no future, it is better to find a brighter path. Such as joining a neutral force, making money from both sides, and acquiring more resources. Everyone has his own ambitions. Su Xia cut off a piece of dried meat and replied calmly. You're right. People like me probably can't understand it. Chong Ruffin smiled. Commander, is he here to save people? Um, why are you alone? Am I not a human being? Sun Lang stared. Is there something wrong with your eyes? Chong Ruffin shook his head hurriedly. I mean, the commander should lead a team. After all, he is the leader of the Oasis camp. Dragon City did not send a message to the Oasis camp. I noticed something unusual and came here myself. Su Xia glanced at him and then said to Sun Lang, There is indeed something wrong with his eyes. He can see with his left eye. There aren't many things. Huh? Sun Lang looked puzzled, stared at Chong Ruffin carefully, and asked, What's wrong with your eyes? Chong Ruffin smiled bitterly and said, While I was resting, I accidentally splashed the juice of a strange plant. I have to find a master pharmacist to see if I can save it after I go back. Is it a man-eating tree? Sun Lang thought immediately, but he had a confidentiality agreement with Su Xia and could not reveal information about alien plants. He looked at Su Xia and asked, Commander, can his eyes be saved? Su Xia nodded. If you can still see things, you can be saved. Chong Ruffin felt happy and hurriedly asked, Commander, what should I do? Have you ever used a healing potion? I have used it. I have used several fourth level healing potions. Chong Ruffin nodded repeatedly. But the effect is not ideal. The injuries in other parts of the body heal very quickly. Except for the eyes. It needs to be paired with several special antidotes. You are lucky today. I just have it. With that said, Su Xia threw out several potions of different sizes and colors. One is a potion recorded in the Interstellar Encyclopedia. And the other two are general antidotes he prepared. The formula was figured out by himself in the past two days. Although it is only a third level potion. His father praised it. A few words. The pharmacist's experience book gave Su Xia rich experience. Which has allowed him to catch up with the brothers Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu in many fields. 
with just a little bit of accumulation now. He can become a fourth level pharmacist. First drink these two universal antidotes. And then drink this blue one. Su Xia pointed to Chan Rafeng. Then drop this medicine into your eyes. Both eyes. And then give it to the left wear an eye patch and take it off every two hours to reinstill eye drops. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Commander. Seeing these potions, Chan Rafeng felt excited. For a killer like him, nothing is more important than normal vision. In the past, he would not completely trust someone like Su Xia, whom he had just met. But he had heard of countless legendary deeds of Su Xia and could see the trust in his good friend Sun Lang. Gula Gula. Chong Ruffing did not hesitate. Followed Su Xia's instructions. Drank the potion in large gulps. And then dropped the last potion into his eyeballs. The moment the potion dripped into his eyes, a cool feeling spread in his eyes, instantly suppressing the burning sensation caused by the poison. Chong Ruffing hurriedly put on an eye mask and put it on leaving only his right eye to observe the surroundings. He took a deep breath and said gratefully to Su Xia, Commander, if I can save this eye, if anything happens in the future, just say H. Lo, even if I am against the mechanical tribe, I will arrive immediately. Sun Lang smiled and said, That's what I told the commander. Chong Ruffing asked him, What's wrong with you? Sun Lang replied, I breathed in some hallucination poison gas and almost couldn't come back. During this trip to the jungle, Su Xia had gained a bunch of property and the favor of two level 4 psychic creatures before she even found the prize cabin. Even if you leave now, it won't be in vain. Chong Ruffing pointed to the right and said, I found the traces left by the Dragon City team there. It is about two hours away from here. I followed the guidance of the arrow carved on the tree and came to this area. See you guys here. So, you should be right to follow the arrow. Can you act now? No problem. Chong Ruffing took a few healing potions gave himself an injection of analgesics, stood up and patted his knees, indicating that the problem was not serious. As a professional killer, he had been injured much more seriously than this before. Just like that, after a short rest, a group of three people set off according to the arrow symbols left by Dragon City and continued their search. After learning that Long Chung did not send the news to the Oasis camp, both Sun Lang and Chong Ruffing felt that the people in Long Chung were too arrogant. At this time, Having more rescue teams means more hope. I didn't really believe that the managers of Dragon City were so petty in the past. No wonder the voice of counterattacking the Machine Clan has become smaller and smaller over the years. As high-level killers, the two of them knew quite a bit of information. They had also heard about the divisions and internal strife in Dragon City. It is said that someone in Dragon City is secretly planning to use the power of thunder to get rid of the current city lord and his followers and seize control of Dragon City. They also put forward a slogan called in order to resist foreign aggression. We must first pacify domestic affairs. Chapter 242 Civil War and Civil War Is there going to be a civil war in Dragon City? Previously, Su Xiao learned from Zhang Fang that there were three factions within Dragon City. They are the Academy, the City Lord, and the KU Research Institute. People from colleges and research institutes have been coveting the position of City Lord. In the past years, the three parties have often had conflicts but they have never become serious. There have been many minor frictions overtly and covertly, and the top management has been relatively restrained. In recent years, the relationship between the college and the institute has gradually eased, and there are signs of joining forces. Is this turning the tripartite confrontation into a conflict between Chu and Han? Wrong. Su Xia thought for a while. If those two factions really wanted to take action, it would be impossible for the news to spread everywhere. Even Sun Lang and Chong Ruffing. Two killers who did not belong to Long Chung knew about it. Is it fake news? Or those two factions deliberately released the news, hoping to create pressure on the city lord and force him to take action first. As long as the city lord makes the first move, the two factions will be able to take advantage of public opinion, win over the people of Dragon City, and gain a justified reputation. With Su Xia's current strength, he can barely intervene in this kind of struggle. After the matter here is settled, he plans to go to Dragon City to have a look and solve the doubt that has been buried in his heart. Is the Lord of Dragon City his old father? Soon! Su Xia glanced at the time. It was almost five o'clock in the afternoon. The pitiful sunlight in the jungle was still slowly decreasing, and darkness swallowed up the area around it. At the same time, outside Fish Scale City, which is far away from here, the smell of gunpowder between the two insect nests is getting stronger and stronger. If nothing else, there will be an extremely bloody Zerg civil war tonight. Both insect nests are frantically exploding troops. 
accumulating strength, and using various methods to win over the primitive Zerg in the wilderness that have not yet fully evolved. Su Xia's clone, the ugly little monster, has arrived here and has mixed into the group of strange primitive insects, preparing to join the powerful insect nest as a mercenary. Once the war begins, the corpses of countless insects will be the best nourishment for Su Xia's growth. At the same time, in the pharmacy in Coral City, Su Xia put down the medicine bottle in her hand, turned to her father and said, Teacher, I have something to do outside and I have to go out. There is no need to hold the door open for me tonight. Okay, go ahead and be safe. Dad waved his hand without raising his head. After receiving permission, Su Xia took action immediately and brought a lot of potions that she had refined in the past few days. After confirming that no one was following him, he walked around a few times before leaving the city and heading straight to the wilderness of Fish Scale City in the north. In the shop, Lan Bafu muttered, Brother Su's excuses for asking for leave are becoming more and more perfunctory. He used to say that he was going to help his friends fight. But now he just says that he has something to do outside. He is mysterious and mysterious all day long. I thought he was doing something big. And the masked weirdo probably wasn't as busy as him. Snapped. A piece of ointment hit Lan Bafu's forehead accurately, causing him to scream in surprise. This ointment was naturally thrown out by my father. Dad raised his small round glasses and said calmly. If you can create more than three third level formulas by yourself, you can also ask for leave like this. Oh, Lan Bafu rubbed his forehead, had nothing to say, and continued to concentrate on refining the medicine. The time came to seven o'clock in the evening. In a certain area deep in the southwest mountains, Su Xia and his party discovered another rest area for the Dragon City team. This area has left a lot of traces of human activities, including campfire ashes, tent poles, food packages, beast bones, etc. The people in Dragon City are consciously saving dry food and hunting mutant animals in this jungle to satisfy their hunger, which shows that they have prepared to be trapped for a long time. But there are really too few mutant animals that can be eaten here. Most of the animals are blocked out by these killer plants. Bloody bandages. Someone is hurt. The wounded are undoubtedly a huge burden to a trapped team. Fortunately, the members of the Dragon City team have a set of conventional exoskeleton power which allows them to lift heavy objects. On the trunk of a big tree, Su Xia made something else. Splattered human blood. He touched the rough tree trunk and observed carefully, with a serious look on his face. On the trunk of the tree, there are dark brown spots of blood, similar in color to the bark. In the dark, you can't really see it unless you look carefully. The surrounding weeds were lodging, with seven deep depressions and five soil outturns. There were blood stains on some grass blades, which were signs of a fight. Su Xia squatted down slowly and found an unburned cigarette among the weeds. Only half of it burned, which means it happened suddenly. Not far from the half cigarette, there were a few dark gray pieces of clothing. Its edges are torn and torn off by force. Not far away. Those blood-stained bandages were discarded carelessly. The situation at that time may have been a bit chaotic. The fighting area was not large, indicating that the person who started the fight was quickly stopped and was not strong enough. The people in Dragon City probably didn't intend to rest here, but the sudden attack forced them to stop. Although there is no unity internally, we would not take action under such circumstances. It is very likely that someone is delirious. Judging from the on-site environment, the situation of the trap team is not optimistic. This jungle is filled with all kinds of poisonous mist, and you will get caught if you are not careful. Even if you leave the poisonous fog area and barely wake up without an antidote, you may still feel dizzy, nauseous, and generally uncomfortable for a long time. There are two dragon scale marks. One of them still has an X symbol in the middle to indicate a dilemma, and the other has an S symbol to indicate someone is injured. On a stone, Su Xia found traces left by Dragon City. There are three consecutive S marks in the second inverted triangle dragon scale mark, which means that the injury is quite serious and urgent treatment is needed. Sun Lang and Sun Lang had taken over the mission of Dragon City before, so they were no strangers to this mark. Su Xia learned about it from Zhang Fang. Commander, there are several arrow symbols here, all pointing over there. Continue moving forward? Both of them subconsciously regarded Su Xia as their backbone and asked for his opinion. Su Xia nodded. Well, pay attention to your surroundings. As time passed, the jungle gradually became colder and the light became less and less. In the end, only Su Xia's mecha was left as the lighting source. During the exploration, Sun Lang said with a hint of envy. 
It's convenient to have a mecha. It's equivalent to carrying a backup energy source with you. Susia asked him. With your financial resources, it should be no problem to customize a fourth level mecha. Right. It's not a matter of money. I'm not coordinated with my hands and feet. Sun Lang lamented. Commander, driving a mecha also requires talent. I can't use the mecha flexibly at all. Every time I try, I am in a hurry. In the eyes of the enemy, it's a moving target inside. So it's better not to wear it. Maybe the general system doesn't match you well. Su Xia thought for a moment and said, You can find a professional mechanical team. Tell them all your requirements and cooperate with them in stage testing so that they can create a set of foolproof systems and adaptive mechas that you can use. Hearing this, Chong Ruffin on the side smiled and said, He doesn't have the patience to cooperate with the test. He is born with a temper that can't sit still. The three of them talked as they walked, giving the dark and cold jungle a little more life. When the time came to nine o'clock in the evening, I finally made a new discovery. Another body. This was a headless corpse. With everything above the neck missing. And the surrounding dead branches and leaves were covered with broken brains and blood clots. The scene looks very scary. And the dark and bloody scenes give people the feeling of a restricted horror film. Something's wrong. This guy was shot in the head. Plants can't do that. Sun Lang squatted down to check. The clothes he was wearing looked familiar. He was also one of the fourth level creatures who drank in the tavern yesterday. I've met him. Yes, I remember him too. Although the two of them did not know the specific identity of the corpse. They both had an impression of the clothes and remembered some of the things the man said while chatting with others while drinking yesterday. If I remember correctly, this person should be the only level four creature in a small city in the northwest. Not one shot, but two shots. Su Xia's eyes were calm, and she noticed that there were ripple-like fragmentation marks on the trunks of the surrounding trees. If the psychic shield is suddenly shattered, it will leave such energy ripples around it after exploding. The first shot shattered its psychic shield, and the second shot shattered the head. The interval between the two shots must be extremely short, so that even a fourth-level killer has no time to react. At that time, the deceased psychic shield was on, indicating that he was conscious and not affected by the poisonous gas. The person who secretly took action also knew this. But he still took action. That person should be sure to kill him. After all, if he misses, it means he will become an enemy of a high-level killer. Sun Lang and Chong Ruffin were already very strong. But they were not completely sure that they could kill a cautious killer of the same level with just two shots. Could it be that the fifth-level creature from the Dragon City team took action? But they are here to save people. And the possibility of conflict with the Dragon City team is not high. It can't be a plant anyway. There is no pea shooter here after all. Unless. Is there another unknown force in this jungle? At this moment, Su Xia found a tiny metal piece under a blood-stained dead leaf, which was no bigger than a normal ant. A string of data appeared in front of her eyes. Psychic Concussion Bullet, a product of Warrock Company. The design refers to early ground-penetrating bombs. A bullet is divided into two parts, the armor-breaking part and the core part. The armor-breaking part destroys the enemy's defense and the core part kill the enemy. This kind of bullet is specially designed for psychic creatures and has been widely praised since its launch. Su Xia's guess was wrong. It was not two bullets, but one. And it's a bullet developed by an alien technology company. Orlock again. A company that seems to specialize in these practical gadgets. On this planet, Su Xia already knew that the only ones who had in-depth contact with alien civilization were himself and Wang Tung. The mechanical race may also be considered. But Wang Tung was still clamoring in the town outside Coral City. And if the machine tribe got the news, they would definitely come with great fanfare. Something's wrong. All the property on this man's body is still there. The other party just wants to kill him. Not for money. That's not the way of a killer. On this man's body, Sun Lang and Chong Ruffing took out a large pile of cash and several bank cards. Seeing the cash, Su Xia was basically sure. It is the counterattack force of the spacecraft wreckage. Nearby, there should be a small piece of wreckage of a fallen spacecraft. The AI in the wreckage controlled some kind of alien weapon and killed the killer in front of him. But there is still some distance between this place and the prize cabin crash site marked on the mission. Moreover, according to the arrow, people from the Dragon City team had also passed through this area. Why were there no bodies left behind? Both of you, please pay attention. The other party is also capable of killing you. Su Xia stepped forward and warned. Commander. Is it true? Sun Lang was stunned and thought of that possibility. 
Su Xian nodded slightly to him, which was self-evident. Chong Ruffin was still a little confused and didn't know anything about alien creatures. He saw that Su Xia had conjured a small silver-white hollow metal ball from somewhere. Like magic, the ball emitted a soft silver-white light in his hand. Wait a moment. Su Xia activated the Eye of Illusion, looked through the dark area ahead, and saw an extremely far place. Sun Lang and Chong Ruffin remained vigilant. Both activated their psychic shields and stood on both sides of Su Xia's mecha. Not long after, a small thing less than half a person's height appeared in Su Xia's field of vision. It was a mechanical creature. Space repair robot, a product of Aura Company. It can withstand high temperatures and extremely low temperatures. Is suitable for space operations. And is carried on many long-distance spacecraft. This robot seems to have undergone transformation. Different from its universal appearance. One mechanical arm has been removed and replaced with a psychic sniper rifle. Danger level, high. Receive signal from the robot. Friendly signal. Determining your identity. Not long after. Sun Lang and Chong Ruffin also discovered the robot. When they saw the black muzzle on the robot's left arm, the two became extremely vigilant. They took out their long-range enemy weapons and used Su Xia's mecha as cover. What is that? Mechanical clan? Chong Ruffin looked ugly. Be prepared. It doesn't look easy to deal with. That thing. It seems that it was attracted by the commander's ball? Sun Lang glanced at the glowing ball in Su Xia's hand, but was not sure. Maybe not the enemy. Sun Lang narrowed his eyes and whispered. What did you say? Chong Ruffung was stunned. What do you mean? Isn't that from the mechanical tribe? Brother Chong, you will find out later. Sun Lang found that Su Xia's expression was very calm. With Su Xia's keen observation, it was impossible not to see the little robot. He believed in Su Xia. Under the gaze of the two people, the small robot slowly approached and gradually came to a range of less than 20 meters. At this distance, even a novice can hit the enemy with a shot if he is lucky. Captain? The little robot did not fire. The muzzle of the gun slowly lowered and asked Su Xia. How? Su Xia did not answer directly, but asked. The little robot nodded immediately and said, It's me. It seems that the captain has discovered the rest of me. As I thought, the person controlling this little guy is Hal. The spacecraft's AI. When the spacecraft crashed, it split into countless parts each part having an independent HAL consciousness. Every HAL consciousness was trying to protect the cabin he was in, waiting silently for the rescue team. He had been waiting for more than 20 years. Captain, there is also this robot. Hearing the conversation between Su Xia and Hare, Chong Ruffin was stunned for a moment, recalling the scenes he experienced during this period. The captain, Su Xia who appeared here alone. The missing Dragon City Exploration Team. These unexplained strange plants. Could it be? He suddenly trembled and thought of an incredible possibility. Commander Beifong is actually an undercover agent sent by aliens to infiltrate this planet? Chapter 243 Harvest God Killing Traveling with aliens? Once this strange thought occurs, it is difficult to get rid of it. Chong Ruffing patted his head and tried his best to suppress this thought. Ahead, the little robot was getting closer and closer, and the mechanical structure of its body could be seen clearly. What it uses for movement is not the humanoid paws but two triangular tracks. The middle part is square. On the rusty orange metal body, there are two big eyes like telescopes. If you ignore the left arm that was transformed into a psychic weapon, it actually looks a bit cute. Captain, have you contacted the Starry Sky Rescue Team? This HAL and the HAL in the Oasis camp cannot be contacted and are separated. So the current specific situation is not clear. No. The weapons you use seem to be made by the Hastings family. It seems that your status on this planet is not low. Hal noticed the skeleton sword in Su Xia's hand and made an accurate judgment. Su Xia asked, Why do you want to kill this person? He discovered the location of the spacecraft and tried to force the door many times. Hal replied, After the attempts were fruitless, he turned around and left. I speculate that he may inform the rest of the spacecraft's location or bring more powerful tools. Breach according to Protocol 1. I had to protect the safety of the crew so I had to kill him. Well, you did a good job. The guy whose head was shot on the ground didn't know whether he was lucky or unlucky. It is impossible for an ordinary person to have contact with an alien civilization in his lifetime. And not only did he have contact, he also died at the hands of an alien civilization. From this point of view, without identity recognition, anyone may be killed by the spacecraft's counterattack force. So how did Wang Tung do it? Perhaps the wreckage he found no longer had the power to fight back. 
How many of these psychic shock bullets do you have? Su Xia asked Hal. Not many. Only nine boxes left. Hal replied. The bullets and the modified psychic weapon in my hand were all found in the damage control room. Logically speaking, this kind of weapon should not be placed in the damage control room. Later, I retrieved the surveillance data and found out that it was the personal cargo of a crew member, perhaps intending to trade with the indigenous people of a certain planet. Take us to see it. Captain, can you trust these two? You can trust them. Su Xian nodded. They are my friends. They know the situation in this area. Okay. Please follow me. The little Hal robot led the way. Neither too fast nor too slow. Its rusty tracks running smoothly through the jungle. Although the exchange between Su Xia and him was brief. It had already left a lot of doubts in the hearts of the other two people. Fortunately for Sun Lang. After all, he had already learned about the alien spacecraft from Su Xia. But he still wanted to know what terms such as Hastings family and Psychic Shock Bullet represented. Chong Ruffin was completely confused. He is still struggling with the question of whether Su Xia is an alien spy. How? I'm looking for a team of about a hundred people. On the way to the wreckage, Su Xia continued to ask. According to the marks they left, they may have passed through this area. Have you seen it? Yes. A very fast group of people. Hal's answer gave the rescue incident a new turn. He waved his small robot hand and said, Just last night, at 9.46, a group of people wearing simple exoskeleton armor passed by. More than ten of them were in a coma. They looked not in good condition. I think they were inhaled. There are still two people wearing bandages because of too much poison gas. According to Hal's description, the Dragon City team was busy on the road and did not search the area carefully at all. If they could stop and search carefully, they would probably be able to find the wreckage of the spacecraft here. According to speculation, they wanted to get out of this jungle as soon as possible. But they were going in the wrong direction, and instead, they kept going deeper. When they passed by, I detected a strong psychic wave. The old man leading the team should be a fifth-level psychic creature. In fact, he left the team and had a greater chance of escaping alone. The people in his team, many of them, are too weak and are pure liabilities. The old man Hal mentioned was probably the old Dean Zhang Fong mentioned. Level 5 creatures really shouldn't be trapped here. Su Xiao looked around and asked, Hal, are you sowing these plants over the years? Yes, I have to do this for the safety of the surviving crew. No wonder there are so many. Not only this me, but also the other wreckage of me in this forest. And together, we control thousands of repair robots that have been seeding the jungle over the years. Hal spoke slowly, explaining the origins of the murderous forest and mentioning another piece of debris. The spacecraft exploded and disintegrated in the air, and two larger pieces of debris fell into this area. One of the wreckage is here, and the other remains is still deep in the forest, which is the prize cabin where Su Xia's mission marked the location. Both pieces of wreckage contain dormant surviving crew members. To protect them, Hal, the intelligence system in the wreckage, took action. The two wrecks were not connected at the time, and both halls were unaware of each other's existence and simply took the same actions. They were all connected to the repair system of the spacecraft, controlled a large number of repair robots in the damage control cabin, and controlled these small robots to remove all the plant seeds from the cultivation cabin, and then left the spacecraft to sow seeds. A few days later, two robots controlled by Hal suddenly discovered each other. They exchanged data, learned about each other's situation, and began to divide work and cooperate, each sowing half of the area. After more than 20 years of hard work, the alien plants gradually formed their current scale. I see. Su Xia thought of Hal in the Oasis camp. If there were repair robots in the wreckage of the spaceship, Hal would probably do the same thing and turn the area of the Oasis camp into a terrifying man-eating forest. Fortunately, the wreckage was basically living cabins. Another piece of debris. Is it far from here? It's not far. Captain, if you go in this direction at your speed, you can arrive there tomorrow night. Hal answered as he walked, leading the three of them to a swamp area. This area is very dark. The water is turbid, and there are ripples from time to time, as if there are some terrifying creatures swimming underwater. There are a lot of dead trees in the swamp. Sun Lang squinted his eyes, and looked into the dark depths of the swamp. Remembering the crack in the oasis camp that Su Xia mentioned, he asked, Alien robot, is the entrance to the spaceship underground? No. Native, the entrance to the ship is beside you. Huh? Sun Lang raised his eyebrows. There were only a few big trees hanging with countless vines beside him. This kind of vine 
he had heard from Su Xia before, was poisonous on the surface and very sticky, making it difficult to clean off once it got on it. If you don't look carefully, these vines are fundamentally different from other vines. Next, no movement was seen from Hal. The gray-black dry vines slowly separated to the left and right sides, like a door curtain, revealing several large trees inside. In the center surrounded by several large trees, in the area covered with dead leaves, a click sounded. Immediately afterwards, a circular alloy hatch slowly opened, and the dead leaves on the hatch rustled down, revealing a dark red light inside. Like the entrance to purgatory, Hal said, Not long ago, that man came to the swamp. He had a very special talent and special perception ability. He discovered the existence of the spacecraft and tried to break in the door many times. There are still traces of him on the hatch. Su Xia stepped forward, looked carefully, and saw many small scratches on the outside of the hatch. After the man left, he covered the hatch with a lot of dead leaves, probably to prevent others from discovering it. But as soon as he walked a certain distance, he was shot in the head by Hal from behind. Su Xia said, You should get rid of that body. Otherwise someone will seriously explore this area after discovering the body. Yes, Captain is right. How many crew members are still alive here? There are three more people, Hal replied. They are all engineers in the damage control room of the spacecraft. If you want, you can let them wake up now. Forget it. Let them sleep first and take us in to take a look. Yes, Hal was the first to go in grabbing the hatch with his metal right arm, and slowly stretched his right arm, section by section, to enter the cabin. Su Xia stood at the cabin door and took a look, then jumped directly. Sun Lang was a little excited. After all, it was his first contact with alien civilization. He jumped down without thinking. After entering, he looked around like a curious baby. Afterwards, Chong Ruffin also jumped down with some vigilance. After all three people jumped down, the hatch above slowly closed isolating the cabin from the outside world. Chong Ruffin raised his head and glanced at the closed hatch. A trace of worry flashed in his eyes, but he still felt uneasy. What if Su Xia is really an alien? And what if they are captured and dissected? Psychic creatures are the best test subjects. Captain, the location we are in now is an airlock. Hal began to introduce. The door you came in was originally open to space. This is a cabin that balances the air pressure and needs to be used for space operations. The human crew will use it, but the mechanical crew will not. I know. Let's go inside and have a look. Good. Hal stretched out his robotic arm and manually opened the inner hatch. After the hatch opened, a long silver-gray metal corridor appeared in front of the three of them, with dark red lights on both sides of the corridor. There are five or six hatches on each side of the corridor, leading to other cabins with different functions. But all hatches are currently closed. Hal drove out of the airlock, entered the corridor, and opened the first door on the left side of the corridor. Captain, this is one of the damage control compartments of the spacecraft. This is where I found weapons and bullets. Damage control room, as the name implies, is damage control, commonly found on submarines or ships. During World War II, Aramco's Krypton Gold damage control was quite famous, and it could repair a semi-dead aircraft carrier in three days. Unfortunately, that is all in the past tense. In today's army, it takes four or five days to put out a fire on a battleship. And the good man Richard was forced to burn into the familiar Richard. However, now all the countries on the other side of the earth are in ruins. The armies of many countries have been reduced to rubbish by the perennial security wars. They squeeze out new products like toothpaste every year. It is not just Ami's family that is rotten. Su Xiao walked to the door of the damage control cabin. And the lights in the cabin all turned on. A soft white light that was not dazzling. The four walls inside the cabin are still silver gray, giving it a sense of indifference unique to future technology. In the cabin, tools for repair, fire extinguishing, maintenance, etc. are fixed, as well as various operating manuals, which can take care of almost all facilities and equipment on the spacecraft, such as engine power, conventional energy, circulation systems, life support equipment, etc. There are so many different things at first glance. Even some of the parts needed to repair weapons can be found here. But there really shouldn't be any finished weapons here. This is a psychic concussion bullet. A bullet that combines the advantages of kinetic energy weapons and energy weapons. Each shot is equivalent to a compressed psychic bomb. But the energy when it explodes is more concentrated and more targeted than ordinary psychic bombs. Defense tool. Hal knew what Su Xiao wanted to see. 
and immediately dragged a box of bullets to Su Xia. In this damage control cabin, there are hundreds of small robots that have not yet been activated. They are all fixed to the surrounding walls, and their appearance is almost the same as the one controlled by Hal. They all look new, and the left arm has not been transformed into a weapon. Hal took off another gray-black sniper rifle and said, With this special sniper rifle, if you are lucky, you can kill ordinary psychic creatures with one shot, such as the two people behind you. Captain. Um. Su Xia picked up the sniper rifle. It felt heavy and weighty. It felt heavy even to him. But it would probably be difficult for ordinary people. Name, bringing the dead. Alias, god-killing spear. Level, level 5 psionic weapon. Description, from the starry sky. A product of Warrock Company. Due to too many products of the same type. The gun received a mediocre response when it first came out. It was too bulky. Inconvenient to carry. Expensive. Etc. Which all made it eclipsed by similar products. Later, a member of a private space exploration team used this weapon to snipe and kill a god. On a low-level civilized planet. He killed a god with a mortal body. Making the gun famous in one battle. Note, on that low-level planet. The so-called god is actually just a fifth-level psychic creature with the psychic talent of controlling fire. He brutally enslaves the entire planet's creatures to build a giant temple for him. God-killing spear. This name is so domineering. As Su Xia had guessed before, many gods in lower civilizations are actually mortals who control spiritual power. Then, the gods, in Dr. Agar's notes, may just be more powerful creatures. It's good to be able to snipe and kill level 5 creatures. Su Xia gently stroked the sniper rifle. The barrel was delicate and cold. Ever since Mercer, the fifth level boss, appeared, he no longer dared to wander around the Coral City. The appearance of this gun made his strength rise to another level. Next, when we go to Dragon City, we will also have to face level 5 creatures. The lack of her own strength has always restricted Su Xia's actions. If he is strong enough and has a powerful army, then where on this planet can he go? Do whatever you want. Behind Su Xia, Chong Ruffin was a little confused again after hearing Hare's detailed introduction. He asked tentatively, Commander, did you become the captain of this spaceship by chance? Yes. How else could I become one? Su Xia smiled, turned to look at Chong Ruffeng. I can't be an alien. Right? This? Chong Ruffeng's tone paused. Su Xia could tell what this guy was thinking at a glance and explained with a smile. Aliens have the ability to travel between stars. If they really want to conquer this planet, there is no need to send undercover agents in. Chapter 244 Big Harvest Evolution begins. In the wreckage of the Oasis camp, the two aliens Su Xia saw were no different from the indigenous people of this planet. Of course, perhaps due to years of sleeping, their faces look a little swollen. Knowing that he had made a joke, Chan Ruffin scratched his head in embarrassment and abruptly changed the subject. Can this spaceship still fly? No. But if we can find a complete survey ship, there may be a chance to leave this planet. Hal here gave the same answer as Hal in the Oasis camp. Originally, there were 12 small survey ships on this spaceship. Those survey ships are not here. I don't know where they crashed. As long as there is still one intact, the technology on it can bring this planet into the starry sky age. In this damage control room, hundreds of fixed small repair robots have remained intact. So it is possible that those survey ships are still intact. What's this? Sun Lang curiously picked up a red irregular ball, which looked similar to an apple and exuded a refreshing fragrance. It seems to be some kind of food. Hal replied indifferently. One glow bomb can send all of us to the sky. Your thumb is on the activation button. Huh? Sun Lang's face trembled. His hand shook, and he almost lost his grip on the bomb. He carefully put the bomb back into the box, rubbed his hands, shrank his neck, and did not dare to touch it again. Beside it, there are several such silver-gray metal boxes. Twelve bombs were placed in each box. Su Xiao looked over, and a string of data suddenly appeared in front of her eyes. Name, Glow Bomb. Alias, Light of Heaven. Type, One-Time Consumption Weapon. Level, Level 5. Description, From the Starry Sky. A product of Warrock Company. One second before the explosion. This kind of bomb will burst out with a violent bright light. Hence the name Floating Bomb. According to many soldiers who survived the battlefield, when they saw the bomb detonating in the distance, they thought they saw the guiding light from heaven. So the bomb was also called the Light of Heaven. Do not eat. Please keep it out of reach of children. Do not place in the pile of apples. 
another powerful weapon. Exactly what Su Xia needs now. Even if you can't open the prize compartment in the end. The trip is already worth it. Behind these boxes of bombs, more than a dozen weapons of different shapes hung on the silver gray wall. It was from here that he took off the sniper rifle just now. Su Xia saw a familiar weapon at a glance. Interstellar Pioneer. This is the first weapon he uses in the training system. This gun is just an ordinary kinetic weapon. But because it fought with the generals of the 7th Empire and expanded its territory, it was loved by many soldiers and collectors in the Empire. In addition to this gun, more than 10 other weapons are psychic weapons. In the corner, there are several other boxes of bombs similar to the floating bombs, but with different colors. Once exploded, it would be enough to kill Su Xiao and the others dozens of times. What is this? Sun Lang pointed at a small black box and did not dare to touch it. He just asked, There can't be a bomb in it. Right? Well, you guessed it right. Hal responded indifferently. Huh? Sun Lang shuddered and took two steps back. Su Xia turned around and looked over. Just on the side of the box where the floating bombs are stored. A small metal shelf is fixed. There are six identical black boxes on the shelves of Nuota. The fronts are about the same size as ordinary textbooks. And there is a handle on them that can be carried. The deep black exudes a dangerous aura. Name, Sound of Destruction. Alias, Small City Restart Bomb. Type, One-Time Consumption Weapon. Grade, No Grade. Description, From the Starry Sky. A product of Warrock Company. The radius of destruction exceeds 5 kilometers. And the creatures in the center of the explosion are directly evaporated, leaving no bones left. The Imperial Army used this weapon when dealing with rebels. It is said that the horrific explosion could be heard hundreds of kilometers away. Hence the name, Sound of Destruction. If you think this weapon is already very powerful, then you must have never seen the stronger, Light of Destruction, and Planet Destroyer. Seeing this description, Su Xia felt a little happy. Isn't this similar to the small nuclear weapons on the other side of the earth? In a small-scale war, this thing can decide the outcome in one fell swoop. But, it suddenly occurred to him that there seemed to be no place on this planet where such a weapon could be used. The bases of the machine race are all in human cities. Mixed with the human race. Even if they counterattack in the future and take back the cities one by one, they can only do it step by step. And it is impossible to throw this thing into human cities. In short, this kind of weapon can be regarded as a backup weapon for deterrence. It is better to have it than not to have it. Hal said, This kind of weapon cannot be carried on ordinary ships. Only the Imperial Military Transport spacecraft can carry it. The surveillance shows that it was carried privately by two engineers on the ship. I guess they may want to talk to some low-level civilizations. People make deals. Well, it's not impossible. This kind of weapon, in ancient times, was like a divine punishment. When two cold weapon troops were facing each other from a distance, one of them suddenly waved his hand, as if summoning a meteorite, and asked the aliens above to throw this thing into the enemy's base camp behind. The scene was simply unimaginable. In the damage control room, apart from these things, the rest are normal tools. Thanks to these weapons, Hal has been able to protect this wreckage for more than 20 years. Sun Lang pointed to a silver white wrench and asked cautiously, What kind of bomb is this? Hal glanced at him indifferently. That's a wrench. Oh. Sun Lang breathed a sigh of relief. Finally, there was something he could pick up and read. Chong Ruffin was flipping through a thick energy cabin maintenance manual. Beside him, the manual was so thick that it could be used as a brick to hit someone. Nuota's cabin was not empty, but seemed a bit crowded. After the crash, the unfixed supplies in the entire cabin were in a mess. But Hal later slowly sorted them out. A few people just briefly understood some of the items and it was already 10 o'clock in the evening. After this damage control cabin, there are two other cabins, which are also damage control cabins. One of the cabins was used as a glove compartment. All kinds of useless things were thrown in, and you could even see a lot of tableware. In addition, in the cabin in the middle of the corridor, there are more than a dozen confinement rooms used to imprison unruly crew members. In the confinement room, crew members can watch movies, play games, read, etc. Hal said, only personal freedom is restricted, but other daily life and entertainment remain as usual. Is this also called confinement? Sun Lang clicked his tongue in surprise. Yes, don't go too far. Otherwise it will violate imperial law. Hal drove down the silver gray corridor, the triangular track slowly turning, opening several cabins at the end of the corridor. These are rest cabins where some food is stored. 
There is also a simulated cabin in this wreckage. But it was damaged in the crash. So Sun Lang and Chong Rufan cannot experience it now. Huh? I didn't expect the underground air to be quite fresh. Sun Lang stretched and then sat down in the rest cabin. From receiving the mission yesterday morning to 10 o'clock tonight, he and Chong Rufan had not rested for two days and one night. The long-term tension made them both very tired. Now that I have come to this relatively safe place, I feel a little sleepy. Su Xia briefly assessed the status of the two of them and said to Hao, Hao, get them some food, and then find a place for them to sleep for a few hours. No problem. Hao responsibly opened a cabinet in the rest cabin and used a robotic arm to take out a can. He moved slowly, placed the can on the table in front of Sun Lang and Chang Rafang, and said, this is a can of beef with a shelf life of 30 years. It can be eaten directly after opening. 30 years? Sun Lang stared, picked up the can and looked at the packaging carefully. Hal said, There are also ones with a shelf life of 50 years and 80 years. You can try them. The food reserves on this spacecraft are quite sufficient. With that said, he returned to the cabinet, took out several canned meats one after another, and handed them to the two of them. Chong Ruffing took the can and said in surprise, isn't this kid older than me? Native. How old are you? I am 31 years old. Well, the kin you're holding in your left hand is indeed bigger than you. Hal explained calmly. It was produced 35 years ago. When you were about 4 years old. I. Chong Ruffin was in a mixed mood. So he turned on the heating device that came with the can and let it heat up slowly. Hal followed Su Xia's orders seriously and got them some other food. Shrunk vegetables. Compressed dry food beverage granules, etc. The taste is not very good, but they can barely be called rich. There are actually cans on Earth with a shelf life of several decades, which are loved by many doomsday enthusiasts. Su Xia leaned against the door, holding a copy of Interstellar Encyclopedia in her hand. He seemed to be reading a book, but his thoughts had already drifted to the distant Fish Scale City. In the wilderness outside Fish Scale City, the horn of war is about to sound. Boom! A thunder flashed across the sky, lighting up the night sky in an instant. This night, the sky above this wilderness was covered with clouds. Thunder was rumbling. Strong winds were flying through the grass and dead trees, and a heavy rain was brewing. The preparations for the two insect nests have reached the final stage. Countless insects on the ground are roaring to the sky, and the dense army of insects has no end in sight. Su Xia's ugly clone had already blended into the stronger insect nest together with countless primitive insects that had not yet fully evolved. His. Beside him, a primitive insect spat out a message, with muddy saliva flowing from the corner of its mouth. Su Xia herself just squatted on the ground and seemed to be doing nothing. But his deformed feet have already produced more than a dozen dark red fine nutrient tubes, which are connected to the flesh and blood nutrient network covering the entire insect nest, secretly absorbing nutrients. At the same time, outside the two insect nests, on a hillside, the masked weirdo clone also came with a alienation filter. This clone took out the Zerg illustrated book, turned to the swift worm page in the illustrated book, turned itself into a pitifully small swift worm, and then lay dormant quietly, waiting for the two insect nests to start a war. Boom! Another thunder exploded, and the tense atmosphere was instantly shattered, as if there was a tacit understanding. The two insect nests launched attacks at the same time heading towards the other's nest. Thousands of low-level bugs, such as carrion eaters, unicorn bugs, splitters, skeleton bugs, etc., roared hoarsely and came out in staggering numbers. They joined together and moved forward crazily, like a black tide that swallowed everything. Looking down from a high altitude, two black tides are approaching at a terrifying speed on the ground, and they will collide together in a short time. Along the way, dead trees were knocked down, grass was trampled, and even some small stones were trampled to pieces. At this moment, heavy icy rain finally fell from the sky. The wind and rain were swaying. Thunder exploded, and the atmosphere of chaos and violence raged with the strong wind. Wherever the two insect hive armies passed, there was no grass, only darkness. The ugly clone is in one of the armies. Su Xia deliberately controlled it. His speed was not fast. At first, he was still in the front and middle position, and then he slowly moved closer to the edge to avoid the first wave of terrifying impact. This clone currently only has level 2 psionic power and cannot be wasted. Not long after, the two crazy black tides finally collided. Boom! Boom! 
The insects in the front row of both sides roared and collided with each other, causing their scales to shatter, their flesh and blood to burst open, and thick blood and cerebrospinal fluid to spill to the ground, instantly exaggerating the tragic atmosphere to the extreme. The insects behind didn't stop and continued to pounce on them, roaring, using teeth, claws, and sharp horns as weapons to fight crazily, killing any enemy they could see in sight. In just the blink of an eye, hundreds of insects died tragically on the spot. The blood and rainwater merged together and soon formed streams, flowing towards lower areas, forming turbid puddles one after another. Snapped! Snapped! The sharp claws of the insects crushed the puddle, causing a splash of blood. There were stumps of limbs everywhere, blood clots everywhere, and countless internal organs torn apart by sharp claws that were still steaming. Su Xia, who was on the edge, also encountered her first opponent, which was a skeleton insect with only 0.8 level of spiritual power. With a thought in Su Xia's mind, active skills such as fangs and sharp teeth, skin strengthening, steel and iron bones were instantly activated, and she used powerful jumping skills to pounce forward and open her mouth wide. Crack! He bit off the skeleton worm's neck, and hot and smelly blood exploded in his mouth. The skeleton insect hissed in pain and fell heavily to the ground. The remaining body was held tightly by Su Xia's four claws, and the sharp claws pierced into the scales. In front of Su Xia, this insect was so weak that he couldn't even resist. Su Xia activates the skill to strengthen swallowing. Tiny flesh-like nutrient tubes grew out of his limbs and plunged into the skeleton worm's wounds, absorbing its power mercilessly. It looked quite savage. However, Su Xia is not the only one who is devouring her kind on this battlefield. Not long after the battle, Insects began to bite and devour the mutilated corpses on the ground. Whether it was one's own or the opponent's, the bloody scene was more barbaric and terrifying than Su Xia's methods. Stab it! Sting it! Large chunks of flesh were torn off, dripping with blood, and swallowed by the insects. The crazy scenes were similar to the battle at the Oasis camp. These corpses are the best nutrients for their evolution. Killing and devouring. This is the only way for low-level Zerg to climb to high level. On this terrifying night, with a howling wind and swaying cold rain, countless insects roared with their lives, intertwining with nature into a symphony of blood and evolution. Chapter 245 The Potion is Released Thunder flashed in the night sky and roared continuously. Rivers of blood flowed on the ground. Roars continued, and killings continued. A swift worm lay beside the puddle where blood and rainwater gathered, sticking out its tongue and trying to lick a piece of flesh in the puddle. But at this moment, a skeleton worm next to him rushed over instantly. Click! The neck of the swift bug was bitten to pieces. It struggled wildly, with fierce eyes, trying to make a final blow with its tenacious vitality. But the skeleton insect that bit its neck was just as ferocious. It swung its sharp claws down violently, tearing apart its facial scales and eyes. Then it violently forced its upper and lower jaws, biting off its neck completely with a click. Boom! The swift bug fell to the ground. It was twitching all over, and blood was gurgling from the broken surface of its neck. Hiss. As the victor, the skeleton worm opened its mouth greedily, intending to gnaw its flesh and blood. But suddenly, another larger skeleton worm pounced over. The bloody mouth opened wide. Just one bite shattered the skull of the little skeleton worm, and the turbid blood and brain slowly flowed along the gaps between the teeth of the big skeleton worm. But before the big skeleton insect had time to enjoy it, a huge shadow enveloped its body. Boom! It was a giant god insect, and its huge and thick limbs fell down, crushing the big skeleton insect into bloody pieces. The giant god insect looked up to the sky and roared. The sound shook the earth. It was powerful and domineering, like a ferocious beast from ancient times. Its attack was unstoppable. The emergence of intermediate units represents the next stage of this bloody and cruel hive war. Low-level cannon fodder has opened the battlefield. Next, this area will become more terrifying and desperate. At the edge of the cruel battlefield, Su Xiao was jumping high, using the skill, powerful jump, and suddenly jumped on a large split insect with level 1.5 psychic power. His passive skill, Leader's Will, gives him a certain ability to intimidate these bugs, making them easier to kill. This split insect has two heads and an extremely long neck, as if it will split into two creatures at any time. At this time, both heads turned around, with fierce looks on their faces, looking at Su Xia behind them, roaring, opening their bloody mouths and rushing forward, trying to tear Su Xia into pieces. Snapped! Su Xia raised her claws 
and hit the head on the left side with one claw. Blood spattered everywhere. The scale shattered, leaving several horrific scars. The high-level advantage, coupled with the intimidation of the leader's will, directly knocked this head into confusion. Even the attack speed of the other head was slower. Su Xia's offensive continued unabated. With a ferocious momentum, she opened her mouth full of fangs and bit down on him, biting on the right side of his neck where his body was connected. The sharp teeth were like steel, tearing away all the bones, trachea, blood vessels, etc. in his neck. Bite and break. Hiss! The schizophrenia screamed hoarsely, fell heavily, and threw itself into the cold blood on the ground. Taking this opportunity, Su Xia bit off its other neck, then jumped down, stretched out its bloody claws, and tore apart the soft skin area on its abdomen that was not protected by scales. The claws reached into its bloody abdomen, grabbed the still beating heart, and squeezed it hard. The schizophrenia trembled violently and let out a final roar, completely losing its ability to resist. Only various parts of its body were still maintaining slight primitive twitching movements under the influence of distributed nerves. Su Xia used the skill, enhanced devouring, to grow small flesh-like tubes on her body, which penetrated into the insect's wound and slowly absorbed energy. After a while, the devouring ended, and Su Xia also got a reminder. You swallowed a level 1.5 psionic swift insect, and you were successfully promoted to level 2.3. Please keep up your efforts. This is already the 11th insect that Su Xia has devoured. Among these insects, the lowest has only level 0.5 psychic power, while the highest has level 1.7. The spiritual power of Su Xia's clone only grew from level 2.0 to level 2.3. Phagocytosis efficiency is too low. Although the name of the skill is Enhanced Devouring, it is not much stronger, and it is estimated that it will continue to evolve in the future. The level of his titanium particles has increased a lot. But titanium particles act on the body itself, strengthening its own strength. And the effect on humans is okay. But bugs are already known for their powerful bodies. So the effect of growth is not obvious. Continue. Su Xiao looked cold as she looked for the next target on the battlefield. Before he could find the target, his heart suddenly trembled. His body flashed. And he jumped a few meters to the right. Call out. Where he stood a second ago. A tail swept past. It's a thick beetle. This insect looks similar to a pangolin. It's just that the scales all over its body are harder. Its limbs are thicker. And its long tail covered with scales is extremely sharp. Like a long needle. Although the one that attacks Su Xia was only a low-level unit. Its spiritual power was already at level 2.5. Which was stronger than some mid-level units. When this battle is over. If it can properly digest the corpses of the same kind devoured on the battlefield. There is a high probability that it can evolve into the intermediate unit. Crasher and become a flesh and blood tank that rampages in the war. Boom! Its tail swept across again, sweeping towards Su Xia's position. Su Xia jumped again to avoid the attack. But where he was originally, a small piece of stone was shattered and splashed. The tail did not stay, but curved strangely, no longer sweeping, but stabbing Su Xia, the sharp tip flashing with cold light. Su Xia jumped away again, and was forced to retreat several times by the insect's attack. Still want to come! Su Xia snorted coldly, and then launched an attack after standing firm. The speed was extremely fast, and her limbs stepped on the dead grass and blood. Like a small lightning, the thick beetle also roared and rushed towards Su Xia. Its teeth, claws, tail, and even its thick body were all weapons he used to kill the enemy. The two sides collided and fought fiercely. Blood flowed instantly, leaving several marks on each other. On this battlefield, thousands of similar people were fighting. Su Xia and this thick beetle were just an inconspicuous part of this bloody feast. Unable to even make a single ripple. If you raise the angle of view and slowly rise, you can see that cruel and terrifying fighting fills every corner of the earth, extending to the end of the field of vision. And the black tide composed of countless insects is still coming. At the same time, Su Xia's masked stranger clone entered the scene from another direction. In the wreckage of the spaceship in the alien forest, Sun Lang and Chong Ruffin were still resting. It was safe inside the wreckage, and there was no need to fight or be vigilant. So Su Xia left all her power to this clone. He transformed into a small swift insect with an unattractive appearance, but possesses level 4.7 psychic powers. As soon as I entered the venue, I knocked over a level 2 corpse-eating insect. Crack! The head of the corpse-eating insect exploded directly, and it fell to the ground and died instantly. The corpses of insects are the best source of spiritual energy. 
But Su Xia did not collect the body directly. Firstly, it was because the body was too big and it could not be collected directly into the storage space. The second reason is because the direct disappearance of the corpse may arouse the vigilance of some high-level insects. After all, the intelligence of advanced bugs is not weaker than that of adult humans at all. Click! Su Xia tore the corpse-eating insect's abdomen, thrust her claws into the bloody abdominal cavity, tore off the glands containing the most psychic energy, and then threw the glands into the storage space. In this way, the insect's body remained in place, and nothing unusual could be seen. After doing all this, Su Xia turned her eyes and left quickly, looking for the next target. This clone is so powerful that there is no need to fight slowly like the ugly clone. As long as you see the target and kill it instantly, that's enough. You must know that in this terrifying insect nest battle, the strongest combat power on both sides is only a level 4.7 insect nest lord, which is the same level as Su Xia's current level. Stab it! He tore open the abdomen of a bug again, tore out the glands, and turned away, watching the glands in the storage space slowly increase. This feeling of adding up a little gave him a strange sense of satisfaction. This feeling is similar to playing small games before and slowly accumulating equipment and materials. Immediately after he left, some low-level insects pounced on the disemboweled corpse. Hiss! Above Su Xia's head, a hoarse long hiss suddenly sounded. Thunder flashed across the sky, and a terrifying shadow enveloped Su Xia. The shadow of the long wings was projected on the bloody ground, which was extremely terrifying and ferocious. Su Xiao looked up and saw a level 3.0 flying Zerg black wing. Last time at the Oasis camp, this kind of flying bugs caused great trouble to everyone in the camp. In the middle of the battle, even the entire craft firepower was not enough. In the end, it was Su Xiao who drove the mecha to attract the flying bugs away. Now, this bug has set its sights on him and regards him as its prey. It swooped down, its claws sharp, like an eagle catching a rabbit and descended on the ground battlefield, intending to snatch Su Xia away and tear her apart. But Su Xia's body flashed and she avoided it, causing it to miss. Then he leapt up and swung his claws. Stab it! The shark claws scratched through its fleshy wings, tearing the thin wing on its right side into two pieces, and even the small hollow bones supporting the wings were cut off. This black wing's IQ was already high. Knowing that it had offended an opponent it shouldn't have provoked. It flapped its incomplete wings desperately in an attempt to fly away and escape. But Su Xia didn't give it this chance at all. With a click, the root of its left wing was broken off. Bone stubble pierced the skin, and blood flowed out. Black wing was in pain and fell to the ground rolling around wildly, trying to throw Su Xia away. But Su Xia's claws were firmly fixed on its back, and each roll penetrated deeper into its flesh. Click! He grabbed Black Wing's spine and pulled hard, breaking the spine in his back and hot blood scattered on the ground. Blackwing finally stopped rolling and fell weakly to the ground. The same operation followed. Su Xia beat him to death, then tore open his abdominal cavity, grabbed the glands containing spiritual energy, and threw them into the storage space. The surrounding low-level insects swarmed up and snatched the flesh and blood of the black wing. With their intelligence, they wouldn't even think about it why can a low-level swift insect kill the powerful black wing? Stab it! Sting it! They were biting. Their teeth were sharp. Their mouths were full of blood. And they were devouring it with big mouthfuls. Su Xia turned around and left, continuing her journey of killing and collecting in the dense sea of insects. In the next half hour, Su Xia collected hundreds of insect glands, some of which he killed personally, and some of which he snatched directly from the remaining corpses. The thing that grabbed the most was the glands of the giant god insect. This kind of insect is so huge that even a small giant insect is comparable to a bus and a large one is like a moving hill. After each giant god insect dies, countless small insects will burrow into its abdomen and eat its flesh and blood from the inside. If you are lucky, you will find its glands. Just swallowing one is enough for one evolution. Crack! Su Xia was now in the abdominal cavity of a giant god insect, forcing herself to endure the stench and large amounts of mucus, tearing apart various intestines and intestines, tearing a turbid path, and then found its glands and tore them off. Then he immediately rushed out of his abdomen and breathed in the fresh air that smelled of blood outside. It should be enough. Let's go back and try first. Su Xia ran all the way out, rushing out of the battlefield full of killings. Her swift body was buried in the grass, and she didn't stop until she ran to the back of a small hillside. Then, he took out the alienation filter. After the last insect wave battle in the oasis camp, 
Su Xia got this reward and never used it. The workmanship of this thing is very rough. It is silver white in color and has circles on the surface. It is similar to the water tanks on the roofs of many old-fashioned hotels. There is a display screen on the front. And there are several buttons next to the display screen. Namely, insert Zerg gland. Start purification. Output psionics. Impurity release. Internal cleaning. Necrosis restart. A huge instruction manual is posted on the side. It is written above that in addition to Zerg glands. Other items containing psychic energy can also be put in. As long as they can be shattered. In addition to glands. The insect's corpse also contains a small amount of spiritual energy in its flesh. Flesh and organs. It can be thrown in after being chopped into pieces. But it is of little value and a waste of time. This is one of the reasons why Su Xia does not want the whole corpse. Snapped. Su Xia pressed the button, insert Zerg gland. The rest of the buttons light up. The entire machine activates. And the top circular lid slowly opens. This machine is driven by psychic energy and is equipped with two psychic batteries. Every time the psychic energy is extracted, part of it will be stored in the battery to ensure long-term use. Please put the Zerg glands you have inside the filter. Note that the filter capacity is limited, and the worm glands placed must not exceed the standard scale. Several lines of text light up on the display. Following the prompts, Su Xia controlled herself to rise slowly to the top of the machine, then took out the fresh glands from the storage space and threw them in one by one. After losing 60, the accumulated height of the glands has almost reached the scale inside the machine. Su Xia descended and pressed the Start Purification button. The round metal cover on the top of the machine slowly closed tightly. And then a countdown appeared on the screen. 3 o'clock. 2.59. The speed is quite fast. So Su Xia won't have to wait too long. Three minutes passed in a flash. And outside the hillside, the battle between the two insect nests showed no signs of stopping. Purification completed can output psychic potions at any time. Seeing this prompt, Su Xia immediately clicked the Output Spiritual Energy button. On the display, several more options appeared. Output Low-Level Psychic Potion. Output Intermediate Psychic Potion. Output Advanced Psychic Potion. Note, please choose the output according to your true strength. For psychic creatures below level 3, please choose low-level potions. Su Xia clicked on the second option to output the Intermediate Potion and a time countdown appeared on the screen again. Still need to wait three minutes. He was not in a hurry and waited patiently in the cold rain. When the three minutes were up, the screen flashed, and the entire screen slowly rose up, revealing the small space behind the screen. Inside, there were five freshly baked intermediate psychic potions. Only five! Su Xia's eyes darkened, and he threw in a total of 60 glands. The five potions he got were not even enough for him to advance from level 4.7 to level 4.8. It seemed that the conversion efficiency of this filter was not high, and he had to continue to work on it. Fortunately, the night was long, and he had enough time. At the Oasis camp, the defense battle lasted for most of the night. Many players in the camp died dozens of times. The battle here should not end too soon. He pressed the Impurity Release button and prepared to continue a new round of purification. However, after pressing the button, the machine suddenly trembled, and a few chaotic stripes flashed across the screen, then darkened. What happened? Su Xiao patted the machine hard, but the machine still didn't respond. Is this bad? What inferior product? There was no prompt in front of him, so he had to look at the instructions posted on the machine to see which company's product it was, but found that there was no company name. There is no production date or inspection mark. It is a pure three no product. This is a thing that comes from the stars after all. But it breaks after just one use? It seems that there are profiteers in the stars. And not every company can be as powerful as Orok. Just when Su Xiao was at a loss what to do, he suddenly saw an explanation at the bottom of the instruction manual. When there is a problem with the machine, you can click the dead restart button. Restarting can solve 99% of problems. Chapter 246 Rapid Growth Necrotic Restart Su Xiao had no other choice but to click this button. Under his gaze, the rough machine trembled again. The screen lit up, and a string of garbled codes flashed on it. This strange situation lasted for several minutes, and the cold rain kept falling, pouring on Su Xia's body, causing his body temperature to continue to drop. Just when he was about to put away the machine and go out to hunt some bugs, the gibberish finally ended. The screen went dark for another moment, and when it lit up again, a few lines of text appeared. Restart completed. Return all data to factory state. Can continue to be used. 
there was only a click sound, and a metal plate at the rear of the machine opened, expelling a piece of impurity that was compressed into a square shape. These impurities are the remaining insect gland residues after being purified. In a normal psychic purification factory, these glandular debris residues would release an unbearable stench, and workers would have to wear thick masks to work. After the last defense battle of the Oasis camp, the purification factory in the camp experienced that stench. However, the residue discharged by this machine did not have any peculiar smell and was dark brown. Just like a normal soil cube, Su Xia glanced at it, and a string of explanatory data appeared in front of her eyes. Glandular residue, the remaining part after repeated purification, no pollution, has a certain degree of fertility, and can become nutrients for flower and plant cultivation. Sure enough, bugs are full of treasures. Even if it is squeezed like this, it is still of some use. Su Xiao wiped the rain off her face, clicked, insert Zerg gland, and waited quietly. After a few seconds, the round metal cover on the top of the machine slowly opened. It was operating normally, and there was nothing wrong with it. He flew to the top area, took out fresh glands that smelled of blood, threw them into the machine, and threw 60 more into the machine. Start purification. Su Xiao returned to the ground, pressed the purification button, and stared at the three-minute countdown on the screen. Her clothes were soaked by the rain. There was thunder in the sky. The wind and rain were swaying in the distance. And the trees and flowers on the back of the hillside were falling in the strong wind. The smell of blood from the battlefield drifted here with the wind. And it was so strong that it was nauseating. Three minutes later, five more potions came out. And they were still a little warm to the touch. Call. Su Xia took a deep breath. Clicked, impurity release and then stared at the screen seriously. This time, there was no problem with the machine. Processing. Please wait. After a while, there was another click from the back of the machine, and a square piece of debris was discharged. Afterwards, Su Xia clicked, internal cleaning, and waited quietly. Not long after, the text, can continue to be used, appeared on the screen. In this way, Su Xia followed the normal process, and repeatedly put in the glands and purified them. During this period, the machine had two problems, which were solved by restarting them. The time came to 11.50 p.m. The night just got crazier. Thunder still roars in the sky. The whole world roars in icy rain and strong wind. And death on the battlefield continues. That ugly clone had already devoured hundreds of enemies in the battlefield of Nuota. It had grown to level 3.0 psychic power and had unlocked two active skills, namely, powerful corrosion and powerful venom. Powerful corrosion. There are organs in the body that secrete and store corrosive liquids. When fighting the enemy, the corrosive liquid can be sprayed at the enemy through special pipes, corroding the enemy's defensive SH.L. It is extremely lethal to Zerg creatures. Powerful venom. Two pairs of venomous fangs grow, and organs that secrete venom appear in the body. When biting an enemy, lethal venom can be secreted through the venomous fangs. These two skills are very useful, but their names are not very nice. Rough calculation shows that this ugly clone already has more than 10 active skills. More than the active skills of the commander's body. Almost every evolution has a chance to trigger skill awakening. A few minutes later, he hunted down a level 3.3 high-level insect called Black Overlord. This high-level unit is the evolved form of the mid-level flying unit, Black Wings. It dominates the sky and is powerful. After absorbing the bug, his spiritual power increased to level 3.1. And he awakened an active skill, Basic Flying. Basic Flight. Two wings grow from the back, which provide lift when waving, allowing the self to have the ability to soar for a short time, but cannot fly for a long time. With the growth of strength, the flying ability will become more and more mature until it is completely possessed. Kacha Kacha. There were continuous sounds on his back. Long before this skill appeared, the clone's back had already bulged high, like a big tumor, compressing the spine and looking extremely ugly. At that time, Su Xia didn't know what the tumor was for and thought it was supposed to be so ugly. Now, as the skill appears, the dark brown scales on the surface of the tumor slowly crack, as if it is emerging from a cocoon and turning into a butterfly. Streams of warm blood drip down the split parts. The process was extremely painful, as if some monster inside was forcibly tearing apart the skin and muscle tissue. When the scales cracked, the protected fascia was also torn apart bit by bit. Stab dash. The tips of the wings pierced the fascia and appeared in this bloody world of rain and thunder. Behind Su Xia, a pair of wings with a wingspan of more than three meters slowly opened. Every inch of the bones and skin were filled with blood. 
and they stretched from a wrinkled and curled state to a complete state. Thunder flashed across the sky, illuminating the night sky in an instant. In the bloody water behind him, the horizontal wings intertwined with the upright body shadow, like a twisted cross, and like a bloody demon descending into the world. Not only that, the tail behind Su Xiao also became scarlet during this evolution. He stood on the blood-stained ground, with dark red scales all over his body. His facial features were similar to those of humans, but his teeth were sharp and his pupils were blood red. His sharp claws were dripping with the enemy's blood. He spread his wings at full strength and waved violently. Boom! Su Xia soared into the sky, going against the rain and smashing through layers of storm wind, like a beast escaping from trouble. This was the first time he felt truly flying on his own. And it was so smooth, as if the world had opened a new door for him. Even the cold rain became much warmer, as if cheering for him. The identity of the commander can only rely on the mecha to fly, which feels very ordinary. The clone of the masked stranger can control metal to fly like Magneto. After all, it all depends on external forces. And this weird body really has wings, soaring into the sky like an eagle. When the large tumor on the back broke out and turned into wings, the body finally stopped being rickety and swollen. It could straighten its back. And its appearance became more human-like. When upright, it was nearly two meters tall. In the dark and dense clouds in the distance, several long hisses suddenly sounded. I saw more than a dozen black overlords cutting through the clouds. With fierce eyes, all of them were third-level creatures, waving their ferocious wings, heading straight for Su Xia, intending to hunt Su Xia, this new monster. Su Xia's eyes were cold and did not dodge. Bring it on! He opened his sharp claws, roared, and rushed towards the dozen enemies in the violent storm, launching a crazy and bloody fight. The two sides collided in the lightning and thunder, with fangs intertwined, claws flying, and even the sharp wingtips became weapons. In just one encounter, a black overlord was pierced through Su Xia's heart. Stab! He looked fierce. His sharp claws pierced his heart. Blood spattered, and his heart was torn to pieces. At the same time, another monster slammed into him, roaring ferociously and with a sharp sound. Hiss! The terrifying sonic attack made his vision go dark for a while. But he quickly stabilized his body, opened his bloody mouth, bit its flank, and injected venom. This is a life and death fight between monsters. Amidst the flashing lightning, more than a dozen monsters struggled among the dark clouds, each one covered in bloodstains. Every ten seconds or so, a monster would lose its life and fall from the sky, like a demon with broken wings. It would hit the ground heavily, and become a blood meal for the zerg on the ground. There were more and more scars on Su Xia's body, with blood dripping from her front, back, limbs, and even her face. Countless fine scales were torn apart by the enemy's sharp claws, each time taking away a piece of flesh and blood. Even one of his eyes was blinded, looking extremely miserable. A few minutes later, the bloody battle is over. He was the only monster left in the sky in this area, and the other monsters had fallen. Su Xia's body was covered in blood and flesh. All parts of her body were exhausted, and she could no longer sustain the short flight. He flapped his wings, descended rapidly, and pounced heavily on the ground. The insects on the ground that were snatching food hissed, and the smarter ones ran away. Kacha kacha. Su Xia waved her sharp claws and tore into pieces some of the insects that still wanted to eat from the tiger's mouth. The dozen or so black overlords he just killed were all third-level creatures. The strongest one had level 3.7 psychic power. It was powerful, terrifying, and the best supplement. After cleaning up all the surrounding bugs, Su Xia used active skills to strengthen the swallowing. Thin flesh-like tubes spread out from his body and pierced into the corpses, slowly devouring them and absorbing power. If it continues to grow at this rate, it won't be long before this body can assist the main body on the frontal battlefield. At the same time, on the other side of the battlefield, behind the hillside, through the alienation filter, Su Xia obtained a total of 31 intermediate psychic potions. The insect glands in his hands have been exhausted. But this is not enough. If he wants to attack level 5 psychic creatures in one go, he must be fully prepared. Go get some more. Su Xia put away the alienation filter, stretched her body, then took out the insect illustration, and transformed into a swift insect again. He left the hillside, his short body disappeared into the grass and quickly rushed into the battlefield between the two sides, become the messenger of killing again. Everywhere he passed, he would cause a wave of killing and harvest a bunch of insect glands. 
The battle between the two insect hives has become fierce. There are corpses everywhere. And the blood is too thick to melt away. The roars resound through the wilderness. The high-level combat power of both sides has come to an end. From the air to the ground. Third-level creatures are fighting everywhere. Visible. Su Xia even felt the fourth-level spiritual energy fluctuation. In the past few days, the lords of both sides have grown a lot. On the weaker side of the insect nest, the lord creature is a level 4.4 shadow hunter. Its appearance is more abstract than that of a normal high-level shadow hunter. Its body is bent and hunched. And its legs and arms are like sharp blades. On the stronger side, the lord creature is an evolved form of a black overlord. With psychic power level 4.7 and a wingspan of more than 20 terrifying meters. It is simply a fighter jet made of flesh and blood. Su Xia's ugly clone is from Jia's strong camp. The two lord creatures haven't moved yet. But they have already released their own spiritual energy fluctuations. And they are facing each other from a distance. Su Xia remembered the battle in the Oasis camp. At that time, a level 4 creature could suffocate them. Now he is no longer what he used to be. Boom! The corpse of a flying monster from the hostile camp suddenly fell from the sky and landed in front of Su Xia. Su Xia was not polite and took out the gland with one paw and threw it into the storage space. This huge battlefield is full of treasures. You can pick up money everywhere. And you will be hit by good things from time to time. Even the most common insect corpses will be purchased by merchants, collectors, pharmacists, researchers, etc. for a large sum of money. The time slowly came to one o'clock in the morning. Su Xia collected hundreds more glands, left the battlefield, returned to the hillside, took out the alienation filter, and continued to purify spiritual energy. Start purification. Repeating the operation again and again made him have more and more potions in his hand. When the purification of this batch of glands was completed, it was already two o'clock in the morning. Counting the previous ones, Su Xia already had a total of 70 intermediate psychic potions in her hand. And she was already certain of being promoted to a fifth level creature. No! Save a little more. And finally encounter the insect hive war. I don't know when I will have the chance to encounter the next one. Su Xia made up her mind and put away all the potions. Now is not a good time to advance either. Every time he was promoted, he would stay in the hallucination for several hours. And his main body is still in the alien wreckage. He returned to the battlefield again. And as a swift insect, shuttle between the two camps, collecting glands one by one. Time passes slowly. Four o'clock in the morning. Boom! A huge insect fell down in front of Su Xia, causing the ground to shake. This was an advanced giant insect with a spiritual power level as high as 3.8. It was strong and tall and could have become a lord in some small insect nests. But it died in this chaotic battlefield. What killed it was Su Xia's ugly clone. This is the first time the two clones have met on the battlefield. Su Xia's heart was divided into two parts. And she operated on two fronts. Although it was hard work, the joy gained was enough to suppress all fatigue. After these few hours of killing and devouring, the ugly clone has grown to level 3.9 psychic power, which is invincible among its peers. It can easily fight back even when faced with the siege of more than a dozen of its peers. It is incredibly powerful. Just like the original main body, the ugly clone is also stuck at level 3.9 and has been stuck for more than an hour. The amount of spiritual energy required to cross a large level is like a bottomless pit. Su Xiao was not in a hurry and swallowed it slowly. The two bodies passed each other and the ugly clone stayed in place to devour it. While Su Xiao continued to move forward, searching for insect glands. After possessing enough glands, he returned to the hidden hillside again took out the alienation filter, and filtered the psychic energy bit by bit. When the time came to 5 o'clock in the morning, Su Xia had more than 120 intermediate psychic potions in her hand. The battle between the two insect nests also came to an end. Looking down from a high altitude, the endless black insect sea slowly became thinner, just like the last two hours of the Oasis camp defense battle. Through constant devouring, the ugly clone finally reached the edge of advancement. Soon! There is only one last step left before this clone can become a fourth level creature. Su Xia spotted the target and hunted a huge giant god insect in the southeast corner of the bloody battlefield and began its final devouring process before evolving. At this moment, outside the battlefield, a wheat-skinned woman and a strange-looking zerg creature slowly walked over. Smelling the strong smell of blood, the heroine frowned and looked unhappy. She walked up a hillside and saw the insect corpses scattered all over the wilderness and a trace of anger flashed on her face. Seeing this, the weird insect creature next to her hurriedly spoke out 
and advised in a low voice. Queen, please calm down. These are just two new wild insect nests. And fighting is their instinct. These two bastards are both level 4 creatures. Their intelligence is no weaker than that of adult humans. Do they only think about fighting? The woman's anger continued. They are not human beings. Why do they only know about civil war all day long? Chapter 247 The King's Appreciation In this battle, too many bugs died. Corpses piled on top of each other. The dead became blood food. And the living were still fighting brutally. The blood gathered in the low-lying areas to form a river. Rushing westward with a strong smell of blood. If such a cruel civil war occurs in the human race, it will definitely be recorded in the history books and be called a meat grinder for future generations to learn from and even become a test center. But the hero of this battle is the bugs. There are countless such battles among the Zerg. Their roars before death were earth-shattering. But they were silent after death. When the war ends, within a few months, the soil watered by blood will bloom with gorgeous flowers in the cold wind of winter. Only the flowers and plants at that time can prove that these low IQ creatures once existed. My lady queen, shall I stop them? The strange Zerg creature asked in a low voice. If Su Xiao were here, she would definitely recognize this creature. After the battle to defend the Oasis camp ended, a small swift insect appeared in Su Xia's warehouse and pulled him into the hallucination. The hallucination world was dark, foggy, and had an indescribable weirdness. And this creature, just in the hazy mist, has countless tentacles growing, and its deformed and rickety body looks like a heretical evil god in some ancient legends. At that time, the creature said that he wanted to talk to Su Xia about cooperation. Maybe the human race and the Zerg race could join forces to kill the mechanical race first. But Su Xia clearly refused because he didn't fully understand the background of this world at that time. The creature next to the woman is a smaller version of the creature in Su Xia's hallucination. The shrunken man didn't look as abstract as in the hallucination. But his body was still rickety and dark brown. The facial features on his face were flatter than Voldemort's. There were more than a dozen densely packed tentacles growing on both sides of his black cheeks. His hands and feet were thin and twisted, with a piece of tattered gray and black linen fluttering in the wind behind him. It's almost over. What's the use of stopping? The woman frowned, crossed her arms and said, Those two guys can't sit still anymore. Let's look at their strength. Yes. The strange creature nodded slightly, stretched out its left hand, and the arm squirmed and changed, splitting into withered vine-like tentacles, and several tentacles turned into a bench. Then, he said respectfully, Your Majesty, please sit down. No, take it back. Yes. The strange creature retracted its tentacles, and the tattered gray-black linen behind it suddenly flew up in the wind, growing bigger little by little, covering the woman from the cold rain falling from the sky. They were standing high on the hillside, so they were very conspicuous, but on the battlefield of Nuada, not a single insect noticed them. It was as if there was an invisible layer of fog between them and the battlefield. When the time approached six o'clock in the morning, the two worm hive lords finally took action. On the battlefield, Su Xia raised her head. Cold rain hit her face. And she felt keenly two increasingly strong spiritual energy fluctuations. He also broke through to level 4. Oddly enough, this clone's breakthrough does not require experiencing any hallucinations. As long as the energy is sufficient, it will happen naturally. As if it is a body built for spiritual energy. Boom! There was a sudden explosion in the insect nest in the distance. Immediately afterwards, a scream tore through the sky and a huge shadow rose into the sky, vibrating its wings and piercing the rain curtain, like a king returning from purgatory. Lightning flashed, and a huge and ferocious shadow was cast on the bloody ground. Following this long hiss, the entire battlefield fell silent for a moment. All the insects participating in the war knew that the kings of the two insect nests were about to fight. An instant later, a deafening roar came from another insect nest, and terrifying spiritual energy fluctuations were far away from the king in the sky no matter how brutal the previous fighting was. At the moment when the two lords appeared, the fighting on the battlefield stopped, as if there was a tacit understanding. Roar! Roar! The insects looked up to the sky and screamed, roaring with all their strength, as if to increase the momentum of their king. In the sky, the monster had a wingspan of nearly 30 meters. It was extremely terrifying, like a giant flying beast from prehistoric times. After screaming a few times, it suddenly pounced on another insect nest on the ground. In that insect nest, the Lord Creature showed its murderous intent, jumped up, and swept across with its sharp arms. Ding! The collision between flesh 
flesh and scales actually made a metallic sound. The terrifying psychic energy exploded at the intersection, turning into a shock wave visible to the naked eye, shattering countless raindrops in the air, as if a storm was sweeping across. The battle between the two sides was full of blood and cruelty from the beginning, like a lone wolf fighting an eagle. The Zerg's physical advantage was fully demonstrated in this battle. On the hillside in the distance, the woman looked at the battlefield with an unchanging expression and asked, What do you think? The strange creature beside her replied, The little flying guy wins. Um, no matter which angle you look at it, the Black Overlord will be the ultimate winner. He has strength and flight advantages, taking the offensive initiative from the beginning. And he also firmly controls the rhythm after the start. On the ground, the Shadow Hunter could only fight back passively and rarely initiated any attacks. After a few rounds, the Shadow Hunter's body already had more than 10 terrifying blood marks. The outcome of this battle is actually already determined. The fight seemed pointless. But the woman also knew that suppressing this internal fight would make both parties unconvinced. After all, insects are classic examples of simple minds and well-developed limbs. If every battle only involves comparing the level of spiritual power, then what is the point of resistance and struggle? It is better for the human race and the Zerg race to surrender to the mechanical race as soon as possible and become biological experimental subjects kept in captivity by the mechanical race. Huh? What kind of creature is that? The woman suddenly focused her eyes. Her eyes did not stop at the battle scene between the two lords, but moved to the center of the battlefield. In her eyes, a strange creature appeared that she had never seen before. It has a humanoid body, but is covered with dark red bloody scales, sharp teeth and claws, ferocious wings sprouting from its back, and a long dark red tail. In the evolutionary history of the Zerg in her incomplete memory, there had never been anything so strange. My lady queen! Maybe that is a primitive Zerg? The strange creature beside her said, and also turned its attention to the human monsters on the battlefield. The primordial Zerg look all kinds of weird and strange. They come in all shapes and sizes. Not every primitive Zerg will evolve into a Zerg unit, and some will go further and further on a strange evolutionary path. The strange creature next to the woman has gone astray on the road of evolution. But it was a blessing in disguise that he was actually stronger than creatures of the same level. Let me think about it. The eyes of the strange creature flickered. Looking at the body structure, he should have strong ground combat capabilities and sky combat capabilities at the same time. However, his body is not light enough and cannot compare with flying species such as black wings and gray shadows. The wings it is also too small and may only be able to stay in the air for a short time and has not yet fully evolved. It's not like bats evolve from it. Maybe a weasel? A lemur? Yes. Your lady queen. I have thought of it. He may have evolved from a lizard. This weird creature thought of a possibility. Many of the primitive Zerg races that have taken a divergent evolutionary path have more or less retained some of their pre-evolutionary characteristics. For example, this weird creature was a giant octopus before it evolved, and it still has tentacles after it evolves. In the southeastern forest of this planet, there are many kinds of flying lizards. The locals call them flying lizards. The strange creature slowly arrived. Of course, the so-called flying is actually just gliding. The lizard itself cannot long flights. Yeah, that makes sense. In this way, Su Xia was labeled as a lizard. He doesn't know it yet. While the lords of the two insect hives were fighting and the insects on both sides stopped fighting, he moved quietly on the battlefield and secretly absorbed some insect corpses. Now it was raining heavily. Thunder was flashing. And the battlefield was muddy. Blood and mud were mixed together. And the flesh. Viscera. Bones etc. of the insects were also piled together. His little movements were not noticed by the surrounding insects at all. But standing on the hillside in the distance, you can see his movements clearly. He is devouring the corpses of other insects? The woman raised her eyebrows. He is actually not affected by the lore creatures of the two insect nests. He has good strength and wisdom. It seems that like you. He is a blessing in disguise on the evolutionary crossroads. He can do you see his strength? Let me see. The tentacles of the strange creature squirm. Its eyes flicker. And you observe carefully. After a while, he shook his head slightly and said, Sorry, your majesty queen. His concealment ability is very strong. I can't feel a trace of psychic energy fluctuations. It's okay. He deliberately hit it. He should be a fourth level creature. The woman became more interested, with a rare smile on her face, and said, Compared to those two who have no brains and only know how to fight. He should be more suitable to be the lord of these two insect nests. My lady queen, 
I'm afraid he won't want to. Well, let's have a good talk with him later. The woman nodded slightly and changed the topic. How was your talk with the human leader in the Southwest region? My lady queen, the human race's management method is very strange. Not one person can make decisions. Even a small matter can cause them to have internal disputes. It's not going well. Yes, among the human resistance in the Southwest region, the only one who can truly make a decision is Commander Bayfong. The strange creature replied, Everyone in the entire Oasis camp admires him and is willing to listen. He commanded, but his attitude was very firm, and he regarded us as the same enemy as the machine race. Well, from a human perspective, it's understandable to think so. The woman put her hands behind her back, looked up at the gloomy night sky, and said, The human race has always been in trouble and has serious internal struggles. A strong-armed person must appear to keep in touch with Commander Bay Fong. We can help when necessary. No problem. While the two were talking, the war between the two lords was finally coming to a close. As expected, the black overlord with stronger spiritual power has already stepped on the threshold of victory. He looked up to the sky and hissed. His voice was sharp. A pair of sharp claws grabbed the enemy's scarred body. His wings vibrated. And he flew against the rain into the dark sky. As if he planned to defeat this enemy and drop it from a height of 10,000 meters. This scene gave Su Xia, who was watching the battle below, a sense of deja vu as Godzilla vs. Ghidorah. Just when he thought the battle would end with the death of the Shadow Hunter, a deep voice suddenly came from the distance. Stop it! It's over! At this time, lightning flashes were seen in the sky, and more than a dozen strange and dark tentacles suddenly stretched out from the clouds. The Black Overlord was unable to dodge and was whipped violently by the tentacle. He screamed, his wings broke, and he was unable to resist, falling towards the ground below. Snapped! Snapped! The two lord creatures fell into the murky water where blood and water gathered, causing a bloody splash. In the battlefield, the insects with lower intelligence were at a loss and didn't know what was going on. Su Xia's heart froze as she recalled the strange tentacle creature she saw in her hallucination after the battle to defend the oasis camp. The boss of the zerg is here? It's not a real tentacle. It's an illusion. Coupled with condensed spiritual power. The keen observation ability of this body allowed Su Xia to see the true face of the tentacles. I have to say, those tentacles coming out of the sky are really scary. But after seeing through the essence, it is actually just like that. Pure illusions can be achieved with today's technology. And coupled with some powerful weapons, they can be fake and real. His real body should be nearby. Su Xia slowly moved her eyes, staying alert and observing the environment around the battlefield. How long has the other party been here? Did you find anything unusual about him? If something goes wrong, Su Xiao will find a way to leave. However, the opponent is likely to use fantasy to hide his body. Even if he is standing not far away, he can turn the place where he is standing into a piece of grass. If he deliberately hides the psychic fluctuations, it will be very difficult to find him. On the hillside in the distance, the woman said with appreciation, He is really smart. He pretends to be as confused as other insects. But he is actually looking for our true body. Yes, your lady queen. He should have seen that it was an illusion. Let's go. It's time to show up. The woman took a step, left the visual illusion constructed by the strange creature, and looked at Su Xia. At this time, Su Xia's cautious and searching eyes happened to move to the location of this hillside. The eyes of both parties collided for a moment. It's actually her? Su Xia was startled and thought of the woman she met under the Zero Point Tavern in Coral City. Is she a Zerg? Or the human race? Why can I enter the safest core area of Zero Point Tavern? Several doubts flashed through Su Xia's mind. But his expression remained as usual, and he immediately looked away without making any other move. Su Xia knew that she had been discovered. The other party showed no hostility, and did not use any means to stop him, indicating that he regarded him as a member of the Zerd tribe. It's over. Let's all disperse. The woman suddenly spoke, her voice very mature, with a special sense of majesty. This bloody battlefield was completely silent, leaving only the sound of cold rain. The surrounding insects retreated and lowered their heads, making way for her to make way for a blood-stained path, as if they were welcoming a returning king. Even the two lord creatures who struggled to get up from the pool of blood bowed their heads to her to show their submission. This is a kind of intimidation engraved in the blood, and even the newly born Zerg can feel it. The old king has not died, and the new king has not yet been born. The Zerg are still the same Zerg. Not bad. They are all obedient. The woman nodded slightly, 
very satisfied with the current situation. The strange creature was beside her, looking majestic, like an ancient protector. The woman walked through the corpses everywhere, stepping on the mud and bloody water, and walked step by step to Su Xia's side. You're nice. Are you willing to do something for me? Chapter 248 The Legend of Mechanical Master Will you do something for me? This is a question. As the king of the Zerg, she could have given orders and forced Su Xia to do things for her. But she did not do that. A small question was enough to show how much she valued Su Xia. Su Xia's heart moved. He had planned to sneak into an insect nest after the battle and absorb nutrients to grow slowly. In this situation, it seems that he has a chance to sneak into the core layer of the insect. Previously, at the Oasis camp, the weird bug wanted to cooperate with him. But he didn't know much about the Zerg internally. So he refused. Now here was a chance to get to know him. Next to the woman, the strange creature whispered, Your Majesty Queen, maybe he doesn't understand this language. Do you want to change it to another language? The woman shook her head slightly. He understands. He is thinking. Su Xiao was indeed thinking. And the subconsciously slightly lowered eyes were the best proof. Without thinking for a long time, he looked at the woman and asked, What do I need to do? Is it possible to integrate the insect nests in this area? I'm not strong enough, Su Xia said bluntly. Almost every leader of the insect nest has a strength of level 4 or above. And he has just reached this level. And those leaders will not be convinced. It's just not enough now. The corner of the woman's mouth raised. Your strength not only comes from your spiritual power, but also from your wisdom. Remember to make good use of it. What do I get if I say yes? Thousands of troops. Is that enough? Good. Su Xia nodded and agreed directly. Anyway, there's no harm in it. I agree first and then talk about it. If I really can't do it, I can just run away with the bucket. The woman looked satisfied, with admiration in her eyes, and said to Su Xia, My name is Helen. Remember my name. Remember. Bugs themselves have no names. Only higher level bugs with higher intelligence will give themselves a name or code to distinguish creatures of the same species. The mythology of this world is slightly different from that of the earth. Helen in the mythology of this continent, is the god of beauty and war. Legend has it that two countries once fought a ten-year war over her. It's a pity that it's not called Sarah Kerrigan, which makes Su Xia a little regretful. What's your name? Helen's voice was very mature, with an unquestionable and negative feeling, like a superior person who had been in a high position for a long time. I don't have a name yet, Su Xia answered truthfully. He always called this body the ugly clone. In fact, Ever since the big tumor on his back burst and gave birth to wings, this body is no longer ugly. The scales all over the body are a strange dark red. Like rubies in the abyss. The body is well proportioned and has an evil and strong beauty. Like the scarlet demon in many ancient comics. Don't have a name. From today on, your name will be Els. How about it? Good. Els, in the mythology of this world, is the god of cunning and cruelty. The appearance of Su Xia's clone does look a bit ferocious, which goes well with the name. Next to Helen, the strange creature with tentacles introduced himself to Su Xia. Els, my name is Hyder, and I am the Queen's Guard. You and I can be called each other by our names. Okay. Hydar, the gatekeeper of the Kingdom of God in this world's mythology. This creature loyally stays by the Queen's side, fulfills its duties, and handles all kinds of big and small things. This name is very suitable not far away. The two lords of the insect nest were prostrate humbly, their faces almost buried in the cold blood on the ground, waiting for the queen to give them names. After all, Su Xia is just a high-level warrior in their two insect nests. Even he had a name, and the two lords thought they would too. Only, according to the queen's words, will these two insect nests be managed by Su Xia in the future? Not long after, Helen led Hydar and Su Xia through the insect swarm, and walked up to the two insect nest lords. She stood with her hands behind her hands. Although she looked small in front of the two monsters, she felt like she was looking down. She said indifferently, From now on, Elza's words will be my words, and he will take precedence. This is not a question, but a direct order that cannot be questioned. The apparent strength of the two lords was stronger than that of Su Xia, but they did not dare to say anything at this moment. They continued to prostrate and spoke out one after another. Yes! Yes! The two of them represent the will of the two insect hives. Under them, the high level, mid level, low level, and a large number of primitive insects all express their submission to the queen and Su Xia. 
in the distant insect nest. The two insect mothers responsible for cultivating the insects also conveyed the message of surrender. The insect mother was bloated and moved very slowly. So Helen asked them to stay in the insect nest, and there was no need to come out to meet her. In this way, the battle between the two insect nests ended in a way that Su Xia did not expect. Helen looked straight at Su Xia and said slowly, Els, I know you won't let me down. Yes, please don't worry. Su Xia will naturally try his best. This is the strongest power he has in this world. Before today, he would never have imagined that before he could even form an army of humans or players. He would unexpectedly get an army of Zerg. Although the two insect nests are currently hurting both sides and suffering heavy losses, they need to develop slowly. But Su Xia understands the potential of this race. As long as the insect nest is still there, sooner or later a sea of insects will explode. The way the bugs fight is too primitive. Just relying on barbaric thinking to run rampant will definitely not work. Division of labor and cooperation can be achieved between various arms. Fast and small units like the swift bug can be used in special operations, such as sneak attacks on the enemy's base camp behind the scenes. All it takes is a high-level leader who is smart enough to lead the rest of the swifts. In Su Xia's mind, more than ten different ways of fighting soon appeared. Well, Su Xia suddenly thought of herself, who had firmly refused to cooperate, and couldn't help but sigh inwardly. In the past, he would have firmly refused. But things are unpredictable, and the pressure from the machine tribe is too great. The tip of the iceberg exposed in Fish Scale City last time was enough to make people breathless. Counterattacking the machine race with only the internally divided human race is simply a luxury. Why are you sighing? Is it because of pressure? Helen asked him. Yes. Su Xian nodded. As for pressure, you can talk to Hydar. He is better at dealing with it. Okay. Hydar, that big octopus monster, had a stern expression on his face. Although he is said to be a guard, he is actually more like a housekeeper, taking over almost 90% of the Zerg's troubles. With such a housekeeper, Helen is almost like Su Xia in the Oasis camp. She acts as a hands-off shopkeeper and only needs to regularly understand the development situation. Next, Helen went to the interior of the two insect nests in order to check the specific situation. Su Xia and Hydar followed behind her. Els, I was an octopus before evolving. Hydar continued to introduce himself to understand Su Xia's situation. This was what he had to do. Otherwise, he would not be relieved. Can you tell me about Su Xia's situation before evolving? Species? Of course. It's just a lizard. Su Xia thought about her own appearance and felt that a lizard was very suitable. So she answered like this. The result coincided with Hydar's guess. He suddenly thought, Since the big octopus in the sea would evolve like this, what would other creatures in the sea evolve into? Giant whales, sharks, lobsters and more. Will the sponge really evolve into SpongeBob SquarePants? Through the conversation with Hydar, Su Xia began to have a deeper understanding of the Zerg on this planet. Similar to the Zerg in many games and the Zerg in his impression. This race is inherently aggressive, reproduces extremely quickly, and its thirst for resources is like a bottomless pit. If left unchecked, the bugs would likely suck the entire planet dry. And the technology tree of bugs is also quite twisted. What they're after is flesh and blood biotechnology. At the end of the evolution, there will be one or more huge flying creatures that can break through the atmosphere, carry other bugs to travel in the universe, and go to other resource planets to continue to reproduce. Just like human spaceships. Of course, in the eyes of bugs, humanity's technological tree is also crooked. It can only be said that different races have different thinking and vision. As you can see, many soldiers have thick carapace. If they continue to evolve, a kind of closed supercharged carapace will appear. With the protection of psychic energy, they can travel in the universe for a short time. Idar was like a knowledgeable professor, instilling a lot of basic knowledge into Su Xia. In his opinion, all high-level Zerg who serve the queen should know this knowledge. When entering space, the cells on the body's surface will enter a state of near dormancy and will not reproduce or divide, minimizing the damage to the cells caused by cosmic rays. The extremely low temperature will cause the outer cells to deform to a certain extent and become very small. Strong rigid structure. As strong as steel. The vitality and adaptability of the Zerg are indeed tenacious. On the other side of the earth, many ordinary bugs can tolerate extremely harsh and extreme environments. In the eyes of the Zerg in this world, the human body is as fragile as tissue paper. It falls apart when poked. They can only rely on machinery. This path is obviously crooked. Therefore, 
Many bugs feel that humans should find a path of flesh and blood evolution. Elves, you seem to be very interested in the human race? Hydar asked Su Xia. Yes, every ordinary individual in the human race has extremely high wisdom. Su Xia nodded. Indeed, the human race also has their advantages. Hydar could not deny it. If they could have a strong body and extremely high intelligence at the same time, that kind of race might be perfect. Does the machine race count? It can't be calculated. The behavior and habits of the mechanical race are still bound by codes. They can only approach perfection through continuous learning. It can only be said that a perfect race probably does not exist at all. Every race has flaws. This may be the ultimate law of natural development. Or it may be the handiwork of the creator. Creator? Su Xia heard this familiar word from Haidar's mouth. Does the creator really exist? In her Lady Queen's memory, there is an ancient mysterious being who guided the initial development of the Zerg. Perhaps that person is the creator. The queen's memory is passed down? That's not the case, Hydar said clearly. For the human race and the mechanical race, we will say that this kind of memory is inherited. This can highlight the legitimacy of the queen. In fact, there is no so-called inheritance at all. Your majesty, the queen, about the Zerg race the memory and knowledge were obtained from the corpse of a Zerg that fell in space. I see, through the knowledge from the universe. This queen succeeded in causing the rapid development of the Zerg on this planet, and soon gathered a large number of high-level Zerg. But what she didn't expect was that the development speed of the mechanical tribe was not slower than hers. Logically speaking, the machine race should be suppressed by the human race for a long time. There is only one explanation. The mechanical tribe has also received gifts from the stars. Hydar was very sure. Under a certain base of the mechanical tribe, there should be mechanical equipment from the cosmic mechanical tribe or the human tribe. The Zerg speculation is almost the same as that of Dragon City. In the center of the continent. Under the silver white city of the mechanical tribe. Under that mechanical city dominated by mechanical masters. There must be secrets from the stars. In addition, there may also be such things in other places that are favored by the mechanical tribe. For example, the coral city in the southwest region of the mainland. We got news that one of the most trusted subordinates of the mechanical lord, Mercer, secretly came to coral city very early. Hydar said. So the queen also came here, planning to find an opportunity to bring the mechanical clan here. Find out the secret. Understood. After listening to Hydar's story, Su Xia suddenly remembered something. Not long ago, he defeated Enlan and received the mechanical core as a reward. After he activated the mechanical core, the new location of the Oasis camp suddenly shook. And then some wreckage of the alien spacecraft appeared. At that time, Coral City was also shaken and the two brothers and dad in the pharmacy felt it. If you connect two vibrations, there might really be something good in the underground of Coral City. The development speed of the mechanical clan is too fast. In that battle, the queen was seriously injured and lost to the mechanical master. The main nest was blown up by the mechanical clan. Our clan was torn apart. In the past few years, we have slowly recovered. Speaking of this incident, Hydar looked sad and couldn't bear to look back on the past. What is clear is that the queen is a sixth level psychic creature. According to the settings given on the Blizzard game official website, the current highest level is psionic level 6 plus titanium particle level 60. Any higher would exceed the limit of this planet. But the legendary mechanical master was incredibly strong. In that battle, he defeated three sixth level zerg psychic creatures, including the queen. In the huge battle between the two clans, the power of individuals is actually very inconspicuous. No matter how powerful the psychic creatures are, they can't stop the fire cult. But the duel between leaders will affect the momentum of the two clans. As soon as the momentum collapsed, the army fell like a mountain. That one is so strong that he has almost no flaws. Recalling the mechanical master, even from the perspective of his opponent, Hydar had to sigh. Any creature that confronts him alone will feel an almost suffocating pressure. In the past two years, that person has been very low-key and has been sitting in the Silver City all year round. But if the time goes back to 10 years ago, rumors about the mechanical master are almost everywhere. About his great strength, his immortality, his indifference and domineering, etc. Compared with those rumors, the current rumors about the masked stranger are nothing at all. Where there is him, there must be victory. His power forced the Zerg, which had always liked crazy aggression, to develop in a low-key manner. Get ready. Else, Hydar stretched out his tentacles and patted Su Xia on the shoulder, like a big brother. The visitors from another world have arrived, and the short-term peace is about to end. 
One day, we need to face the master. Chapter 249 Dragon City Team Danger Through conversation Su Xia roughly understood the current situation of the Zerg. After that battle, the Zerg were divided into pieces, with some surrendering and some hiding. Now, there are countless large and small insect nests scattered on the three continents of this world, dotted here and there, similar to human resistance organizations. There are more than a dozen high-level intelligent Zerg who serve the Queen directly, like Su Xia and the octopus monster Hydar. They are responsible for bringing together the old Zerg and the new Zerg from all over the world twisting them into one force, and waiting for the opportunity. The time has not come yet. The progress of the dozen or so people was not very smooth either. Some of the hive lords in various places have doubts about the queen's life and death. Some are unwilling to go to war with the machine tribe. And some new hive lords are not afraid of the queen's reputation at all. Unless Queen Helen goes there in person. The new lords will not be convinced at all. Hydar's tentacles fluttered. His eyes flickered. And he said slowly, In the past few years, the queen has been recovering from her injuries. And some lords want to establish themselves as kings. Susia asked. Can they succeed? By devouring each other? Of course not. Hydar said firmly. The queen possesses the power of the Zerg from the starry sky. That power is probably related to the creator. Those lowly lords cannot compare to the queen in any case. Even if they grow to six level creatures can only surrender under the throne. Hydar couldn't explain clearly the queen's special power. But he absolutely believed. As long as they see the queen, no matter how strong the Zerg creature is, they will surrender to her. When he saw the queen for the first time, he felt a threat from life to soul. Without any words or communication, he understood that she was his king. He is not an ordinary Zerg. With his wisdom and reason, he can forcefully leave against that intimidation. But he stayed. Even though he was defeated later, was chased by the machine tribe, and was severely injured and dying, he never regretted this decision. You can feel it too. Right. Else? Hydar was willing to tell Su Xia some secrets of the Zerg because he believed that Su Xia would succumb to that intimidation. This kind of deterrence has not yet failed on any Zerg. Su Xia nodded. Yes. I feel it too. Of course. In fact, he felt nothing. Either this body has no Zerg genes. Either the life level of this body is not weaker than that of the Queen. From the initial evolution to the present, this body has awakened more than 10 active skills. And there are also two passive skills. Namely, Leader's Will and Enhanced Perception. The kind of intimidation Hydar mentioned gave Su Xia the same feeling as Leader's Will. The Leader's Will allows him to have a deterrent effect on creatures lower than his own strength. In the skill description, it is not clearly stated how strong this effect is. And Su Xia is still exploring it. Not long after, Helen finished observing the two insect nests and planned to leave. Beside her, Hydar said to Su Xia, Els, the queen, and I will not stay here. If you need to contact us, you can come to Baimu Town on the outskirts of Coral City and express your intention to contact the blacksmith in the town. The blacksmith will help you. Susia asked. Is that blacksmith parasitic? Yes. After getting the affirmative answer from Hydar, Susia was a little surprised. He had been to Baimu Town not long ago, but he didn't notice the blacksmith. The Bikini Castle team is leveling up at the lumberyard just outside Baimu Town. The team's average level is quite high, and they are working hard to hit level 30. The last forum war gave many players a sense of urgency. Recently, everyone has been working hard to upgrade. If the coalition forces of foreign players really attack, they cannot be allowed to be as arrogant as they were decades ago. Is there anything else you need to know? No. I will contact you if anything happens. Su Xiao wanted to ask about Lingyan Tavern. The queen could freely enter and exit the underground core area of Lingyan Tavern and her status in the tavern was definitely not low. But Hydar didn't take the initiative to mention it. Even when he mentioned the contact, he only gave the location of Baimu Town. It was obvious that it was not the right time yet. What is the relationship between the tavern and the Zerg? This neutral organization was definitely not established by the Zerg tribe. Otherwise the machine tribe's attitude towards it would not be so strange. This question can only be asked later. At present, Su Xiao needs to make some achievements to increase his importance within the Zerg. At this time, the heavy rain had stopped outside the insect nest, and a glimmer of dawn appeared on the horizon. The fresh air brought by the morning breeze washed away the smell of blood. Helen stood on a piece of blood-stained soil and said to Su Xia, Els, I look forward to good news about you. Su Xia nodded. Please rest assured. As soon as he finished speaking, a breeze blew by. When he looked up again, 
Queen Helen and the octopus monster Hydar had disappeared. This exit method is quite high level. Su Xia knew that Hydar had blinded his eyes with illusions. But he couldn't see through it yet. Next. It's his own time. In the wilderness strewn with corpses, all the bugs, including the two lord creatures, looked at Su Xia, waiting for him, the queen's messenger, to give orders. Why are you looking at me? Go eat those corpses while they are fresh. Su Xia waved her hand and issued the first instruction. And this instruction is what the living bugs want to hear most. At the command, most of the surrounding bugs started to move and pounce crazily on the nearest corpse, opening their bloody mouths and gnawing desperately. If the queen hadn't been there just now, they would have started gnawing. Kacha kacha. The sharp fangs tore apart flesh and blood, biting off muscles and bones. And everyone looked up and swallowed regardless of appearance. The bloody scene reminded Su Xia of the animal world she had seen when she was a child. Only some high-level zerg can still remain calm. These high-level bugs have high IQs. Instead of gnawing randomly, they patrol the battlefield on the ground or in the sky, looking for corpses that contain more spiritual energy. They knew very well that in this battle, nearly 80% of the bugs in the two nests were dead, and the remaining 20% alive could not eat them all even if their stomachs were burst. So there was no need to rush. The two insect nest lords did not move, but slowly walked to Su Xia. In terms of superficial strength, they are stronger than Su Xia. But the queen had spoken, and they had to surrender. Even if they were dissatisfied, they couldn't show it. Lord Els, what are we going to do next? The stronger black overlord asked, without leaning down, instead raising his head. With a wingspan of nearly 30 meters, he looked like a giant in front of Su Xia, as if he was looking down on Su Xia. The weaker shadow hunter also had the same attitude. Su Xia knew very well that if she wanted these two guys to be completely subdued, she had to beat them with fists. He seemed not to notice the little thoughts of the two bugs, and said calmly without changing his expression, Wait until they are full. Then collect the corpses and throw them to the insect mother, so that the insect mother can refine the spiritual energy in the corpse and feed it back to the insect nest. No problem. Just do as you say. By the way, you two don't have names yet. Right. Yes. Okay. I just thought of two names. Su Xiao looked at the black overlord and said, From today on, you will be called Xiong the Dot. Then he looked at the other weaker one and said, How about you call me Xiong Air? The shadow hunter was puzzled and asked doubtfully, Lord Els, does this name have any meaning? Su Xia nodded and said seriously, Well, I have some understanding of human culture. In their culture, bears are powerful representatives. The power of bears is usually used to describe a strong person. I see. Although they are dissatisfied, they can't find fault with this name. There is nothing to say about the serial number. Judging from the previous battle performance, the Black Overlord is indeed stronger than the Shadow Hunter. So it ranks first. Later, under Su Xia's instruction, the two Lord creatures went to the battlefield to look for blood. Su Xia also entered the battlefield. As the Queen's messenger, he no longer had to fight for food as before. As long as he liked it, those insects would be given to him. Perhaps it was his identity. Or perhaps the will of the passive skill leader was at work. Su Xia noticed that some low-level bugs looked at him with a hint of fear in their eyes. I was promoted too quickly this time, and I didn't have time to experiment with the effects of my skills. I'll go back outside and try to find some wild monsters that don't know me. Su Xia looked at the leader's will on the skill bar and thought to herself. He activated the enhanced swallowing skill and swallowed a level 3.6 psychic earth boring insect next to him, quietly enjoying this leisurely growth. The soft wind carrying the smell of grass. Earth and blood blew by. He sat on the corpse and folded his wings. This body felt a little tired from the continuous battles. Looking around, a whole night of heavy rain and crazy killings have left this wilderness devastated. Next, it is estimated that it will take several days to clean up the battlefield. After the cleanup, there was more trouble. Searching for resources, expanding externally, looking for other insect nests, training different types of troops etc. All kinds of things made his scalp numb just thinking about it. He also wanted an insect steward like Hydar. Oh, I'm quite busy. Su Xia took a few breaths and rubbed her brows. At the same time, in the remote mountainous area of southwest China, under the dense jungle of alien plants and inside the wreckage of the spacecraft, a sharp alarm clock suddenly rang. Jingle bell. Jingle bell. Sun Lang, who was still sleeping soundly, trembled all over and took a picture with his backhand before opening his eyes. 
Snap. His poor phone was smashed to pieces. On another space bed next to him, Chong Ruffing stood up in confusion. His whole body was sore. His brain was dazed. And his eyelids seemed to be stuck open. This uncomfortable feeling. People are awake. But their souls are still asleep. Ah! I already got up yesterday. Why do I have to get up today? Sun Lang hung on the edge of the bed in pain. Thinking of the need to save people next, he slapped himself hard to wake himself up. In fact, before this, the two of them had not slept for two days and one night. So the last time they got up was the day before yesterday. Injury, poisoning, stress and other factors made them exhausted. And they almost fell asleep the moment they touched the pillow. The crew lounge in this spaceship is very tall and has soft mattresses. When you lie down on it, it feels as if gravity has disappeared. It is more comfortable than the top suites provided by the Zero Point Tavern. Good morning, both of you. Breakfast is ready for you. Hal controlled a service-type machine, walked into the room, and asked carefully, Should it be delivered to your bedside? Or leave it in the dining room? Just put it in the restaurant. We are not three-year-olds anymore. After all, the two of them were psychic creatures. So they woke up quickly, packed up, and walked out of the room. The lights in the restaurant were bright and Su Xiao was sitting by a porthole with calm eyes, reading a book by the light above her head. She was reading the mission reward. Spaceship operation, from entry to ascension in 21 days. Sun Lang yawned, rubbed his eyes and said, Commander, how did you do it? Su Xiao raised her head, looked at him calmly and asked, What can you do? Your energy is so strong. Chong Ruffing sat down aside. I feel like you are never tired. Commander, did you rest last night? Well. I took a short rest. Su Xia closed the page of the book. And of course she would not say that she had been fighting with the insects all night. Sun Lang shook his head and sighed. Well, this is probably the difference between people. People like you, Commander, who have goals and beliefs, may never get tired. We will never reach your level. Chong Ruffing stretched and rubbed his waist. And then began to enjoy this alien breakfast. Breakfast is very simple. Consisting of fruit-flavored energy shots a bowl of vegetable soup, and two pieces of fresh roasted meat from the oven. It tastes average, but is enough for half a day of action. After Hal prepared these breakfasts, he began to report the search progress to Su Xia. That night, Su Xia's nanorobots and hundreds of repair robots controlled by Hal searched the jungle of Nuota, looking for traces of the Dragon City team. The good news is that many traces have been found, and the direction of the Longchang team has been determined. There is not a single body belonging to Long Chung along the way. The bad news is that there are more and thicker killer plants in their path. In the several resting places discovered, more packages of medical supplies appeared. If they can pass through the most dangerous area, then they may be discovered by the other me. Based on trace analysis, Hal made a rough judgment. As long as the Dragon City team's forward route does not change, there is a high probability that they will pass through another area of spacecraft wreckage. Once they discover the spacecraft, the results can be imagined. Another hell, in order to avoid exposing the ship, may physically destroy them. What's the firepower of that wreckage? Su Xia asked. It's no problem to kill level 5 creatures. Hal answered truthfully. You just need to plant more than 10 floating bombs on the path they must pass. And then use the modified maintenance robot to snipe in the dark. No one can escape. Go out. According to Hal, a big word danger has been hung over the Dragon City team. It is a pity that the two wrecks cannot be directly connected. The two halls have always been in contact through the controlled maintenance robot. Every contact took several days to cross the middle area. And those long days were enough for the Dragon City team to die countless times. Upon hearing this analysis, Sun Lang and Chong Ruffling immediately speeded up their eating. They swallowed the meat on the plate in two mouthfuls. And then drank the energy punch and vegetable soup in a slurp. Commander, we are ready to go! Chapter 250 The Unlucky Shursishi Team at half past seven in the morning. The jungle was quiet. After several continuous drizzles, the chill of autumn became more obvious. Fresh dewdrops hung on the branches and grass blades. Crystal clear, like gems falling at night. Click! The hatch opened slowly, and Su Xia was the first to jump out. Outside, his tall mecha was hidden by Hal with a camouflage net, which was covered with dead vines and fallen leaves. He walked over, pulled off the camouflage netting, and brushed away some leaves. On the slightly heated energy tank on the back of the mecha, there were actually two warm stuffed animals, which looked like squirrels with gray-black fur. Go, go. Su Xia showed no mercy. 
waving away the two little guys, and then activated the entire mecha. The indicator light is on. The connections of each mechanical module are open. And all indicators are almost normal. Only the energy indicator is low. He manually replaced two more psychic batteries. When you go out, the mecha has no energy. Just like a mobile phone has no battery. It is very uncomfortable. Sun Lang and Chong Ruffin also climbed out of the hatch and left the warm cabin. They couldn't help but shiver when they were blown by the cold morning wind outside. Why does the temperature drop so fast? Sun Lang rubbed his palms. Can't this damn weather keep it warm for a while? The girls on the street don't want to wear shorts anymore. Brother Sun is right. Chong Ruffin nodded repeatedly to express his agreement. Su Xia threw a few sobriety potions and antidote to the two of them as usual and told them to drink it and pay attention to their status at all times. If symptoms such as dizziness, fatigue, or sore limbs occur, report them immediately. After a night's rest, the toxicity in the two people's bodies has been almost metabolized. When they are full of energy, they grab the potion and set off immediately. Hal also sent a repair robot to follow. Three people and one machine continued to search for the trapped team in Dragon City along the route that had been explored last night. Su Xia turned on the lights of the mecha, illuminating the dark depths of the jungle. As she walked, she said, I found two corpses last night. They should be people you have seen. I wonder which unlucky guy it is. Sun Lang took an antidote and said, Commander, this potion is actually strawberry flavored. Is there any blueberry flavored one? Yes, that's the black one. Hey, let me try it. It's not juice. Seeing Sun Lang's actions, Su Xiao was speechless for a while, stopped talking, and silently led the way. After walking for half an hour, the first body appeared in front of everyone. After identification, Sun Lang and Chong Ruffing determined that this person was also a member of Lingyan Tavern and had also arrived from the northwest of the mainland a few days ago. Oh, this guy is broke. When he has money, he immediately spends it, buying a car and a mansion, and then changes to another woman every few days. After searching the body for a long time, Sun Lang only found two weapons, which could barely be sold for a few bucks. This person lives a thorough life and spends whatever money he has. People died and money was spent. Everyone gathered some dead leaves and covered the body, which was considered a simple burial. Afterwards, the group continued moving forward, since the map of this area has basically been explored. And with Hal as the guide, the speed along the way is much faster than yesterday. And basically all dangerous areas can be avoided. Another half hour later, the second body was discovered. Sun Lang just glanced at it and recognized it. This guy is the deputy store owner of the branch outside. I didn't expect him to come too. The manner of this man's death was peculiar. His neck was hung on several tree vines. And his limbs were entangled in the vines. It looked like he was suffocated to death. In this area, there are both psychedelic soul grass and withered vines. According to speculation, this person may have fallen into a hallucination first. And then bumped into the vine area while walking in a daze, like sleepwalking. And died. The skin on his neck had been corroded by the venom of the vines. The wounds were disgusting. And the rotting flesh was disgusting. The Deputy Shop Owner's Badge. The 5th Level Psychic Dagger. The Deputy Shop Authority ID Card. As well as the Mecha Building Contract. The Slave Contract. Two Warehouse Keys. And the Manor Real Estate Contract. There are a lot of good things in this guy. Exploded Gold Coins. Sun Lang became interested and groped carefully on the body of the rotting corpse and actually found out a few gold coins. It is not an ordinary gold coin, but a commemorative gold coin before the war. One can sell for 400,000 to 500,000 on the black market. In addition to gold coins, there are also cross pendants, antique metals, crown jewels, etc. Various items with luck bonus are worth a lot of money. The total of zero and zero can be sold for tens of millions. As expected of a deputy store manager, the wealth he carries with him is amazing. These things are said to bring good luck to people. Sun Lang's eyes were bright, and he was unceremonious, and did not miss any valuable items. So, with so much good luck stacked on him, he still died? Chong Ruffin shrugged, obviously not believing in luck or anything like that, only believing in his own strength. On the side, Hal, who had been silent, suddenly spoke. In the Seventh Empire, there are many specialized research institutes responsible for studying things that cannot be explained by science. And luck is one of them. Chong Ruffing asked him. Robot, have those scientists developed it? Hal asked. What do you think? Aboriginal people? Probably not. 
Yes, Hal replied coldly. After decades of research, the only conclusion we can draw is that lucky people love to laugh. Can someone with bad luck still laugh? Chong Ruffin was unable to refute. But he didn't expect that there were many experts in the interstellar world who spent all their time cheating money. Not long after, Sun Lang ended the search. From this corpse, he found at least 30 million worth of goodies. And he divided some with Su Xiao and Chong Ruffin after he returned. The group continued to move forward. And after another half hour, they passed a place where a large number of Dragon City teams rested. Going further, we will reach the real high-risk area. Su Xiao paused and said, Drink all the antidotes. There is no need to save. I have plenty of medicines here. Okay. Sun Lang and Chong Ruffin trusted Su Xiao. So they immediately took out the potion and drank it down. The jungle ahead was so dense that it was almost impossible to find a place to stay. There were umbrella-shaped canopies of towering trees above and densely packed shrubs and dead vines below. Su Xia's mecha was in front, and the left and right modules of the mechanical arm each popped out two sharp blades, opened and closed them, raised and lowered the knife, and forcibly cut a path. Crack! Crack! When the blade passed by, the juice splashed, and the poisonous withered vine was broken into pieces. Not long ago, people from the Dragon City team also passed here. They have the advantage of exoskeleton armor and they also forcefully opened the way, leaving a lot of traces. Following the Mecca's light, there were many traces of being trampled and cut in the bushes. Many dead branches and leaves had been trampled into the humus soil, leaving deep and shallow footprints. The Dragon City team is not moving very fast. In such a complex jungle area, the more people there are, the more trouble there is, not to mention that they also carry a lot of injuries and illnesses. Su Xia and his party sped up, counting the minutes and seconds and kept closing the distance between them. They had a rest last night. But the people in Longchum also needed a rest. When we find the people in Dragon City, we will get the 30 million bounty. Sun Lang calculated. I just don't know. Is it 30 million per person? Or 30 million in total? Even if it is a total, we can each share one 10 million. Why does this guy like money more and more now? Chong Ruffing asked him. Don't you like adventure and traveling around the mainland? That said, life is important. Sun Lang shook his head. Now there are many visitors from other worlds on the mainland. And there are more and more variables. I have a hunch that the next war between the human race and the machine race is very close. Once the fight begins, it will definitely be a world-destroying war. What does this have to do with you? I have to save money and build a few doomsday fortresses so that I can live safely there for at least 20 years. At that time, I won't be afraid even if a zombie crisis breaks out. The two chatted as they walked occasionally joking with each other to make the journey less boring. Their topic is actually a concern for many members of neutral organizations. Psychic creatures are just stronger cannon fodder before intensive artillery fire. Many people are worried about the next war. In order to ensure survival in the next race war, some people build secret bunkers in deep mountains and old forests. Others spend a lot of money to find isolated islands at sea. And some even directly modify submarines. In the future, when the war breaks out, they will immediately hide in the vast sea and come out to make money after the war is over. On the Earth side, such behavior is often referred to as a doomsday scenario. But in this world, the end may indeed come. The time gradually came to 12 noon. The three people in the group did not rest. They each took out dry food and ate it while moving forward. At the same time, Shursichi's team, which entered the jungle of death from another direction, was gradually approaching the high-risk area in the center. During the past two days of searching, his team also encountered quite a few problems. Before setting off, through communication with the Dragon City headquarters, they had considered the possible poison gas in the jungle. So they brought a large number of gas masks, but all kinds of weird and weird traps, unpredictable vines, and annoying and headache-inducing sounds in the jungle all made them suffer a lot. Some people were stained with sticky vine venom, and their skin was red and swollen. Even after using many medicines, the swelling still remained. Some people also fell into swamp traps. And their equipment was soaked by sewage and silt. They were in a miserable state and almost died. During their break last night, they were unlucky enough to choose an area where Song of Death grew. The strange sound made by this grass was not noticed at first. But soon some people started to feel headache, nausea, dizziness and other symptoms. Where do all these plants come from? I've read a lot of vegetation books in college but I've never seen anything so strange. Are they all eroded by spiritual energy and mutated? In the team, 
more than ten disciples of Shirsishi interacted with each other, and all of them looked ugly, regardless of the character of these guys. The knowledge and insight they possess can indeed crush most people. In the years before the war, they were considered to be graduate students or even doctoral students. Moreover, they are not parallel graduate students. They have real materials. But when they gathered together, no one could name these strange plants. Everyone stop and replace the poison filter cartridges in batches. With those with stronger psychic abilities first. Shursishi suddenly issued an order, and the entire team rested on the spot. Creatures with strong psychic abilities have high physical fitness and stronger resistance to poison, because it is uncertain which plants will release poisonous gas. In this strange and dangerous jungle, everyone faces a test every time they change the gas mask filter box. But the toxin cartridge had to be replaced, as long as it is not changed for more than an hour. The filtering capacity will weaken. The night before, one member fainted even while wearing a gas mask, inhaling an overdose of poisonous gas, and fell into a coma. Please be careful, and don't touch the plants here casually. You can collect some of the plants that animals have come into contact with, and use them as samples to go back and study them. Here, animals are the best guides. Only the members of Shursishi's team dare to touch animals that dare to eat them. But the deeper into the jungle, the fewer animals appeared, and the dead atmosphere gradually became stronger. The dark depths of the jungle were like a terrifying abyss, and everyone had to move forward. After replacing the poison filter box, Shursishi's team moved on. They were cautious enough, but they had only been walking for more than ten minutes when something unexpected happened. Ah! Suddenly someone screamed, stepped on the air and fell into a deep pit. This is not a swamp. But there is also a plant called Mobile Trap. Moreover, at the very bottom of the pit, there are countless upward and sharp tree roots growing, like deadly sharp spears. After the unlucky member fell in, his left eye was pierced, and blood gushed out like spring water. Help! Help me! He screamed in terror and called for help at the top of his lungs because he knew that an artery in his leg had been punctured. Without treatment, he would quickly go into shock due to excessive blood loss and die in this age. Lish place. No. Help people quickly. Pay attention to your surroundings and don't move. Everyone in the team took action. Some went into the pit to rescue. And some took out various medical equipment. Some people used flashlights to illuminate the environment inside the pit. After seeing what the bottom of the pit looked like, many people took a deep breath. Underneath, there were densely packed skeletons. Too many to count and no one knew how many layers they were stacked. The sharp tree roots that stood straight upwards made people feel numb. What the H? What kind of plant is this? There are cases in the book where spiritual power causes plants to mutate, but they are all isolated cases and cannot be as dense as in this forest. The priority is to save people right now, and no matter how many questions there are, they can only be analyzed later. Fortunately, this rescue team brought enough medical supplies. Even a few surgeries in the wild would be no problem. It didn't take long for team members to work together to rescue the person. After treatment, this man's life and left leg can be saved, and his movements will not be affected in the future. This is barely good news. Call. The people responsible for the treatment breathed a sigh of relief. But there was no joy at all on the faces of the others. There are more and more dangers in the deep jungle, and they have also lost contact with the outside world. They know nothing about the news from Dragon City headquarters and the joint camp. What if the Dragon City team is out of trouble, but they just didn't receive the news? The various difficulties, difficulties, pains, etc. in the past two days have made many members want to return along the way. Master, shall we take a rest first? As a representative of many resistance organizations in the joint camp, Ms. Louie had to stand up and ask Shursishi with worry on her eyebrows. Shursishi glanced at the injured member and nodded, his expression indifferent. Well, take a break and then move on.